yellow, 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 yellow. What's going on? What's cracker lacking? How you doing? How you feeling? Can you hear me? Can you hear me loud and clear? Can you hear me loud and clear? Loud and clear. Can you hear me? Coming through your speakers, wherever you may be. What's going on? What's happening? What's cracker lacking? Random show settings. What's the deal? What's the deal? What's happening? Hope you're well. Hope you're fine. Hope you're dandy. Hope you're feeling good. Thank you for joining me. Random show. What's happening, my friends? Random show. What's happening, my friends? Hope you're well. What's happening? Hope you're all good. Thank you for joining me. Pleasure, never a chore. Banging out two streams in one day. Because you know what? Man's an immigrant. Man's an immigrant. Man's, man's a fucking immigrant. You feel me? Two streams a day. Banging it out. Gyms and stuff. Working stuff. You know, the usual shit. And, but we're here. We're here. We don't complain. We don't cry. We don't fucking throw our toys out the pram. We keep on going. You know what I mean? We keep on motherfucking going. So big up everybody in the stream chat. I appreciate all of you for joining me. Always a fucking pleasure. Never fucking sure. If you enjoy what you see, you see what you like, make sure you smash that like button down below. That'd be greatly appreciated if you smash that like button down below and you let me know if you're enjoying the show. That's all you got to do. Just smash the like button down below. That's all you have to do. Nothing else needs to be done. Just smash the like button down below if you enjoy the show. And I'll be so grateful to have you here with me. So grateful to have you here with me. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. So, we have a lot of things to touch upon today. Um, we're going to watch Fire and the Kid latest episode. We're going to watch a long Shorb show. We're going to do some of the Brendan Shorb lies. There's a really good video creator who's put together some sick compilation of lies. We're going to get through some of the lies. And we're going to do some Yuri stuff. And then we're going to do some other stuff, right? Simple things. You know how we do. Run through some topics. ba 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 And then we kind of go from there. You feel me? So, easy does it. Easy go. Any questions, tag me in the chat. You know how it is. We keep it kind of ticking along. No delay, no flipping ramping. Let's go straight in. Raw, no flipping lube. First of all, let's play this clip. This is new. This is brand new, fresh off the plate. Big up the fire and the kiss subreddit, guys, for putting this together. It's titled, Brendan Shaw was given too much too fast, which is very true. This is a quote taken from Joey Diaz. I think it was, um, I think it was an episode of The Church where Joey's talking to Lee Sayat because I felt like I don't know if you've noticed it, but if you never listen to um, The Church What's Happening Right Now, Joe Diaz's old podcast, he used to talk to Lee Sayat about advice. Like, he used to give Lee Sayat advice about stand-up and he used to use Brennan as an example. I always felt like he always had Brennan as an example, of like, uh, like a cautionary tale. Hey, don't do this. Because if you listen to The Church What's Happening Right Now, you would have recognised towards the end, Lee Sayat had a lot of frustrations because he felt like, Joey Diaz wasn't, wasn't really helping him, right? Because he was trying to get into comedy. He's actually doing stand-up now, actually. Lee Sayat's actually a legit stand-up. He actually goes and does spots and stuff. So big up Lee Sayat. And he's obviously lost a bunch of weight. He looks really good. So big up him. But he'd always try to flip in, get Joey to help him out with comedy. Hey, give me a spot. Bring me on tour with you. And Joey was really good to be fair to him. Even though they were, you know, even though Joey was fucking drugging him all the time and just making his life a hell. Joey Diaz was really good about making sure that Lee would only hang around with other comics the same sort of like level as him. He never let him hang around with him or be in his whole orbit because he used to say, which I think is very true and it's something that I've always kind of kept in the back of my head with my like little kind of, you know, amateur fucking DJ career stuff. It's quite hard to go and hang out with the big dogs and be a part of that crew because you're friends with them and shit and then go back and do like the, you know, the fucking travel runs or whatever or the comedy clubs where no one turns up and shit when you hang around with Bill Burr and Joe Rogan and Tom Papp all these kind of big dogs Tom Segura Burt Kreischer it's very difficult to go back to your level because you're with those big dogs and the problem with Brendan was that he obviously is best friends with Brian Callan they got a podcast together he then gets introduced to Joe Rogan because I think that's what happened right he met Brian first then he met Joe Rogan and then he starts to meet all Joe Rogan's comedy friends who are all quote unquote killers and monsters and then he doesn't have a chance to grow and become an actual, you know, just grow into comedy. Because the thing that's really strange about his grow up, his glove, I think someone mentioned it here. I think it was um, 
Ryan Joseph in the stream chat the other day. So big up Ryan Joseph in the stream chat. I think Ryan Joseph mentioned something like Brendan started stand up in like 2016 and in 2017 he was already performing at the comedy store. That is insane. Especially the way they talk. Like, I don't know much about the comedy store. I've never been there. Um, I only went to a laugh factory when I went to LA and I think I went to where else I went to? I think that was it, was it? I think I went to a laugh factory. I didn't I didn't think I got to I went to the comedy store when I went to LA that time ago. But the way that Joe and Joey Diaz, sorry, Joe Rogan, all those guys were talking about the fucking, you know, comedy store, they held it up in, in on the on a you know, they held it up on a on a fucking um on a pedestal. So to have Brendan perform there after a year is insane, especially when you can think about his standard of comedy. Like imagine look how look how bad he is now. Can you imagine how bad he was when he first started? Can you imagine how bad he was when he first got into stand up comedy? When he first got introduced to it, can you imagine how terrible he was at it? And yet, yet those guys fucking got him in straight away. It's absolute heinous, to be fair. So I really did like the way that Joey kind of, you know, steered um, Lee Sayer away from trying to bring him into his group. I said, no, hang out with your open micers, hang out with your degenerates, like your kind of social group, because you need to have that introduction. You need to go through the mud. You need to be hanging around the people that are your level. And then you can work your way up that way because it's going to give you, if you hang around with my friends, it's going to give you a false sense of security. Anyways, so this clip, I think, summarizes all of it because I think it does a lot of like clips and features of like, you know, Brenda with all the big guys over there. So let's probably, let's click this quickly and see what it says. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be a good one. So big up the final kiss over there, guys, for uploading this. This is going to be good. Actually, let me uh, make sure this is full screen. Actually, let's get this full screen. There you go. Jesus, look at all the fucking flyers. Look at all the flyers. Moon Tower Comedy Festival 2017. No right to perform at the Moon. I didn't even know he was performing there. He performed at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival in 2017. One year into comedy. He's already performing at comedy festivals. <sighs> I'm not I'm not lying. I think if it was me, I would have turned down some opportunities. I know he always says, Oh, the showtime deal was too good to turn down. Who would have who would have turned it down? I would have. I would have definitely turned down a showtime deal two years into comedy showtime comedy special tied into your mma like nah tell them look i want an mma show or give me it or, or like if they said you got a comedy show deal tied in with the mma show at least give me like four years maybe before i do my special give me another two years or something but now nah, i'm not doing a stand-up special in two and a half years are you insane like it's never gonna be good Brendan, what's that money? What's that Brendan money fight? Biggest money fight, Leicester Square Theatre in London. Jesus Christ, bro! He played at Leicester Square Theatre. That's a, that's a decent capacity, isn't it? Let me just quickly check out my phone. That's a decent capacity venue. That's a theatre, basically. I'm pretty sure. Leicester Square, yeah, because I think that's where Tim Dillon performed when he came here. Leicester Square Theatre. Leicester capacity. Uh, the capacity of Leicester Square Theatre is what. 400 seats okay it's not that big but still he was selling out 400 seats in london in 2017 it's 400 seats in london and then he cancelled the whole fucking euro tour that i fucking got refunded for fuck i really wanted to see him to be honest i really wanted to see him perform i really wanted to see him perform i'm so gutted he cancelled that tour man big brown breakdown in australia he went on he went on an australia new zealand tour in 2017 Yo, he went on an Australia and New Zealand tour in 2017. Fucking hell! Let's let's check some of these fucking venues. Fawnberry, Fawnberry Theatre, God Almighty, bro, that's insane. He was playing some. The capacity of the Fawnberry Theatre can host up to what? 100 to 300 guests it can also host 300 500 guests for a cocktail okay so 300 he he was selling out 300 to be fair he did this tour pretty well judging by the venues it seemed like he did a world tour where all the venues were under 500 so i wonder why he felt he could then do a thousand like that's a strange thing like i don't know why he did that he probably should have done this before he should probably should, but then again post covid are there really any promoters that would be willing to put on a tour for an american comedian to come over with his brother 
with all these demands and shit to only do venues that are 500 capacity and under it probably wouldn't be worth it do you know what I mean you probably wouldn't get much back from it so probably that's why he has to do bigger venues for more of the pay cut I'd imagine so Stay in your lane tour, Oxnard, California. Jesus Christ, bro. Look at that guy. Look at that puck. Oh my God. Objectively, look at those beautiful cars. Look at those beautiful cars. A GTRS and a fucking G Wagon in like gunmetal with like black rims, tinted windows. Are you insane? And if I'm not mistaken, you guys are no more law than me. This this is the house that he sold quietly. He didn't announce it or anything. They downgraded. This is the house that they sold quietly, very, very quietly. And then they downsized to the the kind of mini mansion they have now. But this is a legit mansion. Look at this. It has like a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air staircase. You know, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the kind of stairs go up that way. Like crazy area to park like two legit big wide body cars fucking insane bro and this is all from redacted podcast horrible stand-up comedy terrible merch just raking in the dollars this is when cast media was just like cutting in mad checks living well you know like because have you noticed now he doesn't even get sponsored by am i, am I mistaken i don't think tfat k even has a sponsor what's um what's rogan's thing i don't even think i don't even think rogan's on it sponsors tfat k you know I swear to God, I don't even think Rogan's tea on it sponsored T-Fat K. That's how bad things have gotten. Now he has to just like, you know, what's the thing? He's got, what's those, um, those shots, whatever those weird shots are. God almighty, bro. Look how amazing his life was. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. Part of me kind of feels a bit sad and a bit bad for the guy because the downfall has been epic. Because especially because this, this type of person, for regular you, for a regular person like you and I, it doesn't really matter, right? Because you get to pay your bills. He basically doesn't have to work a regular job. This is still a dream life. But for someone like him who values material things and status and image above all, this is definitely a downgrade that he now has to like convince himself to drive like what? Um, pickup trucks and shit and dodges when he was driving, you know, GTRS, GT2 RS, sorry, and fucking G-Wagons and, you know, Lambo, you know, Porsches and sh Porsche trucks. What's that? No, what's that? Lambo trucks and stuff. God damn it. And have you noticed too, by the way, have you noticed, um, I don't like to talk about her too much on here, but the wife, she doesn't post too many pictures of herself, like drinking a coffee, driving a car down the road and, you know, strategically putting the coffee cup next to the steering wheel to show off the Lamborghini logo. We don't get none of those pictures anymore. None of those eating salad in my fucking, you know, big Bentley truck. Of course, because, you know, that truck is long gone, unfortunately for her. She has taken Uber probably everywhere now. Oh. 2018 Golden Glo Yo, this nigga was hosting the Golden Globes after show. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that face. That look at the, look at the eyebrows. I can't believe he didn't get much more of an insult on this. Like, look at the fucking ridiculous eyebrows. He's got a boiler eyebrows, you know? He's got, you know, he always talks about his mother-in-law not being able to speak English. He actually looks like an abuela. He actually looks like one. You know, that's the thing. He looks more like an abuela than his actual mother-in-law. Can you imagine that? He looks more like a tia than his actual mother-in-law. Look at those fucking eyebrows. <sighs> Golden Globes after show featuring Brendan on E. Do you think he can, do you think he can even get do you think do you think he could even get a call back from E? Do you think he could even call, do you think he could call someone from E for for anything? Do you think so? I should let me get rid of the sound because it's gonna copyright claim me. Brendan Shaw, where's this? In Miami, Milwaukee, B the E tour, Fifty Shades of Brown tour. Again, I don't even know why the, the names of the the names of the tours are super weird. This is the one tour I should have probably went to, isn't it? I think this was no, this was pre. No, actually, this is the tour that got cancelled, isn't it? This is the tour that got cancelled just before the pandemic. I think so, if I'm not mistaken. Fifty Fifty Shades of Brown. I don't even know what that what that even means. That sounds like a bit like a 
like a like a diss, isn't it? It's almost like he's insulting himself. Fifty shades of shit. Doesn't it sound like that? Like, why would you call your tour Fifty Shades of Brown? Thick Boy Tour 2022 one. The amount of tours he did. The Thick Brenda Shaw Tour. This is a weird flyer as well, by the way. I didn't even get that at all in the slightest. Yeah, the fucking Jeffrey Dahmer shit was very insensitive. But hey, he went to Clout Chase. Yeah, this is a very straight... He, he used to love this picture. Brendan loves this picture. I remember he used to post it all the time. I think he, I think he must have got a lot of good comments from the baddies because he used to always post. Like I felt like he always used this poster in flyers. He loved this poster of himself, like in his um, in the, what you call it, in his dressing gown in a hotel somewhere with wearing dunks and his hair all fussed, fucked up like that. I think he actually thinks he looks cute like this. He loves it. He's always posting pictures of himself in like I don't know if he does it anymore. Cause I don't check his Instagram. But remember, Brendan used to always do those selfies in the morning, like the morning selfie, like with his with his bed head. Like, super strange. Like, kind of faulty behavior. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, <laughs> why is the first thing in your mind when you wake up to post a selfie of yourself? Like, what? So bizarre. He on the Fick tour. Brennan Shaw, Charlotte, Trash Panda tour. All the names of the tours are terrible. What does Trash Panda even mean relating to him? Did you have fun tour 2023? The, what you got Chicago keep on trucking tour <laughs> Brendan with fucking Joe Rogan living large this is probably the, the best condition you're doing isn't it yo big up uh, Austin Casey appreciate it brother big up Oz glad to join a daytime stream yes yes big up Austin Casey appreciate it thank you for joining brother what's the deal what's the deal hope everybody's well thank you for joining yes very rare daytime stream today I thought why not bang it out you know instead of being lazy and timing something for what you call it timing something for um for later on and never, never following through i thought why not you know do something and actually be somewhat productive so here i am um but yeah <laughs> uh, honestly but yeah look he, look he actually looks in good shape here he actually looks in pretty decent shape he's well put together here he doesn't look as fucked up as he used to in the past so decent little performance there let's continue the vid What's that? Rogan. Look at that. Rogan, Chris, Chris. Two people who are like now been excommunicated, isn't it? They replaced Rogan, replaced Brandon and Chris Alia with um, who? What's his name again? With um, Shane Gillis, Mark Norman. That whole crew have now replaced them completely, isn't it? They've been replaced completely by those kind of guys, man. Absolutely, you know, sickening. Sickening affair. Sickening affair. That's at like the UB Surprise taping, right? This is the tape and you'd be surprised. Pick up a side. Appreciate you. The Golden Globe look was what Cat Williams was talking about. Papa didn't protect his hole and his career still crashed and burned. Oh, mate. Yeah, it's like. <sighs> that's got to be a hard way to come back down. That's, that's the thing about success, isn't it? Like, I think somebody mentioned it the other day about having like whether or not you'd want to get it's almost like the lottery thing isn't it what would you prefer would you prefer somebody give you like 10 mil up front right now in your current financial condition with all your debts whatever you have at the moment or somebody give you a salary of like 40k a year until the rest of your life like what would you actually rather and i think sometimes especially if you don't have any like financial you know education you're not really that mature it's probably a little bit it's probably very important to probably get take the 40k for the rest of your life, even though it's not that much of a salary. Do you know what I mean? It's probably beneficial long term because that 10 mil up front, it's probably a bit dicey. It's probably a bit risky for most people, myself included, just to have that up front. You'll probably get into up, up to a lot of nonsense. You'll probably buy yourself a gold house and purchase all kinds of nonsense and just squander it on silly things anyway. So it's quite beneficial to actually do go the steady route. You know, but Brenda just saw like because that's the thing that I've always believed. My theory has been that I think my my personal theory is this: I think that Brendan has all like always seen himself as someone special anyway, and I think his earlier career when he never really made it, like he wasn't able to fucking um. <laughs> I've just seen the keep everyone glove. Okay, the keep tea. That was a good comment. Sorry, I'm late. I found out my wife was having a baby three days ago. <laughs> 
<laughs> I had to cancel the tour. Oh my god, honestly. Big up Keith T. Big up Keith T. Thank you for joining. Oh, fucking Brian Callen, man. Fucking Brian Callen, isn't it? I just found like how long do you think those guys spend making up their lives when they've got to cancel the show? Do you think they just meet before the show and just like run through ideas, just like shoot the shit, just brainstorm right there before they're about to start the show? How long do you think they think about the light? Like surely when you think about a lie, you have to think about the lie. Cause I don't know, again, I don't, I try my best not to lie. There are moments where I do, but I try my best to tell the truth as much as I can. But I don't know what is the best way to actually lie. Is it the best way to lie to add more DLs than necessary? Is it to admit and act aloof? Is it to try and pretend you're surprised? Like how do you lie? Like good, cause I've, those guys can't lie. Like, you know, imagining that, you know, making up a concoction that your wife got pregnant. That's why you now have to cancel the show. It's like, hold on. You just realize your wife is pregnant now <laughs> with your second child. <laughs> Actually, your fourth child altogether. And you're fucking nearly 60 years old. Like, come on, bro. But yeah, so going back to my theory, I believe that Brendan always felt like he was special. But he never got the success that he thought he deserved due to his talent how people regarded him, his athleticism, his size. He always probably thought he was destined for greatness and it never happened. So he was kind of in a bit of a bad place um, after the football thing didn't work out, right? He's working in the gym. He's trying to make ends meet, blah, blah, blah. Then the stand, then the podcast thing happens with Brian Callen. Then the stand-up thing happens. And I think for him, that was like validation. Like, see, I told you, I knew it. I knew I'd be successful. I knew I'd do it. Like, it kind of gave him the validation and, com and confidence that he needed to be like, yeah, I always knew I'd be a special. That's why you get this weird attitude that he has. That's my belief. Like, because he's got this weird confidence and bravado and arrogance for somebody that doesn't really have much talent. Um, You know, he thinks of himself very, very, very highly, which is a bit weird as well, considering the lack of stuff he's achieved in life. I think that's part of it. I think he always believed, like, he, remember what I said in the stream before, like, you know, I was always in the gifted and talented groups, right? And I always, I was always, because I think I, I identify that because I think I was always told that I would be special. And then I remember going to, like, college. Like, that was the first time I went to, like, a school. Like, you know, it's, it's like the same with all of us, yeah? You go to college, that's the first time you meet other kids outside of your, like, local area when you go to, like, a college. And I remember going to college, I was like, oh, shit. I'm not as smart or as amazing as I thought I was. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, oh shit, I'm an, I'm an absolute idiot. <laughs> I'm so dumb compared to everybody around me. I thought, fuck, that was the first time that, and, and that got a real awakening. But that was when I was like 16, 17. So Brendan to still think like that and he's like 40 something with two kids or three kids and a wife is like, let's continue. Brendan laughing, having a good time. At do you remember when you used to do all these, by the way? Do you, remember the, do, you, do you remember these? Do you remember Brendan used to do these all these exaggerated faces and shit for the cameras? He used to have, he used to, have, he used to love posting his pictures on his Instagram. Now it's just like what him laughing as a truck guy. Oh my god, bro, Sebastian Mansalco. Do you think he could even get on the phone with him now? Do you think he could even reply back to a DM? Do you think he could? Do you think he gets? He probably gets left on scene. Brendan was hanging about with some, like, wow. Joe Diaz was right. He got too much too soon. He has no business standing next to Sebastian Masako or even Joe Joe Rogan. No business whatsoever. Like being in their company. No business. And to think he fucked this all up by saying, I know bald guys who slang dick. Because I think Rogan was, maybe Rogan on the sly is actually a bit of a dick slinger maybe right maybe he's known around town for like throwing it down who knows he's made enough money he's super successful people will probably and he's you know powerful enough people will probably willing to pay to keep his secrets i wonder if maybe rogan saw a kind of a brother in arms because brenda's clearly a guy that's always ready right he's always got a boner ready to fucking go baddies and addies addies and baddies baddies and addies addies and baddies he finally finds a brother that he can like, you know, cheat together with, right? Dude, get up to some, some boy things. And then Brendan just goes and starts opening his mouth. Yap, 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 yap. Oh, bald guys, I can slang dick. It's like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What is wrong with you? You're, you're fucking exposing everything. Shh. 
he probably was so angry like what the fuck are you doing bro nobody's supposed to fucking know about this you're the only person i'm fucking told and then brendan goes i know i know bull guys that slang dick <sighs> having fun having a fucking blast at the i think that's the taping still of you'd be surprised Look at that. Look at that. Rogan, that you'd be surprised, giving him pointers and shit. Like, what? I would love to know what Rogan thought when he saw the taping of You'd Be Surprised. What did he actually think? I want to know. I would love to know. What did Rogan think when he saw the taping of You'd Be Surprised? I would love to know. I would love to know. What did he actually think the first time he saw it? What the fuck is that? Like. <laughs> <laughs> wow the good old days right one of the worst podcast appearances ever i feel so bad for him man this logan paul and his friends did him so dirty like he got a big time so hard yeah yeah we got dinner we gotta go dinner it's 4 p.m yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go dinner at 4 p.m and everyone was shocked what <laughs> what dinner first i've heard of it dinner oh i felt so bad for brendan man this is one of the worst appearances ever you do youtube <laughs> you do youtube oh, logan's a piece of shit man logan's a real hollywood like that's the thing with someone like a logan paul i think contrary to popular belief I think actually, if you actually met, I think you'd actually have a better time bumping into Jake Paul than Logan Paul. I think Jake Paul, you could probably have a cordial, normal conversation with. I think Logan Paul is the real diva. I think if you spoke to Logan Paul a weird way, he would definitely make you feel like a big, like a small guy. Big up, Keith T. Appreciate you, brother. The Bapa business plan is to claim views across the Bapaverse to trick sponsors, then he uses the money from sponsors to buy more views. It was our ways the house of cards. Hundred percent, and now it's coming falling down. You know what I? You know what I checked the other day. By the way, I was just curious. I checked across. I think I checked the Shorb Show. I checked the Fire and the Kid, and I also checked um, Golden Hour. You know what makes the most money out of those three shows? Monthly via AdSense. Forget the sponsors. Just on Social Blade. Shorb Show, Golden Hour, Fire and the Kid. You know what makes the most money? The Golden Hour. The Golden Hour makes the most money at all three shows and it's the newest one. So clearly, the fucking, you know, shit's going downhill on the other shows. Um, Golden Hour's probably only really successful because of the diddler, really. Chris Lee is probably the only one who's actually keeping eyes on that show because his fan base is super loyal. So it's pretty wild. It's pretty fucking wild to think that. It's pretty wild to think that. But big up you, Keith T. Yeah, that whole game of that whole what do you call it, House of Cards, is fucking wild. <laughs> in the gym, oh shit, he's actually wham here, isn't it? Fuck, Brandon actually actually looks ripped there. He's not that big anymore. Or Zempic sucked all that fucking muscle mass off, but rare BGL sighing as well. I don't know who that is. Some fans, I'm assuming, right? <laughs> Waving to an adoring crowd. Wow, man. Yeah, he was definitely given too much too soon. He was definitely given too much fucking too soon, man. I swear to God, it's fucking incredible. I love it. I love, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Bro, you thought he was going to be, you thought he was going to be Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <sighs> it always gets me, bro. He actually thought he was going to be Dave Chappelle. He really thought he was going to be that guy. Like, it's just like, I can't believe it, man. Like, I'm I'm all for having ambition and wanting to like test yourself and stuff, but you have to know where you land, man. You have to know what level you're at. You really have to. You can't be that delusional where you literally think, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna be that guy." It's like, come on, bro. Really, really. Come on, sir. Come on, come on. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? What's BGL doing? Working at my, um, Amazon? I don't know actually. I think BGL is probably doing content, so I don't know. Last time I I keep seeing clips of him on. The Frannick is sub. 
I think he just does all that content he does. No? I think so. I think he just does all that um, social media comedy content thing. I think so. I think that's all he's doing. Am I still frozen? Can you see? Can you guys hear me? Some people are saying I'm frozen. Am I frozen? I think that's what he does, basically. I don't think he does anything else, but hey. What do I know? What do I know? What do I know? What? Um, can you see me or, or am I still, or am I still down? Can you guys not see me? Your screen is freezing. Really? Oh no. Okay, cool. Maybe, maybe is it freezing? Okay, cool. Let me, uh, let me take out the camera. And if it's freezing, I have to take out the camera. Can you guys not see me? Seems to me that Baba gets into things just enough to be able to tell people years later that he used to do it. Like in three years he'll be telling people that he used to race trucks in the desert. You 100% believe that. 100, 100, 100, 100 million percent believe that. Let me take off the fucking video. Let's see if that works. Hopefully you can see me now. Hopefully you can see me now. Hopefully you can see me now. Will be no video because this is going shitty, shitty, shit, shitty. No video. How's that? How's that now? Can you hear me clearly? I think you can hear me. No video then, I guess, because for some reason the computer is going fucking haywire. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We will leave it there. How's it going? Can you see me now? Is that good? Is that good? Can see you, but it's choppy. <laughs> Think of everyone. You guys are dumb. I can see you, <laughs> but it's choppy. But yeah, it should be good now, right? It should be good now. It should be clear. Nothing's happening now. Okay, no, no fucking video. Then I guess, unfortunately, I think it should be nice now. No choppy, right? <laughs> I can see you. Big up, rally, rally, redact. Oi, that's fucking racist. And you're lucky there's no any mods here because I'd have you banned. Okay, roll e redact. What you said there was very racist, okay? And you're lucky there's no mods here or I'll ban you. <laughs> I would have banned you, okay? Be careful, bro. Be careful. <laughs> Don't take the piss out of my complexion. I'm actually uh I'm actually melanated, okay? Don't actually take the piss out of my complexion. Anyway, continuing on. Continuing on. Um, let's continue. Let's do this, right? Um that time the EFC crew made fun of Brendan and made him really uncomfortable. This is another good one as well, by the way. Be up the fight the kids. I really guys for uploading this. Um, this is fucking great. I really love all the fucking new, um, all the old reheated dishes that have been posted on there. Absolutely amazing. I need to go through the archives. I feel, actually, that's, that's what I next want to do. I'm going to actually go and check out all of the odd, all of the, um, all of the old, um, what you call it? All the old all the old episodes of Brendan on the Rogan experience. I think if I, if I go on JRE, I might be, I might find some diamonds. So I'm going to go through a few of them and kind of get them uploaded and shit. So that should be good one to check out. So anyway, let's check this one out as well. The time the FC crew made fun or made Brendan uncomfortable. Let's see what this is about. This should be, this should be a good one. This should be a good one. Let's play this. Both names. Can you imagine Joanna marries this guy and she wants to keep her last name, but dash <laughs> his last name. <laughs> dude, dude, bro. Dude. bro let me be look how uncomfortable. Okay, let's not maybe get. Should we get this full screen? Or put it small. Let's look how uncomfortable he is. Look at how uncomfortable Brendan is. The moment they mention the fucking hyphenated um, names, because I guess you know his wife has got you know her name still. So let's look how uncomfortable he is. Look how uncomfortable. To be fair, I don't blame her. Because her, her surname is quite nice. Imagine just being ne known as Joanna Schaub. That's a bit boring and a bit dead. I don't blame her for keeping her own name. Because Schaub is a bit of a, you know what I mean? It's a bit of a dead name. Both names? Can you imagine Joanna marries this guy and she wants to keep her last name, but dash <laughs> his last name? Hyphen. <laughs> dude, bro, dude. bro, let me be, be straight. If your wife did not want to take your last name and she wanted to hyphen it, I would be, I would I'd be like, slap you got to, what the fuck are you talking slap. about? Well, this ain't going to work out. Hey, what are you talking hey, what about? What are you doing? You want to yen no, uh, yeah, You, yeah. you, you want to wanna get, get married name. and you don't even want to take my name. Look, 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 look at his face. Look, do you remember when he used to do that all the time? Do you guys remember he do that all the time? He used to always look at Rogan for for approval. He, now he does it and it's really cringe. It's really sad because Rogan clearly isn't giving the attention he used to give him. 
but you remember before he'd always kind of look at Rogan for an approval. He was kind of look. He always stare at Rogan. Like he'd always kind of glance over him. Look, look that glance. Like Daddy Rogan. Like, is that okay? Is that okay, Daddy? Daddy, did I do a good job? Daddy, 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 did I do a good job, Daddy? He do always stare at him. Daddy, 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 did I do a good job? It's like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Have some. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. And you don't even want to take my name? No, we're out. I'll have to slap <laughs> You got it. Well, this ain't going to work out. <laughs> <What> you... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Jump scare. Wow. Let's not let's not have that on the screen. Jesus Christ. What the fuck was going on there? They've got the same lips, in it. They probably went to the same doctor, innit, probably? Bless them. They probably got a two-for-one deal. They probably got a two-for-one fucking deal. Bless them. But yeah, that was absolutely hilarious, man. Absolutely fucking hilarious. Um, like I said, I don't blame her. Um, Shaw's name's a bit basic bitchy. I don't blame her for deciding, you know what, I want to keep my fucking name. I'm not taking your full name. Fuck all that shit. And, you know, she did it and it worked out for them. So big up them. Big up them as a couple. <laughs> big up them as a fucking couple, I guess. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Moving on from that one. It's getting worse before it gets better, it gets worse for fucking Diddy. You seen this? Look at this update. Before it gets better, it gets worse for fucking Diddy. Before it gets better, it gets worse. Cassie is cooperating with the feds. So everybody thought Cassie was just in there for the money. She got out of court settlement. She disappeared. She went quiet. Nah, man. She's cooperating with the feds, yo. She's going to bring him down, 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 down. Absolutely wild. So this is the update courtesy of TMZ. Diddy's ex Cassie has been in touch with authorities in the federal engaged investigation. Not just that, we're told that she's cooperating as others who have sued him. Sources with direct knowledge tell us Cassie is among the witnesses and the feds have been in contact with the connection with Diddy's investigation. We're told he's been working with investigators for several weeks, presumably even before Diddy's homes were raided. Fucking hell. Can you imagine the information she's going to give up? Can you imagine the proof that she has on hand? Because think about it this way. Diddy settled super quickly out of court, right? Do you remember, right? He super he settled super quickly out of court. Um, after I think a day, she filed the court case, and the next day he settled straight away. So most likely, she has a lot of evidence. The same way that little Rod guy had like text messages and screenshots and pictures and shit. Cassie's probably got years worth of fucking material that she can fucking let, you know bury this guy with. So if she's getting involved in the lawsuit, oof, it's not looking good for Diddy. It's not looking good at all. Um, given the timing, it seems Cassie may have helped feds establish a probable cause to get the judge to sign off on a search warrant. Other women were told also been in contact with federal investigators. We don't want, sorry, we don't, uh, we don't, well, we don't know what Cassie has told the feds, but presumably it mirrors the lawsuit she filed against Diddy, in which she alleges he forced her to have sex with multiple male prostitutes, raped her, beat her, and peeled, plied her with drugs and alcohol over the course of their relationship that's fucking intense isn't it that's fucking intense bro if he's guilty of all these things like he deserves to be under the fucking jail isn't it under the fucking prison forced her to have sex with male prostitutes raped her beat her plied her with drugs and alcohol can you imagine that's what i was, I was wondering the other day i kept telling you guys i kept asking you guys do you think it's possible do you think it's honestly possible to be a party boy and not be a fucking creep is it possible? Like, can you be a player like that? Can you be like in your 50s, unmarried, loads of kids, loving to fuck, but then also be a nice guy and treat girls right and not be a piece of shit and not rape them and not drug them? Is that possible? It feels like whenever people reach that kind of level of fame, there's no way to kind of be a nice dude. You always end up being a piece of shit. You always end up kind of abusing people, and taking a bunch of people. Like, I don't know. I, I can't think of a, I can't think of a playboy a bachelor who can do that at that age i think there's not i think there's probably it's safe to say if you're a dude and you're like 50 plus and you're unmarried and you have or you don't have a settled family and stuff and you play i mean it's a bit it's a bit of a red flag isn't it like what are you doing like why aren't you just like chilling out why are you still out here in the field why are you why are you trying to fucking like there was a there was a period in time where fucking what's the thing where fucking Diddy was dating Laurie Harvey. Like, why are you dating all these young hot things? Like, like what? What next? Fucking Doja Cat. Like, you're going to try and smash Ice Spice. You're 50 years old, bro. Let the, let the young kids have their time. I'm pretty sure if, the, if the, all this shit didn't go down, like, Diddy might have probably tried to hit Tyler. 
I'm pretty sure if Diddy was still around, this shit didn't go down. He might have tried it because Tyler's you, kind of his type. She's got that kind of, you know, mixed racy, Asian, Indian y kind of vibe. He might have tried to hit Tyler, you know. And look how she looks like a fucking child. Like, imagine P. Diddy with Tyler. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine Diddy dating Tyler? Can you please imagine this? Please. Guys, just imagine Diddy dating this girl. <laughs> can you imagine him 50 years old walking down the street with this girl that's like 20 but she looks like she's 17 can you imagine <laughs> this is the one when i knew he was a freak right when diddy was with laurie harvey do you remember this when diddy was with, and allegedly laurie harvey went out with one of his sons as well this is when i knew he was a freak when diddy was out here with like one of the hottest girls in the scene look look, look at him 50 something years old dating laurie harvey Wearing matching bottoms. She's got the striped trousers. He's got the striped shorts. Like, come on, Diddy, man. You need to grow up, bro. This is not... No. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Exactly. Allegedly, Christian Combs or dated her and then Diddy... Did, like, imagine you and your dad hitting the same things. This is very Caribbean, though, isn't it? This is very Caribbean. I don't think there's a lot of African parents that would do this, to be fair. This is very Caribbean coded. This is very Jamaican coded, actually, to be hitting the same chicks as your fucking dad. It's fucking wild, man. Um, let's continue here. She also alleged that, enga that he engaged in sex trafficking. Diddy denied her claims, but settled a day after she filed her lawsuit. As we all know, Cassie was in a long-term relationship with Diddy for about 10 years. Wow. I didn't know together for 10 years before they split in 25, 2018. Her current husband is Diddy's former trainer. Oh, really? No wonder he took so spicy to him then. Okay. Now I get why that guy took so spicy to Diddy online. I didn't know he used to train Diddy. Okay. Because I think he's a male. He's a former male model as well. I think there's a, the, the, the assumption. I don't know if this is true. But the theory on social media is that Cassie met her husband through one of those um, freak offs, allegedly. It's kind of wild, isn't it? Like, allegedly, she met her husband through one of those freak-offs. He might have been one of the fucking, you know, he might have been one of the one of the male prostitutes that came through. Lay down pipe and keep it going. God damn. Um, obviously, you see there, police. You see Christian Combs there. Um, unclear at this point at which other women have also been cooperating with the feds. We also don't know if Diddy's ex-employee, Rodney Jones, has been interviewed at this point. Um, Diddy has called the allegations against him and raids a witch hunt for now he hasn't been arrested or charged with a crime uh, yeah but that's because they're just waiting to bring the hammer down and when the when the charges come it's going to be it's going to be hard you know what I mean when the charges come they're going to be coming everyone's going to be fucking coming when those fucking charges come so he should you know rest assured you know those charges are going to be serious let's let's just be real then I decided to check out the fucking little Rodney lawsuit right remember the little Rodney lawsuit the 70 pages of the update Look what happens when you do control F. Look what happens when you do control F, right? You do control F on this Rodney thing and you type in cocaine. <laughs> you get 14 hits. <laughs> There's 14 mentions of cocaine. <laughs> when you type into that lawsuit, 14 mentions of cocaine. One of them here. The acquisition use and distribution of ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms. The second one. Mr. Combs was intoxicated and have offered cocaine to Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones rejected him and proceeded to walk um, to the restroom. Another one. Um, Mr. Jones and Mr. Combs at Thanksgiving Day, right before Mr. Combs invites Mr. Jones to the restroom, attempt to force him to take cocaine. So this is when, honestly, I would love it. I would love it if I was sitting down with Diddy and he said, hey, do you want a bump? Of some pink coke that fucking young Miami brought in her fucking knickers over from fucking Atlanta on a PJ. I'd be right in there. I swear, I know it's fucking dark. I know it's sad to say. I know it's. Weird. I'm not not involved in any other creep shit. I don't. I don't want to do none of the grapes. You know what I mean? I'm too much of a pussy and a Christian to be getting to all that sort of stuff. I would crumble under the pressure and snitch on everybody. But if Diddy did offer me some pink coke and some Ciroc, some Delion, right? Maybe some tiger whiskey. <laughs> tiger thick whiskey, actually. I'd be involved, man. I'd be so fucking down. I'd be so fucking down, guys. I'd be so down. I'd be so involved if Diddy said, hey, come true, bro. Come true. Do you want to have a little bump? If he said, do you want to have a little bump and touch my dick, then I would be out. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I would touch it with my pinky. Does that count? If you touch it with your pinky, does that count? 
um he asked um for a hundred dollar bill because he wanted to do cocaine with it imagine imagine having so much money that you only sniff coke with a hundred dollar bills you don't do it with fives not with tens not with twenties hundred dollar bills that's where you sniff coke usually you know when you're out and about you you know whatever loose change you have or loose notes because usually that's one's going to be covered in shit but you try not to make it a super high amount but god damn bro i don't think I don't think I've ever I've ever had a hundred dollar bill in my pocket, even a fifty dollar bill. So <laughs> I can't. Sometimes you just cutting off straws or like little bits of paper and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't know, man. I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't. I couldn't fucking do it. Another mention. Um, defendant Corin required all employees, from the butler and the chef and the housekeeper, to walk around with a pouch or a fanny pack filled with cocaine ghb ecstasy marijuana marijuana sorry gummies um and 2c a pink drug with a combination of ecstasy and cocaine yo they were sniffing 2c in a mansion <sighs> yo can you imagine how much fun they must have had apart from all the illegalities apart from all the grapes apart from all the harassment can you imagine the fun can you imagine the fun that they had in a mansion playing fucking tunes um you know assistants and you know loads of like hispanic aunties like you know serving you stuff like really nice and warm the kind of ones that would give you a hot towel to point your head to kind of you know cool down maybe roll your joint to let you calm to let you come down like just lovely people just love just making you oh just having a good fucking time young miami twerking and shit you know what I mean? Some big buff nigga trying to grind on you. <laughs> It'll be so much fun. <laughs> Young old vibes. AZ going to get split roasted off the curb. <laughs> I'm acting like I'm acting like I'd have control of the situation. I'm act, I'm talking like a big boy. I'm talking like a big boy, but I would actually have no control of the situation. That's the sad thing about this. I'm talking like I would have control, but let's be real. You know, like 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 young one vibes said, I'd be the one. <laughs> I'd be the one getting Eiffel Towered in there. <laughs> I swear to God. Anyway, what's another one? Um, defendant Corum older than distributed co ecstasy, cocaine, GSB, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms. Mister Combs and celebrity guests who were present. Um, at the rented yachts. Oh, I wonder who the celebrity guests were. I wonder if they're gonna implicate other celebrity guests. Cause that's the thing about America. Like America's weird, isn't it? Can you tell me in the stream chat? why you guys are so weird when it comes especially black americans african americans any other drug except for weed is almost treated like you're doing crack which is odd because all drugs are bad you can't have a different like i know they say weeds a plant all this sort of stuff nonsense cool but to be an optimal human being to live a clear-minded productive life most people could probably do away with doing any drugs that includes coffee that includes alcohol but for some reason African Americans have this real stigma, taboo, around any drug that's outside of weed. It's so bizarre, especially when you consider all the prescription pills you guys have over there. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, you know what I mean? Like, everything is bad. It's all fucking horrible. Just don't do anything. Just abstain from all of it. Go to church, read your Bible, you know, help out at the local fucking homeless center, go to the soup kitchen and help out and shit. Like, it's all bad. There is no hierarchy of good and bad drugs. They're all fucking horrible. They all lead to destruction. So the fact that there's like, this like taboo of like, oh, I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to do that. It's like, bruh, you smoke a fucking half a pound of weed a day. Like, let's be real. That's an addiction. But hey, what do I know? Another one says, Moi Buan was Thanksgiving 2022 where Mr. Code offered Mr. Jones Coke. How many times has he has evidence of him offering Coke to Brent? Wow, man. This guy's got good fucking resolve. This guy has the resolve of a fucking monk, of a nun, that he's able to turn down so many offers of fucking drugs. Amazing. He's able to know it all down. Said no, said no, said no, said no. Amazing, amazing, amazing resolve. I would have crumbled after the, after the second try. <laughs> Yo, AZ. Yo, AZ, playboy. Yo, AZ, take that, take that. Yo, AZ. You know, you know, baby. Yo, baby AZ. What are you saying, girl? Imagine he starts calling me girl. What are you saying, girl? Baby AZ, what are you saying, boy? What are you saying, boy? My UK boy, what are you saying? <laughs> I'd crumble. <laughs> um, 
defenders um, ex executed a RICO enterprise with the threats um, of isolating, sorry, isolation from the music entertainment industry, parading powerful music industry executives such as defendants Lucian Grange, Ethiopia Hatarambi. That's his chief of staff, by the way. She's also co um, cooperating with the Fed, so he's Diddy's fucked. That Ethiopian woman is allegedly like a, you know, she's like a mainstay in Diddy's life. I think I remember seeing her in documentaries and shit back in the day. That's been his like ride or die. So the fact that she's cooperating is really bad. At his parties filled with sex workers, minors, minors. Oh, it's getting dicey. It's getting crystalia level dicey. Illegal drugs such as ecstasy, GSB, carrot, me, marion, and mushrooms. They did mushrooms in there. That's a bit too much for me. I don't think I could do all those drugs. Ecstasy cocaine ghb ketamine marijuana and mushrooms that's a bit too much man that's a bit too much even for me that's a bit too much um another one says defendants have unlawfully increased the profits by lowering um deceiving producers artists writers creators and artists such as plaintiff to transport drugs cocaine Mary, da, 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 and transport firearms Yo, Diddy's out here transporting drugs, firearms, exotic dancers. So, like, they're trying to make him out like he was like a traveling sex work circus type of thing, isn't it? God damn. Ethiopia. Um, what? Okay, that's the same threat. Okay, cool. But yeah, 14 mentions of cocaine in that lawsuit. 14. Four, look at all the pictures. Look at all the, pic look at all the text messages they've got. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, bro. Yo, absolutely fucking crazy, man. Absolutely fucking crazy. But hey, what can you do? Thoughts and prayers to everybody involved in it, I guess, in some regard. We'll see. Oh, look at that. There's a picture of somebody's bum lying down or something. What was that? Sex workers in bed with Mr. Jones the morning after being drugged. Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. I guess, isn't it? <laughs> okay, cool, man. Cool, man. Anyway that's it what can you do what can you do let's move on from that one um let's actually play a clip here have you guys seen some of these clips from some of these guys i'm still confused what's going on here i don't, I don't know if they're like protecting diddy as a link or if this is just a consequence of like being a celebrity at that level where you've got people looking out for you because some of these fucking confessions or some of these talking points these people have been fucking crazy look at fucking look at Stephen A. Smith look at what Stephen A. Smith is saying here hear him out here's Stephen A. Smith and this guy you brought up Kanye West as well this is the music industry. I, always, I'm I'm I mean, it, it, it's like a metaphor for resurrection mm -hmm. for crying out loud. There's, there's always a second chance. There's always additional opportunities. What? What? Do you see did, did his charges? You see, no, you, see the, you see what he's been accused of or alleged he's done? Second chances. <laughs> With Kanye West, I believe that to be the case. With P. Diddy, I'm not so sure. It depends. Thank God. Well, Thank Kanye, God. On, on, Kanye, he can't get a, 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 a sample cleared. Wow. He, so he you got bought out so all you, these venues. So you think he's in more trouble than Diddy in terms of being able to resurrect his career? I think I think Diddy probably can weather the storm more so than Kanye. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. One person's been accused of drugging women, raping people, assaulting people, and one guy said he loves Hitler, and that Trump's his dad, and the Holocaust was fake. I'm sorry, but words, <laughs> words will never be way more you know words will never be violence in my personal opinion you know like violence and abuse and you know grape are far worse than any words anybody can say to you i don't care what words they say i don't even care bunch of sticks they call you the r word they you know what i mean whatever they make monkey noises those can never never compare to somebody physically assaulting you transporting you from one location to the other under the premise of sex work like i'm sorry there's nothing that comes close to that what the fuck are they talking about? Because he couldn't get a fucking Backstreet Boy sample clear. They're saying that Kanye is worse than fucking Diddy. Uh, because Kanye, Kanye is at a place right now where he's barred out of arenas. Uh, he can't get records clear, cleared. Uh, he can't get features. Nobody don't want to do features. And in this day of, of entertainment, unlike when we grew up, you know, one no features. You know, these do. There are some. There is some truth to that. He he can't do features. That's very true, but he's proof that he's such a genius and such a high level of a producer and an artist that he was able to do this 
record, Vultures One, with Ty Dolla Sign, who's not the most popular person in the world, and still get a number one album. That's proof that he's obviously just top level. There is no contesting his fucking artistry. It's just a shame all the other stuff that he does. But when it comes to just pure artistry, he doesn't need any bells and whistles, no trendy features. You know what I mean? Just pure music, craftsmanship, artistry. He fucking smashed it. But this idea that he is somewhat equivalent to Diddy is fucking egregious. Uncle Luke needs to fucking throw his face in a bottle of fucking, or throw his face in a in a tub of cold water because he's talking out of his ass. Dudes need to be on there with other people, you know, and so he's he's gonna have a, a harder time. Did he may be able to come back from this? Um, you know, did he? If is, he's innocent. If he's oh. innocent, you know, it, 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 when you think about it, it's no charges pressed. Right, no charges. You no, oh my God, these old ass niggas, man. There's no charge. Like, imagine living a life where because you haven't been charged for anything, you think it's gonna be okay. Do you think it's been, do you think it's okay to be accused of what he, did he get accused of? and still live and still live like a normal human being in this world like and still do the business he was doing before his life is basically fucked the perception of diddy has been completely changed forever his legacy is basically ruined even if he doesn't get like convicted of anything the fact that he's been associated with all this mess it's almost impossible to come back from this unless he starts to do his own thing but like no one's gonna no one's gonna want to touch him with a 10-foot barge pole because he's just too toxic too radioactive like how do you like honestly there's no charges like that's very grapey talk isn't it that's very grapey talk i didn't get charged i didn't do it you know where's the police report it's like what you know what i'm saying is it's just it's like oh, they're, they're, they're trying to they're trying to embarrass him yes stain him they're trying to embarrass him they're trying to embarrass him he's been accused of rape he's been accused of human trafficking been accused of abuse Maybe some more stuff happening. Who knows? They're trying to embarrass him. Okay. Etc. If there are no charges, yes. and there's not going to be any charges, if they charge him with something, we can't think like that. Nah, nah, that's a different game. That's a whole other movie, right? Homeland yeah. Security. Yeah, Homeland hey, Security. Ain't, lo ain't local law, ain't LAPD. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? The federal oh, Miami PD, the federalities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a different ball game. So, it's, so, he went, did he went. so it's the federalities, it's a different ball game, but you're still giving him benefit of doubt. That's why, he's, that's why in it. Look at, look at Stephen A. Smith's hairline. Never listen to a guy like this about anything involving like illegalities or crime, especially involving women. When a man is walking around with a headline like that, you should never listen to him. Never listen to a guy who's not willing to just look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm just going to shave this off. When a man of his age is still holding on to hair like this or not going to Turkey, there's, a, there, there's something wrong with him at his core. There's something wrong with him at his core. So the fact that he's talking about this stuff, wearing a black T-shirt, and some sweatpants and some Jordan Freeze at his age, you know, this like his his outfits all over the place. He's got like a he's got the undershirt he'd wear to go to work at ESPN. He's got glasses that he wears to drive. He's got sweatshirts that he probably wears to go wash the car, and shoes that he wears to go shoot some hoops in the garden. Like his outfits all over the place. You know what I mean? It's definitely like it's definitely giving divorced dad come to pick you up from school. You know, all over the place, man. Would have to go back because Diddy ain't made all kind of statements about people, religion and all that. That's right. You know, Diddy could come back from it. He could he could go have a conversation with certain people. And what? He could come back from it. Where's he going to have the conversation from? Again, like you say, you're going to need friends. Right. You know, and some friend down the line may say, OK, all right. You know, kind of work this thing out and take these handcuffs off me. Uh, literally take the handcuffs right. off me. And then he could pretty much kind of but Kanye but Kanye's different because Kanye talking about people religion Kanye. nah that's fucking stupid man the Jews are not more fucking you know the Jews and anti-semitism is anti-semitism anti is not more powerful than people getting raped I, I don't I don't care I don't care yes maybe money influence all that sort of stuff is going to be affected but people knowing that you're a rapist and people knowing that you're an assaulter an abuser uh just a fucking animal in terms of what he's been accused of there's nothing that could ever kind of top that i'm sorry unless you obviously did you know you took somebody out completely and you kind of unalived them and shit and maybe you know threw their fucking remains in the fucking what you call it in one of those rivers somewhere in new york but come on bro what's he talking about here religious yeah, when you, beliefs when you go into that and when you go to bread you know all kind of when you get into politics and so you then you know you're losing people all across the board and you know you got to know what you're talking about so you're all over the place he, yeah it's gonna be 
tough for him. I, I think, you know, there's going to be enough people can vouch for Diddy as being a good person. Who's going to want to vouch for him? To be fair, though, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. Maybe he has a point here. If you actually wanted to get on Diddy's good side, if you wanted to make sure Diddy was your friend for life and he sorted you out with some 2C, some hookers, some coke, some MD, some fucking mushrooms, some 2C, some weed, some fucking Ciroc, if you still got a bottle left over. If you really wanted to be in Diddy's good books, now is the time to be by his side. When everything is looking fucked up for him, when people are jumping ship, when people are cooperating with the feds, when everybody's trying to kick his, kick his back in, when everyone's trying to throw dirt on his name, this is the time when you actually decide, you know what? I'm going to be Diddy's friend. I'm going to be Diddy's friend. This is when you actually step up and say, you know what? I'm going to be Diddy's friend and I'm going to show that I'm a real friend, that I'm here. You know I mean, I really rock with him for real. This is when it actually matters. So if you actually want to make a lifelong friendship with Diddy, almost similar to what Brenda did with Chris D'Elia. Do you guys remember? When Chris D'Elia got cancelled for his diddling allegations, I think Brenda was really smart because he kind of kicked Brian Callan out of the way. When Diddy, when Chris D'Elia went through his cancelling you know, thingy, I think, I think even then, before that happened, Brenda was always closer to Theo anyway. He wasn't really that close to Chris. So Chris was more Br Brian's friend. But when the whole cancelling thing went down, Brendan kind of stepped in front of Brian Callan and started to be Chris D'Elia's friend, offering him support, sending him text messages, wanting to take him out to go buy shoes. Like I think allegedly that's what Chris said, right? He was always there for him and kind of, you know, um, kind of keeping kind of keeping his spirits up and shit. And obviously it paid off because Chris D'Elia came back and started doing the Golden Hour. And now the Golden Hour is probably one of the most successful, if not the most successful show under Thick Boy Umbrella. So if you're smart and you want to play it long game, actually being Diddy's friend is actually the way to go about doing things right now. But you're going to have to be willing to risk a lot. Your reputation might be damaged forever. So it's kind of fucked. Like you have to be careful. But if you want to be Diddy's friend now, it might pay dividends in the future. And not a bad guy because he's not a bad guy. Okay. You know, I I mean, I knew him from the time he was with B. He's not right. a bad you guy. You know, and when Thanks they were together, and know. he's a real sensitive dude way back then. Right. Even, you know, now he's just, uh, he's a nice, humble guy. He's not this big <laughs> uh, animal. You know, I don't know what people do. At oh, he definitely is an animal. He definitely is a fucking animal. We've seen it. He's definitely an animal, bro. It's not, you know, there's no shadow of a doubt about him not being an animal. Let's, let's just, let's, let's. Let's keep that one a bit quiet. He's definitely an animal. The end of the party because right. when I go to the party, Steve, I leave. Right. You see what you said. You see the contradiction here. I don't know what goes on at the end of the party. I don't know what goes on in your party because I'm not there. So why are you saying he's a good guy then? If you're not there to see all the madness because you leave because you don't want to get involved in the madness because you don't get implicated in the case, you don't want to go to fucking prison. Why are you commentating on it? Why are you saying he, he's a good guy? How can he be a good guy if you don't see what he gets up to after dark? Come on, man. You know, when I party get too good, it's time for me to go. You leave good parties. Yeah, I leave good parties. And you leave good that's, a, that's a lie, by the way. That's a lie. That's a lie. The party, you leave somebody else to have a good time. Yeah, and I hear about it the next day. Right. And but you ain't participate. No, negative. I'm not going to know. No. You ain't part. That's, that's a lie. That's a lie. He's just too old, and these victims are probably already dead anyway. Participate in the parties. The in South the Beach, the no. at the parties in South Beach. No. We're, 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 we're. I'm glad Stephen A called calling him out, but he's, t he's talking out of his ass. Honestly, like, I can't believe some of these old geriatric guys who are like going out of their way to fucking try and cop pleas for fucking Diddy. It's absolutely crazy. But again, it does make sense because he is who he is. And maybe people really do feel scared about, you know, saying certain things and don't want to fall on his bad side i kind of get it i understand he's super powerful and shit but the final video look at this final video look at the fucking payola and look at the pr around diddy so this is the final video and we're going to move on back to the comedy stuff look at this final video have you guys seen this video this is fucking wild if you thought diddy was a normal dude this is proof that he's not a normal dude he's not like us he's not like you and i this guy's another level look at this big up nj ranger appreciate you He's a nice, humble guy in the same way that Hyman Roth was a retired investor living on a pension. And much like Hyman Roth, Diddy always made money for his partners. Exactly, 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 fucking exactly. He's a super nice guy. It's almost similar to like whenever Joe Rogan and everybody say somebody's a really nice guy, great fucking comedian, right? Killer, they're a beast. It's like 
are they or is that or is that just your friend you know what i mean come on let's be real is that <laughs> is he really or is that just your friend please let me know please <laughs> let me know if that's actually true of oh, a big up fucking nj ranger that's a fucking amazing godfather reference there big up you bro big up fucking you absolutely pluck that one out of the fucking out of the depths you know what i mean big up you bro big up andrew w too appreciate you brother thank you for joining us big up andrew w big up everybody tuning in if you like what you see make sure you smash the like button look at this look at this clip if you thought diddy was a normal person look at this fucking clip dancing on the pier I guess shoreline at his house in Miami he knows the cameras are there smoking a joint bucket hat on speakers blaring he's just bopping like nothing not care in the world <laughs> real joker shit real super good shit look at this guy care in the fucking world just living life loving it smoking a big fat joint Jet skis riding by, maybe a couple of bumps of coke as he's chilling. And you know what that is? You know what that is, man? That's PR. That's his team basically telling him, hey, stop acting guilty. We don't want you to be sad in the house. We don't want you running away. doing what you're doing don't even change what you did just continue doing what you're doing just be you and this is exactly what he's doing he's just kind of trying to he's trying to he, he's doing the he's doing what andrew human did really well when that article came out about him allegedly being the player and stuff it's like just just keep creating content just keep living life through the cancellation if you don't if you don't acknowledge cancellations if you don't acknowledge charges it almost doesn't exist pretend like they don't exist they don't exist <laughs> if you pretend like you did nothing wrong people think you did nothing wrong so just act like nothing is happening look at him that's a real fucking psycho <laughs> his his house got raided his kids his kids got put in cuffs allegedly they had fucking t you know SWAT team whoever that team is SWAT HSI pointing mach you know you know, fucking semi-automatic weapons at him with lasers on it in his chest and shit, according to his mom or whatever it may be. Like, you know, it's real scary shit. And here's Diddy a couple of days later, you know, on the fucking shore, shuffling up and down, having the fucking time of his life. Absolutely fucking wild. But yeah, yeah, I have, that's how the seeds, yeah, I had, I have, I've seen Diddy dress up as Joker, of course. That was one of the legendary videos. I said it before, what's legendary about that Joker video is that if you see the video where he's getting crazy, um, Ty the Creator passes by him in a pickup truck and you can see from Ty the Creator's face, he's kind of looking at him like, yo, this guy's actually crazy. Like Ty the Creator's face is, it says it all. Like, cause he's obviously in the industry. He probably has met Diddy a few times. So he was like, you know what? This actually, this guy is actually legitimately nuts. Like it, 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 even Ty the Creator being as edgy as he is, even he got caught, he kind of caught like a bit like, oh shit. This guy's not really all there in the head. But yeah, this guy's a fucking psycho, man. Diddy, Diddy is like, Diddy's really out here in the field acting like nothing's happened, even though he's been, you know, accused of what he's been accused of. Absolute crazy guy. Absolutely wild and crazy guy. But yeah, let's see how it transpires. Let's see what goes down. Let's see how it transpires. Let's see how it goes down. Moving on. Oh, this is a brilliant clip. Have you seen this? This is a fucking brilliant fucking clip brilliant fucking clip we got the friend the kids subreddit for posting this absolutely wonderful i love this clip with all my fucking heart let's get this back on the screen you seen this bappers pull up record bappers pull up record pay attention to what krista stefano asked brendan Schaub, and then pay attention to how brendan Schaub answers krista stefano's question just pay attention to those two things the question chris asked brendan and how Brendan answers Chris's question. Just pay attention, pay close attention. How many pull-ups can you do? I don't know, man. You don't do pull-ups? I do pull-ups. I've never like, in, in college is my thing. How many did you do in college? 
College, I had the, well, so at CU, I, I did have the record for a while for tight ends, fullbacks. And then when I uh, went to the pros, <laughs> I trained with the, he's my, one of my best friends, but he was the head strength and conditioning coach for the Broncos. So I was like, what's the record? And I set the record. Oh my and then God. I had the record for, I don't know, six months. Oh my God. And then uh, I came in one day uh -huh. and they're like, oh, Great dude, story. somebody broke your pull-up record. I'm like, yeah, it was like, I, I, I would tell anybody about my fucking pull-up record. Uh -huh. Like, somebody broke it. Uh -huh. Who the fuck, who? Like that new kid, the fucking Broncos yeah, drafted, dude. I'm like, who, what kid? Oh, Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow. Uh -huh. Came in there, saw your record, <laughs> started, destroyed yeah. it. And I was like, oh, hell no. Hell, yeah. He, he was like, yeah, uh, if you're down to work out with him, he's here tomorrow. So I came tomorrow and then we just, you know, did our thing and then me and him got super close. Do you notice something in that clip? Do you notice something in that clip? Krista Stefano asked him, how many pull-ups can you do? He didn't even answer the question. There was no amount of pull-ups. He didn't even answer the question. He just went around a roundabout story about how many he was the best pull up master in the world. He Tim Tebow is the only person that beat his record. Obviously, he's not doing it as like a humble he's doing it more as a humble brag as opposed to being self deprecating. It's like a humble brag, you know, yeah. Only Tim Tebow, only he could break my record. An actual fucking NFL fucking player. You know what I mean? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? Can you imagine somebody asking you a question? Like, hey, how many pull-ups can you do? And you answer with, um, yeah, the, 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 the pull-ups used to be my thing. That was my thing, man. Pull-ups were my thing. Excuse me? One more time. That's fucking brilliant, isn't it? That's fucking psychosis way of answering the question. Listen, Linter, once again, listen. How many pull-ups can you do? How many pull-ups can you do? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Usually after this, you probably do like a rough number. Even if you're lying, the fact that he's so intent, and I love this pose, by the way, right? I love this fucking pose. That needs, to, that needs to screenshot it, by the way. I need to fucking screenshot this. I love that fucking pose. That is fucking gorgeous. He looks like, yes, queen, slay. Look at that pose. Look at that. Oh, you don't do pull up? Oh, one more time. One more time. One more time. We need, that, we need to get that pose one more time. One more time. There we go. I think it's there. Is it there or is it here? There you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that fucking pose. Look at that pose. Look at that pose. Jesus Christ, mate. How much sugar has he got in his tank in there? Eh? One more time. One more time. Get the hat, the whole hat in as well. Let's get there. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Honestly, listen again to the question. Listen again to the question. How many pull-ups can you do? How many pull-ups can you do? Brennan looks at the pull-up bar and tries to make up a lie but can't think of one on the spot. I don't know, man. I don't know, You don't man. do pull-ups? You don't do pull-ups? It's almost like a sly little goad, right? Christopher's looking at him like, look, you're tough, right? You're tough, right? People get people do pull-ups every day, B. And he's looking at him like, hmm, coffee in hand, hand on the waist, little side bag over your shoulder. I do pull-ups. I, I do pull-ups, yeah. I'm not... I'm a, I'm a tough guy. I'm a badass. Never like Matt in, in college is my thing. In college, like back in the day, I was a pull-up master. I was a freak. Chris Stefan already knows he's lying. That's the face of somebody who knows that someone is lying. When your boy knows you're lying, but that's your boy, he doesn't want to embarrass you. That's the face of somebody that knows you're lying. <laughs> Chris Stefano knows he's fucking lying, right? Look, it continues on. How many did you do in college? College? I How many did he asked him a second time? I didn't clock this. He asked him a second time for precise numbers. How many pull-ups can you do? How many did you do in college? Still no fucking question. He, he's like a politician. I had the, well, so at C... I redacted the one. Well, I see you. You, I, I did have the record for a while for tight ends. What, what was the record for... What's the record, like... What's the record for pull-ups and for tight ends? Is that even a thing? Is it not just, a, is it not just like a fucking pull-up record for everybody why should there be a specific pull-up record for tight ends how's that make any sense it's fullbacks and then when i uh went to the pros i trained with the he's my, one of my best friends but he was the head strength and conditioning coach for the broncos so i was like what's the record and i set the record and then i had the record for i don't know six months and then what is the record what is this record what's the pull-up record in cu colorado for tight ends who, who knows this can we google this is that Google? 
And uh, I came in one day and they're like, oh, dude, somebody broke your pull-up record. I'm like, yeah, it was like. <laughs> oh, dude, somebody pull up your pull-up. Like, who says stuff like this? Who talks like this? Oh, dude, you wouldn't guess what? Well, someone broke your pull-up record. No way, bro. Bro, my pull-up record, bro. I, I, I would tell anybody about my fucking. Oh, yeah. Now now your pull-up record. Look, look at Chris and Stefano's face. Look at his face. He does not believe a single word coming out of Brendan Shaw's mouth. Look at his face. Nigga, I just asked you about your pull-up record. Nigga, what? <laughs> Chris Stefano being from New York, he's definitely said nigga, by the way. I know it. I, and I allow him. He's, he's a fun guy. Pull-up record. Like, somebody broke it. Oh, who the fuck? Who? Like, that new kid. Who the fuck? Who? 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 Fucking Broncos drafted, dude. The new kid. Look, look at that. Look, look at the fucking humble brag. The new kid. You know who it is. It's the. <laughs> like, what kid? Oh, Tim Tebow. Oh. Head of a storyteller, right? Oh, Came yeah. in there, saw your record, destroyed it, and I was like, "Oh hell!" No. Yeah, yeah. He, he was like, "Yeah, uh, if you're down to work out with him, he's here tomorrow." So I came tomorrow, and then we just, you know, did our thing, and then me and him got super. Jesus Christ, man, Brendan Shaw. Jesus Christ, Brendan. Jesus Christ, Brendan. Jesus Christ, Brendan. Jesus Christ, Brendan. How many pull-ups did you do? All of them? How many? In college, I had a world record. Which ones? How many? Well, come on, Brendan. Come on, Brendan Shorb. Please, the lies. The lies are incredible. Absolutely sublime lies. Absolutely sublime lies. Pull-up record. No numbers. Just vibes. No idea how many he did. Did he do two? Did he do three? Ten? Nine? Eight? Seven? We don't know. We don't fucking know. And we would never know, really. Look at Chris Elias. Look at Chris Elias. Look at Chris Stefano's face. He definitely does not believe a single word coming out of that guy's mouth. Like, this guy is a fucking liar. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yo, big up Coiler. Big up Coiler in the chat. Wild go on, Coiler. Wild go on, wild go on, wild go on. Oh, mate, honestly. Big up everybody tuning in to the stream chat. I'll bring up everybody tuning in right now. If you enjoy what you see, make sure you smash the like button. Give me a little like down below. Apologies for the lack of camera. My camera or my computer's, you know, going off a bit overloading and shit. So when I try and use the camera, my computer goes crazy and it goes a little bit jittery. So that's why I've I took it off, but I'm still here. So you can see me. I'm here, by the way. But the camera is going a bit crazy because unfortunately my computer is not the best and it kind of doesn't allow me to kind of, you know, stream without it being choppy and shit. So that's why I took the camera off. So every time I play a video, it goes fucking crazy. So I'm going to remove the camera, keep talking, do my thing. You can enjoy the stream and it is what it is. I understand it's a bit crazy, but we'll get it sorted out. Don't worry. We'll get it all done and it'll be back where it needs to be. You get me? We'll be back where it needs to be. But big up everybody in the stream chat. Appreciate all of you. Big up Screw32. <laughs> World record for big ups. Yeah, you know how it is, man. London Tings, you feel me? Big up your chest. Big up your chest. So let's continue. Let's fucking continue, my friends, okay? Let's fucking continue. Let's fucking continue. Let's fucking continue. So, um, what's next on the list here? We did that. Let's go to the next clip here. Oh, yeah, let's play this one. Let's do this one. This is courtesy of Eternal Mystery of Brendan Shaw. Have you guys seen this? Actually, let's see if my video, if my thing can work with this, actually. Let's see if I can do this. Um, I've actually got it down to what? Uh, let's do the video output, output in general. Hmm. What happens if I do it? Let's see if that happens, if that does anything. Bear with me a second. I see this going to work. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Bear with me a second. I'm actually going to play this um, radio, Eternal Mystery of Brendan Shaw, courtesy of, what's his channel called again? Retroactive. Let's see if it happens here. Let's see if I, if, let's see if this kind of freezes. If not, I'll take off the camera because this might be good to see my reactions to this one. This might be a decent one. So this is courtesy of, um, what's his face? Um, Retroactive. You guys know the channel. I've spoken about him before. He's really fucking good. Um, retroactive is available there make sure you check him out good 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 fucking videos he's got a video called here the eternal mystery of brendan shaw the eternal mystery of the one b dot shaw let's see what he's saying on here this should be a fucking good one and good we already got a freezing encoding error so let's take off the camera let's not even try and let's not even try and fucking play with this shit and let's just go straight away okay 
let's just go straight away my friends let's go straight a fucking way boop, 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 boop. let's do that and let's play of all the things shorba's done why what do you care it'd be the uh -oh. same as if a cat create a profile that's a good example who cares even a homeless guy if a homeless guy, they have, it doesn't matter. Get the straw, get that straw. Don't think I've ever seen anybody eat or drink like that, but it's all good as he now- Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that white tongue. That tongue needs a good scraping. Oh my Get the straw, get that God. straw. Don't think I've ever seen anybody eat or drink like that, but it's all- Oh, I can't, I can't stop it. I can't stop it in time. Hold on. One more time, one matter. time. Get the straw, get that straw. Don't think I've ever seen anybody eat or drink like that, but it's- Oh, I can't stop it in time. It doesn't fucking matter, but do you see that tongue? One more time. It doesn't matter. Again. Get the straw. Get that straw. I don't think I've ever seen anybody oh. eat or drink like that. But look at that tongue. Look at that tongue. Look at that tongue. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen somebody with a tongue that fucking white? That needs a good scraping. That needs a fucking good fucking scraping god almighty look at that shit look at that can you imagine the gunk on there i'm sorry if you're eating i really apologize if you're eating something i'm really sorry i'm really fucking sorry should i take off the screen should i take it off is that too much look at that can you imagine how much stuff that will come off there if we scraped it okay i'll take off the screen i'm sorry people i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> jared mellorick kiss me <laughs> <laughs> okay let's get off let's get it's off, all good off. as he now thinks he's a draw for 10 million against his apparent best <laughs> friend me. jake paul having to clickbait with golden hours chris D'Elia. yo big up um what's that really of all people for a few extra thousand views is sad enough but he only oh yeah true they did kind of clickbait that one didn't it? he turns up at the very end of course even though brendan doesn't train and jake <laughs> big up young old vibes <laughs> no i would never do that young old vibes man i'm not again i wish i could be unique i really do wish like i could be unique i wish i could get fucked up on stream and do a good job or like not even do a good job like just get fucked up on stream and just have a good time i can't do it is 14 years younger if it's BJJ, sure, but the Pauls only take boxing matches they think they can win. Either way... Oh, really? Big up, um, Austin Casey, you can you can pause, then press the period button um, to advance one frame at a time. Okay, you're a fucking legend. Thank you for that, brother. I appreciate you. Speculation is pointless as the Paul brothers are after Tyson, Tate, people with bigger fan bases than Shorb. And his super fans are more concerned with deciphering why the man does anything he does. And you also get this narrative, he's the best, he's the greatest of all time. He's not. He never was. What? We were sold on that. Yeah. But when you go, it's very black and white. You go through his record, he's not. Even down. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, isn't it? Wow. Big up Austin Casey. What a legend. Yeah, it does look. It goes one frame at a time. Big up Austin Casey. What a fucking G. Big up Austin Casey. Big up, big up. That's fucking sick. I didn't know you could do that. That's absolutely awesome. You would call this behavior. A mystery for the ages, though many would tune in to see Shaw Blues. As hated as the Paul brothers are, youth and KO ability, if it's boxing, is definitely in their favor. Imagine, they have nothing to gain fighting Brendan Shaw. It's actually going to be a worse thing for Brendan. Is the volume too low? What's low? Is it me or the, or the volume of the video? Because the video is quite high. Is the video low or is it me? You're okay. I don't think, I don't think, um, I think Brendan would have a lot to lose if he did fight the Paul brothers. I swear to God. Because it doesn't, he doesn't win. He doesn't gain anything from it. Because if he loses, it's going to be super embarrassing. If he wins, everybody expects it because he's a heavyweight. Tyson Paul wise, the age difference is gross, but if it's not a soft exhibition match, a Tyson KO is arguably what most want to see. Either way, with how poorly Shaw was treated when on Impulsive, I doubt he'll have anything to do with the event. You do YouTube? As he's got business to attend to anyway. <laughs> Shaw's podcast employers, Cast Media, finally have officially filed for bankruptcy 13th of March 2024, owing millions to podcast creators. Hold on, is retroactive Sunny V2? Or am I just thinking because he's fucking, um, um <laughs> big up asada sees if you do press control on the delete you can enter you get youtube premium for free you're a fucking prick <laughs> big up asada sees 
<laughs> you guys taking me for a fucking fool. You're treating me like a fucking boomer. Uh, you guys are you guys are fucking awful. Um, is fucking retroactive Sunny V2? Or is it just from the same place? Even 456,000 is owed to Theo Vaughn, but why is Brendan not on the list? Because as we've covered before, Brendan took a terrible payout deal of 1.6. I don't think it's a terrible deal though, to be fair. I think it's a good deal. I think Brendan was never going to get that money anywhere else. I think that's why they re-signed to Podcast One anyway, because they're not going to get good deals from ads anywhere because their podcast numbers are fugazi. I think Podcast One probably turn a blind eye or know about the game about fudging numbers. Like I think Keith T mentioned before, right? The House of Cards of podcasting where you sort of fake the numbers. You get the advance money from the podcast company then use that advance money to fake the numbers and then get more money, blah, blah, blah. I think other ad companies would have been more stringent about, you know, due diligence and shit. I don't think Podcast One does it. So that's why they stayed with Podcast One. Obviously get the money. Big up, Austin Casey. I appreciate you. In YouTube, you can pause, then press the period button to advance one frame at a time. Yes, yes. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. I got that. I got that little tip there. I really do appreciate that. I'm going I'm to be using that a lot now going forward. I'm going to be using that a lot going forward. 100% going to be using that a lot going forward. Appreciate you. Six million based in shares in their new company, Podcast One, opening at 4.39 USD and still... <laughs> Enjoy, Ranger. Is podcast, what, is, is podcast Cringe also Sunny V2? Yeah, true. They're all from the same place. Maybe they're not. Maybe Podcast Cringe is Kiwi. We don't know. Barely above $2. It fell the moment Theo Von publicly dragged the company and Colin Tom. Imagine getting scammed by somebody with, you know, that's dyed their receding hairline blonde. I'd fucking unalive myself. Big up Keith T. I appreciate you. Who remembers Bapa saying, if you hear me talking about celebrity boxing, then it means things aren't going well. Oh, yeah. Keith T. Brilliant memory. Oh, my God. I actually might need to find that clip and make a clip of it. Do you guys remember that? That's true. He used to always, like, rag on celebrity boxing. He used to always mock it. Like, oh, I can't believe these guys are celebrity, but I'm not going to celebrity box. I've got too much money. I'm too busy. I've got all these podcast shows. I'm doing these live shows. I'm touring. Like, you know, fuck, that's so true, Keith T. Wow. Funny how times have changed, isn't it? Funny how times have fucking changed. Thompson for ripping him off and still hasn't recovered. It's no surprise, though, as even as simple as something like straws, sure can't be honest about. There's something very feminine about using a straw. Exactly. I don't use them, right? Because I'm yeah. no punk. So many pictures. You do. Oh, you, you, know, you would for, I, for this. You would for this. Uh, you wouldn't take the top off. Uh, honestly, have you ever met somebody? Can you guys tell me in the stream chat? Have you ever met anybody in your life who's ever lied as much as Brendan about everything the only person I can think of is I mention all the time my old school friend he used to always lie about the computer games he had he lied about having a girl in his bed and he was fingering a pillow but I don't but that was like when we were like I don't know we were probably like 10 or something I can't remember anybody else who did that you know I can't think of a single person who did that I can't think so an adult who would lie that much about and it's not even that's how you know he's a pathological liar because it's not like he lies about important things he lies about nonsense oh yeah don't drink from straws like excuse me there's a whole fucking youtube there's a whole google images library of people of pictures of you drinking from a straw and making it a part of your personality and your identity like drinking a cup with a like straw like he used some that, that's what he did look at the video here he made it part of his brand my response to Dana White, I'm bothered with his fucking prolapsed anus lips around his big gulp. What a bizarre person, bro. I don't, I, don't, I can't think of somebody, because again, I know of liars in my life who lie about their career, right? Maybe they say, oh, they're the manager of a certain place, but they're not really the manager, they're a janitor. Or that they fuck some girl, but they didn't fuck the girl. You know, that kind of stuff. Brendan just lies about anything. Pull-ups, straws, headlining, Selling out shows. Like he lies about anything. The spectrum is wide, you know? <laughs> uh, if I, here, I'd take the top off. Strolls. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, no so having the level-headedness to not rush into a new deal with a company that's screwing you over, as Theo did, was a bridge too far. And we find out that the sponsors in his new truck show, <laughs> Toontown, aren't actually sponsors of the show. Well, it Yeah, I, I, I didn't like this, by the way. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like this. Kibitech are lame for this. Kibitech suck for doing this. 
if you're gonna try and like clout chase brendan's podcast fame and use his you know notoriety for lack their better of right for better or worse to kind of bolster yourself and give yourself more exposure but then when your fans call you out and basically mock you for doing so you didn't like no we don't sponsor anyone he, he has our parts on his truck i fucking hate that shit i'm not gonna lie Again, you know, I'm not the biggest Beppo fan, but I think Kibitech was super lame for doing this. Kibitech sucked for doing this. At least Kibitech, who replied to a fan saying they do not sponsor Shorb Show, he just uses our parts on his TRX. Fueling further speculation as to how his multiple podcasts, employees, <sighs> studios, and other costs are. Uh, you see that? What was that? Was that a Ferrari? Or was that a red Porsche? I don't remember that. Speculation as that? to how his multiple podcasts. Is that a red Porsche? Fucking hell, Brendan Shaw, bro. He was making money, innit? He had the red Porsche. When did he have that? Wow, oh my God. This guy was making money. He was absolutely cr like, or maybe it's the same car, but he got it. Maybe it's the same one. No, I don't, it's just a different one, isn't it? It's a definitely a different one. It's a completely different one. He was making fucking peas. Look at that. Jesus Christ, he was making some good fucking money, wasn't he? Absolutely crazy, bro. Oh, look at the interior of that. That's fucking awful, isn't it? He's got that pearl and he's got the fucking plaid seating. Like, what the fuck is going on there? And he had, oh, yeah, he had that red Ferrari too, didn't he? Do you remember that? Brendan had a red... Did, is, this, is this his Ferrari? holy shit <laughs> brendan had this red ferrari what is this is this like a is this a i don't know i don't i'm not really familiar with my ferraris what 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 model of ferrari is this by the way guys wasn't that long ago i posted this what's up about my boy about your bentley then porsche now this what will be next bugatti well done brendan Shaw, killing it what is this what ferrari is this fucking hell that is beautiful how the fuck was he affording this shit being a being a low level comedian how how <laughs> how did he do this <laughs> he scammed it honestly he won podcasting brendan fucking won brendan really made the most out of his fucking day in the sun in it <laughs> he did fucking well <laughs> bro guys no wonder Eric Griffin used to hate Brendan. Could you imagine being a stand-up comedian for like 10 years plus struggling, doing the door, like doing the fucking, you know, sometimes serving the drinks, doing the tickets and shit, right? <laughs> Trying to get a spot on the open mic thing and Brendan pulls up to the comedy store in a red Ferrari. Can you imagine how much that would have hurt you seeing Brendan pull up in a red Ferrari? <laughs> What is this? Oh, Jesus. What, what do you guys say? It's a Ferrari 612. Let's see. Ferrari 612. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, I think it is. I think that's the one. I think that might be the one. Is that the one? Is that Ferrari 612? Maybe. I don't think. Is it, is it, is it 612? Looks a bit. The, the, the headlights look a bit different, don't they? Or am, I, or am I mistaken? The headlights look a little bit different on this. Headlights look a little bit different. Uh. Is there such a thing as a what is that? Is it, is it GTO? Maybe oh there we go. We found it. There we go. Six six one two GTO. Is that the one he had? Is that the one he had? No way. Is that it? <laughs> no, that can't be it. <laughs> Which one was it? Oh, what is it? It's the F two. What? What is it? It's the F twelve. F twelve Berlinita. Wow. How much does this go for? price what do you guys think about how much it goes for guess in the stream chat if you, if you haven't if you haven't googled it what do you think it goes for if you haven't googled it guess how much this car goes for what do you think hundred thousand two hundred thousand i'm gonna say 150 i think about 150 i don't know how much ferraris go for I, i'm gonna say hundred fifty thousand. how much do you think it goes for let's see here how much does it go for how much? Let's see. Uh, let's go to Auto Trader. Let's see how, how much can you buy an F12 Berlinita. Let's see how much they go for here. Wow. 150. Yeah. 150. Basically, 150 to 200. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, really? My girlfriend's dad has three Ferraris. Whoa. Yes, definitely post that in the Discord. Again, if you want to see those pictures in the Discord, make sure you join the fucking Discord as well, by the way, you fucking freaks. Join the fucking Discord, all right? Join the fucking Discord, okay? Join the fucking Discord. If you want to be, if you want to see the things that Austin Casey are going to be posting in the Discord, join the fucking Discord. I'm going to put the link in the fucking stream chat. Bear with me a second. I'm going to put the link in the fucking stream chat. Join the fucking Discord. Don't be a fucking tight ass. Join the fucking Discord. We've got a good little community of people there. All right? Don't be a weirdo. Join the fucking Discord. It's good little community of people there. Let me get the fucking thing up. Let me share the fucking invite the people. Let's get the little link on there. Let's put it in the fucking stream chat, all right? There we go. Boom. Okay, join the fucking Discord. Don't be lame. Join the Discord if you want to see all that good shit, all right? All right? All right? All right? All right? There. Cool. Boom. Connection, okay? We're done. Let's go back to the fucking cars. Cool. Look at this. Look at this. 200 grand. A 200 grand car. This guy, again, oh, yeah. so someone said it's about leasing, isn't it? How much is the finance? Good question. Whoever said that, the finance question. Let's actually check that out. But they're around 200,000, right? There you see the cars. Oh, it comes in yellow. That yellow is super ugly, isn't it? I would never get that. That looks horrendous. That looks like a wannabe Dodge or something. If you're going to get a Ferrari, you'd probably get it in red or like a different color. But yeah, that yellow looks horrible. I don't like that Bumblebee one. Let's actually go. Let's see. Um, Let's do leasing. Um, Let's see how much car finance deals let's see what they're saying auto trader what are we looking at here any prices here uh the last second hand what they don't actually show any deals here what, how much they're gonna be leased for show me man show me get a quote i don't want to quote just give me a rough price you piece of shit finance example f12 how much it's going for here cash deposit total amount credit month oh fucking hell that's a lot in it one thousand three hundred and thirty three that's a lot of money bro how much you have to put down 30 grand you gotta put down 30 grand <laughs> and pay 1300 per month to run this thing i don't know how much petrol it takes if it's probably super unreliable it goes in the garage a lot that's a lot of fucking money brendan was doing this like with standard like oh joe oh sorry joel damn it's easy to become so white wow so it's 200 grand used so what is it brand new then what is it brand new okay good point there what is it brand new i don't know is it brand new brand new price <gasps> oh my god okay cool 239 <laughs> holy shit holy shit brendan was driving this bro terrible stand-up comedian had this car driving it on a regular look at this what's up dog look at this the only fighter ever to come out of fighting and do something new and buy your fucking ferrari look at that b I mean, let's not, guys guys let's not lie oh he looks a bit oh jesus christ brendan brendan all the pies isn't it this is pre ozempic isn't it look at that that's pre ozempic bapper, isn't it? Fucking hell. What's going on there then, Brendan, eh? That's pre ozempic bapper there. What the fuck is going on there? Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. That's a nice car, though, man. That's a fucking nice car. Let's not lie, bro. That is a fucking nice car. Let's go around it again one more time. That's a fucking beautiful car. Look he didn't have it long, though. So he probably was leasing it. He didn't have it long. It went straight away. Look at this. What's so dog. Look at this. The only fighter ever to come out of fighting and do something new and buy your fucking Ferrari. Look at that, B. It's funny, though, isn't it? He has all these cars and he has, like, two kids. Or at the time, he had two kids. Maybe he had one kid. It's a bit strange. Like, I don't know, like, how do you get away with stuff like this? You have to marry, like, a, a wife that probably just doesn't care or something. Like, I couldn't imagine, like my wife or like a partner like i couldn't imagine ever being allowed to buy stuff like this like just be honest, like you've got kids in a family like what why are you pulling up in a fucking two-seater ferrari like what the fuck is this you know what i mean your kids need school shoes and book bags and shit you could take a kid to mcdonald's and here you are buying yourself a ferrari like you know what i mean it would just look super selfish like you could never do it. i don't know maybe i'm just you know 
nitpicking a bit, but it's an interesting thing to do, isn't it, when you're like a dad. I'm living out of it, but yeah. Like, especially a young dad as well. You think you're going to put all your money into your kids and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, bloody hell. But yeah, okay, that's Brendan living life. Let's go back to the video. Podcasts, employees, studios, and other costs are working out as sponsor deal contracts would then be lower based on their 2023 stats. There oh, so everyone's saying in the stream chat, you think it's leased? You don't think you, put, you paid for it, right? right? Realistic close to 300 grand option, 300 grand option, starting at 239. Also in USD, is 500 grand. <gasps> God almighty. Is that how much it would cost in the, US, in, the, in the United States? Okay, it's 319, it says here. Allegedly, 319,000. But yeah, guys. So everyone thinks it's leased, right? Probably he probably get he got at least no way he he bought that right out, right? Is it cool? Yeah, you see what I mean. You see the monthly earnings of T Fat K. Allegedly, when I checked last time, like you know what's it called outside of T Fat K, Gold Now is the most successful thing that he does, according to Social Blade. Brad sales and ticket sales, as we're seeing with their lowly attended live shows, under 100 tickets last show. The next show was 10 days out at 30 tickets sold and Jesus is now cancelled entirely. So, uh, so we're gonna reschedule Austin. Yeah, we're gonna probably reschedule April, Austin. May, so May, June. We'll do yeah, May, sorry. June. April, May, June. That's three months. <laughs> April, May, June. Which month? April, May, June. Never. I still can't believe that they barely sold 100 tickets for the first show, then tried to do a second show so soon after. Barely sold 30 tickets before the date. And then I'm assuming most venues, again, I don't know much about venue stuff, but I'd assume most venues don't let you do a show if you don't sell a certain amount of tickets. They just say, you know what, you can't do it. They just kind of, it's kind of like a, if you don't reach a certain threshold, you're done. You know what I mean? Maybe. Bad fake, guys. Bring your baby to the live show. I'll bring my baby to the live show. Like the day it's born. Let alone can. Koyla, excuse me? His wife is a dent. She made a poll about flavor water. <laughs> I don't like talking about the wife on here, but some of the stuff that I hear about this woman, a poll about flavor water. Yeah, because she's the one that says she doesn't like drinking water, isn't it? It's like, then you have difficulties with your pregnancy. I don't, I don't know. I don't even want to get started, man. It's just too much redactness. It's too, it's too sad. It's too sad. Canceling his entire comedy tour with no return in sight. It's a real mystery as to how it's all staying afloat, leading to baseless speculation like this to spread across the... I don't think I don't think it's a mystery that he's that he's staying afloat. I think people underestimate how much ads pay for pod, how much the amount of money that ads will pay for podcast placements. I think people underestimate how much money it is. It's really, really good money from what you can kind of piece together from the podcasters and what they speak about. I think it's like, you know, per month it's like easily anywhere between like ten to thirty K. That you're easily getting from these people and then again this could be like per month this could be like a six month contract so if you're smart you can divvy out that money or spread it across you know however much you're doing it and then kind of use that money as a key and other people mentioned use that money to then inflate and buy fake views buy fake listeners then to increase your amount of money that you're going to get again do you know what i mean i think that's what they do so i think people underestimate just how much money they make just on the ads alone i know the show's terrible and all that malarkey, but they've got a built-in audience. Brendan's still associated with Rogan. So it's one of those things where unless he does something stupid, he's basically set for life, you know what I mean, in terms of that thing, because you kind of got like a, you know, people just kind of listen to you via by habit, really. It's not because they even like the show, just through habit. The internet. Though it wouldn't be a surprise considering Tom Segura, Chris D'Elia, Andrew Schultz, and many others that grew up rich. Considering Brian Callan takes home 30k a month, uh, according to Mark Harley, Brendan's ex-assistant, they've either taken- Jesus. I believe that, by the way. 30k a month. I believe that. Major pay cuts, are staying afloat on savings, or someone is financing the endeavor, as there's no way they're making enough to cover every expense. Shorb's subreddit of 150,000 anti-fans that watch his every move for comedy reasons, just not reasons intended, they're now taking a lot more notice of his wife's Oh no, that was on the Daily Mail. Wow, tacky woman slammed, but upstaging her best friend's engagement news by showing off her larger ring. Tacky woman. <laughs> They didn't call her by her name. Tacky woman, you know, that's fucking horrible. Like Instagram with her going viral on X this week and due to her selling designer bags and clothes. People are speaking. Oh yeah, true. Speculating if allegedly they're fake designer items. I don't think they're fake. 
I just think they make, I, and again, I just think people underestimate how much money these guys make. I know they're redax and we don't really rate their intellect and we think the show's shit, but unfortunately, you know, they do make a lot of money. Like, it's not based on their talent and what they do well. It's just based on the, they've been around for so long. Imagine they go into podcasting when it was still kind of new. They've got that kind of old, it's like, D, it's like, um, it's like DSP who I've talked about a lot on here in the pod, um, on the stream, sorry, Dark Side Feel. He's a horrible streamer. He's a horrible content creator, but he's been around for so long. He's been able to kind of just coast with that same audience that he built up from like 16 years of streaming. Like before streaming was even a thing, he was still doing it. So that type of like consistency, especially if you're still around, if you don't give up, it's nearly impossible for you to like not have a career still, especially if you like kind of evolve, kind of change the times. It's kind of easy just to coast by because people are so used to seeing you around. They can trust you. They know you're going to be around, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I think people underestimate how much money they make. They make a lot of money, w way more than they probably should do based on the quality of the shows. But I think the whole podcast marketing game thing is all a bit of a scam anyway, so it kind of helps each other, do you know what I mean? Even if they're real, she's charging fifteen hundred for a seven hundred dollar bag. Ah, the typical LA influencer. <laughs> it's rough until you remember the funeral fit post from Shorb and <laughs> funeral fit. My grandmother would have wanted me to flex on my family just a tad. <laughs> and I, I don't. I, I forgot he posted on his account. I thought his wife posted on her account. It's actually Brendan uploaded this on his fucking own story. Funeral fit, you know. <laughs> Why are you smiling so much? It's a funeral. Why are you smiling like this? And why are you, why are you even taking a selfie at a funeral, by the way? Who does that? Who takes a selfie at a funeral? Who takes a selfie at a funeral? Please. Who takes a selfie at a funeral? Who does that? <laughs> you realize this is normal for their social media output and fits the stereotype of LA like a glove. Even Shorb's fight prediction record, you think he'd be better than the average man at picking who will win, but he takes a commentary role recently, and of course, the Shorb effect continues on where almost every time he picks someone, they lose. Jesus but it's alright because, plot twist, someone in George Bush's circle is repping Thick Boy merch? How about what? Really? Where's that? Oh, wow. That's George Bush, and that's the guy. He probably got it on sale or some charity shop. Do you remember? This is, when's the last time you've seen Brendan post a picture of him on his bicycle, by the way? Do you remember there was a picture of Brendan on his e-bike with a gel pack? Do you remember that? Some, I think I saw it on a Friday Kids subreddit. Somebody posted an old picture of Brendan flexing, holding his bike in the air with a gel pack in his mouth. Like one of those sugar, you know, gel pack things that you're meant to have when you're like, you know, running or something in your low in energy. Like, bro, you're riding an electric mountain bike, an electric MTB. Why do you need a gel pack for? <laughs> you're barely pedaling you're basically on like a a bicycle version of a moped there's no reason why you need a fucking gel pack like fuck you know we we rename the vulcan the fathership the fathership's so genius dude that brian Callan, the ultimate cuck in it the ultimate fucking cuck He's, like he knows how to play his role really well no wonder his dad gives him so much money that's a great idea. Boom. The f well, these two events alone prove the marketing genius. <laughs> Stepmothership, fathership. Yeah, let's just Jack Rogan's club idea and re- I wonder what the Vulcan actually think about that. I, I bet they're okay with it because I'd imagine all the comedy clubs in Austin are probably suffering because of Rogan's club. They probably took all the audience, right? Massive audience capture, completely gone. Or not audience capture, ma massive just like, you know, just t took the fucking audience, I'd imagine. So they probably any association with a, with the mothership is probably a good thing because it helps them stay afloat. I'd imagine so. They kind of cannibalize. That's it. I think cannibalize the audience. I'd imagine that's it. Name the Vulcan to something with ship in it too. I'm sure they appreciate that for helping their own brand recognition. Retired UFC fighter Sean McCorkle is still going at Brendan, oh yeah, airing out I his love entire McCorkle. life story on McCorkle. X, which you've probably all heard at this point. And Shorb's old Adam Sandler story he has told differently every time he tells it, of course comes back to haunt You're the uh, tough guy that does comedy, right? And I was like, holy... F I love how this guy here, I, I think he's some sort of like, he was like a baseball player or like he played baseball at a good level, whatever. He's a guy, right? And... He actually was a legit Brendan fan on Valuetainment. Like he was the one that was in place to be like the Brendan athlete kind of guy, bro guy. Like, and he looks like a bro. He looks like he could be like, for like you know, not to be rude, 
because I think he's a good dude, but he looks like he could be a Brendan Shaw stand-up comedy fan. And it's interesting to see Brendan turns him off during his pod, so much so after the fact, he comments on his own podcast. I think he had it with another fighter. Well, I forgot his name in the UFC. He had a fight. He had it with the fighter, the guy that came out with the old Mickey Gall. That's it. He had a podcast with Mickey Gall, this guy. And I think he said in his podcast with Mickey Gall that he completely just doesn't like Brendan anymore after this show, after this episode, because Brendan was trying to big time him, basically acting like a dick. So this guy was actually a fan of Brendan, and Brendan managed to turn him into a hater because of how he acts and because of his attitude. Never change, Papa. Never change. You're that funny guy that kicks ass. I didn't know what to say. Uh, you're the ass kicker that tells jokes, right? Did he ask? He knows who you are. I was like, Hilariously, he had to tell this to Nick Swartzen, who was actually a close friend of Adam Sandler's. <laughs> he said the same for meeting Floyd Mayweather to Tom Segura, and just completely forgot that it's very similar to what Sandler apparently said. Oh, you that white boy that works too much. That's what he said? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, that's what Floyd... <laughs> You're the white boy that works too much. <gasps> Brendan is like acting as if like everybody around Hollywood was like marveling at his work ethnic. Everybody in Hollywood was marveling at his work ethnic. Honestly, man, Brendan is fucking incredible. Floyd Mayweather would say, it's so unbelievable that it's painful to listen to. He also has another retired UFC fighter, Luke Rockhold, oh, yeah. after him, showing Shorb how donuts are done and talking in Shorbanese in the description. Shorb responds, Oh yeah, true. I didn't notice that at first. I didn't notice that at first. Let me show you how you rip it, B. Yo, Luke Rockhold's a little bit redacted himself. He's, you know, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Even he is fucking using the Shorbanese. Look at the, look at the comments. Brendan Shorb can't even sell out a 20-seat pizza pub. If you wanted to hurt me, brother, you got me. What are we doing here, part two, here? Always been a gearhead, B. B wishes he was you in every facet. Homeless as fuck, B. I need a girl who's impressed by donuts in the dirt. Oh my god. Big Brendan needs a tutorial. Oh my god. That's really good. That's really fucking good. Big up the comments. Rim showing Shorb how donuts are done and talking in Shorbanese in the description. Shorb responded, Mmm, kinda. We need more power on that bad boy. Side note, those girls thought you were David Blaine. Oh, he deleted a comment. Brendan the pussy deleted a comment. The, I bet the replies are horrible. Brendan deleted a comment. Brendan deleted the fucking comment. What a fucking scary cat. What a pussy. He deleted a comment. The comment now deleted. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't handle it. <laughs> ah, you got him with that one. The internet's still not over his 40 reps claim. Oh my god, just a friendly reminder, the 40-year-old Zempic Papa can bench press 11 more reps than 23-year-old elite athlete. Yeah, that's just like... I know there's people in the gym, I'm sure some of you have seen them. Those of you that are in the stream chat, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you guys know in the gym, there's guys who... um. What do you call it? There's guys who train in the gym who are like really fat. I've, I've seen a couple of them, especially in my local gym, who just have freakishly amazing strength, like not ripped at all, bare belly, usually come into the gym in crocs and shit, and they can just like push crazy amounts of weight. Those guys do exist, but Papa's not one of them. I'm sorry. Those guys do exist who could just get on the bench press with no warm up and just bench 200, like a couple times for reps just for warm up. Those guys do exist, but Papa's not one of them. We've seen what he does when he tries to run 40-yard dash with Chappelle Lacey at, a, you know, at some parking lot somewhere. He, he he allegedly pulled two hammies. He probably got cramp into both legs, but come on. He's, he, doesn't got the, he hasn't got the minerals. And by the way, those of you in the stream chat that are American, why do football players do this? Why do they have their midriff? Is this like a show thing to show off your six-pack, or is it like a utility thing? Why do, they, why do they always expose their midriff like this? Is that just a fashion thing? Can you let me know in the stream chat? Is, it, is that like for fashion? Is this to show like your form? Like, what is this? Is that is there a utility to this? Why do they always show off their midriff? They always kind of roll their shirts up like this. Is it because they they get too hot? Like, what what is the point of it? Or is this just like a style thing? They all do it. It's really strange. They wear crop tops and shit. It's no problem, but I'm just wondering what it's for. which the NFL all-time record is 49 reps. And he's back to saying that lie, but is now telling the truth, at least based on the actual number from the- 
Yeah, his actual number is 21. That's kept on college players. College, I did 21, 22. That's two summers ago, I did 225, 42 times. Oh, so he's now telling the truth about his college records, but he's still lying and say he did 20, 225. Okay, that's even the worst lie. What are people saying here? Tucking it under the pads because it's hot. Okay, cool. To stunt on the hose. It's for the ladies. It's hot as fucking Florida, man. Mean temperature. Okay, cool. Mineral sus for the hose. For the <laughs> for the hose. <laughs> Being sexy for ninety eight percent of the male watchers. Short shirt allows you to cool dims and for movement. Okay, cool. Big up aside and everybody else. Let me know. I appreciate it. for the hose. <laughs> it reps. Yeah. For the fellas. For the mandem. Look at that face. That's a pure liar. Look at that face. That's a liar. That's someone's gonna scam you out of your fucking four one four four one k in it. Look at. It. Oh, he's got a mint 400 hat. Of course he's got a mint 400 trucker hat. Of course he's got a mint 400 trucker hat. Of course he's got a mint 400 trucker hat. Of course. Of fucking course. Show me the evidence. That's crazy. 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 If matter. anybody knew that was BS, it was strong man and ex-actor for the mountain. Half Thor Beyonce. Uh, last summer I did 40 and his face changed. He goes, you beat me. I go. Yes. It would have been so obviously not true to him, the six nine. Look at that form. Look at that form. Look at that fucking horrible form with one rip max. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that form. Oh, the bouncing is fucking incredible. Oh, one more time. I, I think I'm actually do bench tomorrow, to be honest, or, or this morning. It would have been so whatever. obviously not true to him, the six nine. <laughs> And in over 200 kilos, we're not preparing for a fight. I mean, look at the two of them next to each other. And of course, once called out. Imagine, allegedly Brendan saying he does more bench presses than this guy. Oh, they're both, si they're both of them signed to rain. Interesting, isn't it? Definitely got different deals, I'd imagine. Definitely got different deals. Different bits of compensation you'd imagine for both those guys. The outshorb is too tired to prove. I'll film it. I mean, you go. We'll do it now. He got competitive. Yeah, I went, I'm not doing that now. I go, dude, I just got done deadlifting and pulling the truck. I'm not going to do it now. He goes, and then he goes, all right, tomorrow morning. But Brendan, of course, did more reps than one of the biggest guys on the planet. And it was last summer. And conveniently not on camera for anyone to witness exactly. as someone who exactly. was on camera constantly. Exactly. The mental exactly. gymnastics to make that. That form is terrible. It's not It's not how much you lift. It's how you lift it. Exactly. Big up that, that user. Exactly. I've always said, especially in my workouts, I've always, I think that's one of the things that I'm happy about um, knowing that I'd kind of learned from the CrossFit world because I was into CrossFit when it kind of first started. I kind of went to a few boxes and shit and then kind of got put off by the monthly prices because CrossFit box prices are fucking crazy, especially in London. I'm not too sure about you guys in the States, but in London, to be a part of a CrossFit box, you're paying like, I think I had like, I was able to do three classes a week and I think it was like 150 pounds. 150 pounds, which is one of the lowest ones around in the area. 150 for three classes a week, one hour per week to get some stupid guy to tell you to fucking jump up and down and shout you like you're in the Marines or something it was fucking stupid. So I fucking hated it. But one of the things I loved about it, what they used to tell you was that it's not about your length of a workout, how much you got in the workout or the how many exercises and shit or movements. It's all about the intensity at which you work out. So if you're warming up with intensity, you're fucking doing the fucking water with intensity, you're doing the strength and condition with intensity, you're doing the whatever, right? But the the you know the movement stuff with intensity, that's what's gonna actually make you um way better and way fitter and do good form all that's malarkey. That's the main thing. It's not about the it's not about the ego shit. Do you know what I mean? About stacking the weights and making the barber bend just for your ego shit. It's all about, you know, it's all about fucking um you know having good form and obviously doing a maximum intensity but brendan also comes from that he's got half and half brendan's got that that chad football thing and also the athlete stuff you know what i mean so he comes from that image of like you know wanting to put as many plates in the bar as possible making it rattle that massive sound smashing the weights you know what i mean dropping the weights through all that stuff that work it's definitely at a point of strain. Honestly, who wears who wears fucking constantly the mental gymnastics the to make that work? Is that the worst shoes to wear when you're doing deadlifts? They've got super massive so high I mean, fix. This is definitely you can tell you guys for like a trendy gym. Who wears fucking limit? Do do you guys wear limited edition sneakers when you go to a gym? You guys wear Yeezys when you go to a gym? Super thick Yeezys. Surely you should be wearing 
you should be barefooted or wearing as low of a shoe as possible. Or maybe even if you if you want to go extreme, or not extreme, but you know, weightlifting shoes. Why would you wear Yeezys in the gym? Super strange. It's definitely at a point of strange parasocial watching, but that's what the internet does with everything these days. Especially someone who can't stop blundering. Otherwise, there'd be nothing for people to clip up, and he'd fall into the same place as Carlos Mencia. Oh, wow. Oh my, is that his official channel? Carlos Mencia's official channel, 23.3 thousand subscribers, 1.8, oh my god, bro. Rogan actually killed his career, isn't it? 1.6 thousand views. Fucking hell. Rogan actually killed this guy's career. Wow or Dane Cook who can no longer pull the numbers they once did. Brendan may never learn. It's literally Groundhog Day but for being the greatest unintentionally funny comedian of all- I don't want him to learn. I want him to be the same forever because it's going to be entertaining for me. I can laugh at him until the end of time and this obviously helps me the content. I don't want him to learn ever. I don't want him to get better. I don't want him to figure it out. No come to Jesus moment. Just keep making- because the good thing about people like this existing, it does give you an image of what you shouldn't do. And that's something I've learned from him. I've learned like, okay, cool. I'm definitely not going to copy you in this facet because this is redacted. All time. There's nothing else like it in comedy history and it's why many comedians approach the topic with the infatuation level of watching the end of the world. Believe it or not, but pre-2014, Brendan was actually liked. By myself included. He was funny and very self-aware. Exactly. Then he got smashed in the mush too many times and here we are. I really enjoyed the fighter and the kid. And exactly, so exactly. I've said this before myself, like people people want to retcon their history, but the fighter and the kid was actually good at one time. I'm sure some of you in the stream chat will recognize and know if you were around back then. The fighter and the kid was actually really good back in the day. Let's not lie. It was actually really good. It was actually really funny. And again, I wish we could pinpoint. I really wish we could pinpoint when it changed. Some people say it's when he started to dye his hair white. Some people say it's when he started to go on Bravo and E. Some people would say it's when he started to get his own like comedy gig started to kind of go up. Um, I don't really remember the precise moment, but something happened and it changed completely. And the show dynamic changed. Brennan started to think he was walking on water. Brian Cannon stopped acting like a co-owner and a partner and more like an employee. He started to like play the like you know the second fiddle to fucking brendan and let him take the charge maybe actually maybe this is true maybe i've maybe i've fucking figured it out maybe the podcast changed you guys remember the law do you remember the law when they started first making their men their merch i think it might have been the abbott kenny fight club t-shirts or something or maybe the turbo slot t-shirts when they first started making merch i remember brendan saying on a pod how he was annoyed about brian typical brian story he wasn't pulling his weight he wasn't like adding ideas. He wasn't helping with the ideas. So Brennan just took charge of doing the merch for T5K. And then they decided to restructure the deal because before it was 50-50, then because Brennan was doing most of the graphics, doing most of the, you know, the, the quote unquote creative things around the fucking T5K, um, he wanted to take more of a cut. And I think Brian kind of offered, obviously being in a cuck. And I think then it changed the splits from... 50 50 to 64 and into 70 30 or something along those kind of lines i think that's when maybe it kind of changed that might be the reason that might be the point when the percentage splits change and that changed the dynamic between them both because it basically meant brendan was brian's boss in a way they weren't really partners or co-owners anymore maybe that was the point till 2018 it's sad to see that many of his anti-fans were genuine fans to begin with but it's almost impossible to imagine Shaw becoming self-aware Oh, Koyla, very good point, Koyla, very good point. When he started to do stand-up and Uncle Joey went back to his opinion, yeah, that's a very good point. When Uncle Joey basically, that was, a one, that was the one time I was thinking Uncle Joey was lying, when he basically tried to like walk back his original opinion about him and tried to be nice. I think probably Joe Rogan told him, hey, chill out, Brennan's my boy. But that, that's a very good point there. Very, very good point. Ryan Joseph, 2017, when he went on the solo comedy and was signed to Showtime. Yep, good point. Very good point. That was the first time he did solo comedy. Yeah, yeah. That that probably is there's somewhere around that mark. Showtime deal, Below the Belt. Do you remember when Below the Belt was scripted? Do you guys remember that? When he tried to do the first episode? But I wish we could find them. The videos don't exist anymore. But when he first did Below the Belt, he used to wear like a blazer. They kind of tried to do it like a scripted show, like a almost like a version of ridiculousness or something. Do you guys remember that? But he couldn't read off the teleprompter. 
So he kept fucking up the words and shit, fucking up his, you know, the lines on his fucking show. And then they stopped doing that and then they just switched it to him just sitting on the couch or on the chair. Before it was him like moving, it was like on a set, it was like a thing. He was like moving around, showing graphics and shit. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. And then he just couldn't read the lines on Tony Prompt and just said, you know what, fuck this shit. Let's, let's stop yeah, doing this. Not dunking on himself for a change with obvious alleged lies. Owning the jokes people make of him and improving at the craft he picked, but... Yo, big up Retroactive, man. Appreciate Retroactive. Fucking brilliant video. Really, really good. Please make sure you check it out. I'm actually into sub to this guy's channel. I thought I'm not sub to it. But check out Retroactive. He's fucking amazing. Really, really cool videos. I fucking love everything this guy does. Absolutely brilliant. Big up Retroactive. Amazing, amazing video. Amazing, amazing video. Big up everybody tuning in. If you enjoy the show, you like what you see, you see what you like, please make sure you like the stream down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Please make sure you're liking the stream down below. Please make sure you're liking the stream down below. Okay, cool. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. Um. Oh yeah. Let's do um. Let's do the recent episode of T-Fat K. Let's move on to this one because I'm I've been wasting too much time on other shit. Actually, should we do T-Fat K or should we do? Should we do T Fat K or should we do another one of these ones? Um, let's do T Fat K. Let's do T Fat K. Let's do T Fat K. Let's see what they're saying on T Fat K, and then we'll go from there, right? So, new episode of T Fat K just dropped. New episode of T Fat K just dropped. Episode number nine eighty. Let's see what these motherfuckers are talking about. They're back from a hiatus. Let's see what they're talking about. This is really the fighter in the kid. What's up, new daddy? Yeah, baby. Dude, you know um, what I was thinking about? Because at your age, 60, right? And you no, say 57, though. All right. Yeah. Can you imagine getting a divorce where you have to pay your ex-wife? What was the divorce again? Let's see. Brian Callen Alimony. What was it again? There is this. TMZ's got it. TMZ's got the article here. Only somebody with money, only a rich guy could actually afford to live that way, especially on the T Fat K salary. Brian Cannon got a divorce in 2021. It wasn't even that long ago. You get a house, I get a house, X also gets 20K per month. So somehow he's able to afford to pay this woman and the kids that he has with her 20K per month and still have a whole new family with a wife that doesn't work. Allegedly, the new one he has doesn't work either. Can you imagine how much money this guy's actually made or, you know, the family, the daddy, especially the banker daddy, right? CIA daddy, allegedly. Can you imagine how much money he must have made? <sighs> Jesus Christ, bro. Look at this. Brian Cannon officially divorced. And while he's paying a nice chunk of change in support, the assets are split pretty evenly what was that when the screen is dark i imagine az is pillow talking <laughs> you're fucking dumb i swear you guys are fucking dumb i swear you guys are fucking dumb the <laughs> big up coin <laughs> The ad to the comedian best known for the hangover in ABC sitcom Goldbergs finally divorced from Amanda Humphrey um, earlier this month. Um, I like how Amanda Humphrey didn't take Callan's name as well. She was like, fuck Callan, I'm keeping my name. I like how these guys act like they're alphas, right? But both of their wives didn't want to take their full name. Brendan's wife hyphenated. Brian Callan's ex wife, I'm keeping my own name. We're not getting, yeah, you know I mean, I love it. They took like their alphas and their big dogs, but the women wear the trousers at their homes. The women definitely wear the trousers in their homes. The actor and comedian best known for the hangover of an ABC sitcom, The Goldberg's Finally Divorce of Emma Humphreys. And according to the docs, Amanda gets a San Monica crib worth 3.4 million. What does that look, crib look like, actually? I've never seen that. Brian Callen, Santi, is it San, Santi Monica? How do you say it? Santa Monica? House. <laughs> What does it look like? Is there pictures of it on the thing? Oh, nice, isn't it? God damn. That's a nice fucking crib, isn't it? 
these guys are living well, bro. These guys have been living for. Oh, this is 20, 2016 He bought this crib. Any pictures of it? More? No, no more pictures. Oh man, I want to see what it looks like. Invasion of privacy and whatnot. Let's see what this shit looks like, bro. Show me the inside. Show me everything. Woodgruff Reality Group. What's this fucking look like? My TV's Brian Callum buys a Santa Monica. Look at these. Look at the agents. John Woodruff. Big up John Woodruff. Complete this year. Oh, this is a nice crib, isn't it? A three point. Is this a big? How 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 many rooms is it? Comedian. Um. Da 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 da. I entered through the two story. Two story of four year minimalist vibe house features an open plan floor, polished concrete floors, wooden fixtures throughout a roughly three three thousand and three thousand three hundred square feet interior space, sliding walls and glass and what's that? Um how do you say that? Clerestory. Cle what is a clerestory? What's a clerestory windows? What does that mean? Clerestory windows. What is a clerestory? Sorry, what, what wrong one? What does clerestory mean? What type of window is that? Clerestory windows are windows placed high on a wall above the eye. So what? Floor to ceiling windows? Is that what it means? Clerestory windows. Okay, whatever. Um, Brighton wall. Complete this year. Santa Monica contemporary features two-story entry, polished concrete floors and a swimming pool. Um, I guess, do all LA homes come with a swimming pool? Or do you have to buy one specifically for that? I guess if you've got a swimming pool, it kind of adds to the value. Or maybe because it's warm there, right? Among living spaces, there's a great room, there's a fireplace, dining room, and a kitchen. That's a nice little crib, though, isn't it? That's a fucking nice home. Obviously, it's kind of, you know, populated, there's people around and shit, but that's a nice crib. That is a nice crib. <laughs> His windows are high in cholesterol, bigger facade. I knew someone would say that. Fair play, bro. Um, he, she, she also will keep the least. Oh, wow. She got to keep the Lexus. Look at Brian. Look what a fucking charitable guy. He lets his ex-wife keep the Lexus and several bank accounts. How many bank accounts did they have? Several. Fucking hell. Trust fund baby Brian Callan, isn't it? Brian will pay Amanda $11,000. $11,496 every month in spousal support. And eight point five, and 8504 a month in child support for their two kids. Speaking to the kids, Brian... Oh, the kids are, oh my God, they still got a long way to be 18. He's going to be paying for a while. Speaking of the kids, Brian and Amanda will share joint custody and have hammered out a visitation schedule. Their two dogs are kind of package deal with Stella and Finn. The pets will be with Amanda, but when the kids are with the core. Fucking hell, bro. 20K in alimony per month, yet he still is able to get married with a new kid. Can you imagine how much money this guy makes, like, they have like you know he comes from good stock that's why he's smiling at that that's when you know you're like you know you're 57 don't have any tv deals and going on anymore you just got t5k and maybe your own channel you tour decently enough but you're able to look after two families fuck his expenses per month crazy oh uh, okay please i'll get definitely definitely daddy's helping detailed here 57 starts, so on the wrong side of hold on i know but i just yeah. want you to hit on the wrong side of 50 right wrong side of on 50. the wrong side of wrong 50, side of 50. <laughs> yep because when you get past 55 you get on the yeah. wrong side yeah, but say wisdom i got it but it comes with wisdom but keep going okay wisdom <clears> guy <throat> okay. yeah. so when you're on the wrong side of 50 right and you have four children you just had two in the last two years mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i want to see what that sperm do daddy i'd yeah. like i'd like to take your sperm yeah. al pacino's robert de niro's and just put it into a cage. Yep. By cage, I mean just like a little little see who petri fight, fight, fight dish. This is why post, most likely that, again, not to be mean, this is why most likely I believe, unfortunately, some of those grape allegations because Brian is ready. Like if Sanaz pulled up her skirt and said, hey, you want a quickie? He'd be in there, in there like a flash. Like he's never turned it off. He's That's why Brian's kind of like, he kind of reminds me of like an African uncle. Even though he's extremely Caucasian, extremely white, he's got very black uncle energy about him in that he's always like, a lot of my uncles are like that. They, they're always ready to fuck. They're always looking at little, you know, little girls, younger girls walking by and shit. They're always asking you about what girls you're with and shit, right? About your girlfriends. Brian's got that kind of energy. He's always about, always ready. Always fucking ready at a moment's notice. You want to fuck? You want a baby? Yeah. You want some alimony? You want these old, saggy balls? 
in your face? Huh. I'll try and it out. see who has the strongest. Yeah. Uh, your guy Zay, Dad, too, Daddy, has the strongest. Daddy got some strong. You know, I, I pack it somehow. You know, I don't know. It's like people say, what? well, it's my energy. Like, I do have a lot of energy, I will. <laughs> it's, it's my tendency to grape. <laughs> it's my energy, you know. I'm passionate about graping. I'm fucking passionate about graping. I love it. Yeah, but I know some people with a lot of energy and they don't have four kids. You're like an NBA basketball player. I know. I know. And I, I swear to God, I swear to God every time that I had a kid that, that, that my the woman I was with got pregnant, I knew afterwards. I just, I was like. <laughs> Brian must be busting hella loads, isn't it? Brian must be busting hella fucking loads. Probably with no help, no Viagra's or nothing, just pure unadulterated horniness, just ready to bust, ready to fuck him. Look at that face. That's how I probably looks like when he busts. <clears throat> Do you know what I mean? That's probably what like that when that white mist pops out of his fucking wee wee. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Like, I swear, I you're remember. like, that's the one. That's the one. And did you get off and go? You're welcome. Yeah, literally. And she's like, what? You're like, literally. You're pregnant. I was like, Jesus, that's something. That you're gonna get pregnant. There's no way. No matter what you're on, you're gonna get pregnant. And what? Okay. Tristan. I swear to God. Cool. Father of four at fifty seven. Father of four at fifty seven. Babies at, at the age of fifty five. The good Sorry, news is I have to hustle until I'm eighty and then I can <laughs> retire. And it's all good. So that's what I was looking forward to. Yeah. It doesn't matter though, and that's the thing. He doesn't let's that, that's the thing that's really interesting about these guys. They don't live in a normal reality. No other guy that lives a no, actually, I, I take that back. I think that's some sometimes the similarities between people who are really rich and people who are really poor. Really poor people do end up popping up mad amounts of babies, even though they can't afford to probably look after them properly. And then really rich people also can afford to have loads of babies because they've got the money to look after them properly. So I think there's probably way more there's probably way more in common between Brian Callan and some guy that lives in a trailer park, actually. Or some guy that lives in the hood where I live in. They actually have way more in common than what it looks like. Because they both like to fuck siblings, <laughs> extended family, young girls, sometimes with permission, sometimes without, right? <laughs> they probably have a lot of things in common. Yeah. Yeah. Even Robert De Niro has to make shitty in movies. In twenty nineteen, I was like, Well, I think I'll move to Spain and be a salsa dancer or do whatever. Dude, just Live move the, the family to Thailand. Lifestyle. The dollar goes a long ways out. Long you ever ways. thought about that? You know what? Just spitballing ideas. You zoom in from Thailand. Same with Tuscany. Take a look at what you can buy for in Tuscany for what you'd get for half a condo in LA. It's on Tuscany, okay. Alabama. No, okay. Okay. Now. Let's just. Dis do you think he's lying here? Do you think Brent Brent doesn't know what Tuscany is? Or do you think he's being a little bit of a jokey joke? What do you think he's doing here? Do you think he doesn't know where Tuscany is? Oh my God! Let's go back to this one. Is he Tuscany, okay. Alabama? No, okay, okay. No. Where's, Tus Tuskegee. Where's Tuscany? Tuscany is in northern Italy. 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 Sort of middle. Oh, Italy. Tuscany! Italy. Yes. Italy. Jesus Christ, bro! He has two degrees, two degrees, allegedly two degrees. Mot well, not multi-million. I guess a millionaire. All right, two degrees, and he doesn't know where Tuscany is. Roughly. <laughs> he could have said like Germany. He could have said Portugal or something. Alabama. All right, cool. Really? That's right. The dollar goes a long way out there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because Italy's not expensive, right? No. Like you Rome's expensive a, as hell. You can buy yourself a... How do you know Rome's expensive as hell? How do you know that's expensive? How How do you know? Look at the tongue. When you, when you stick out this tongue, I'll say no, he's lying. That's, what he's, that's his thinking face, isn't it? Working olive oil farm. With he didn't. He didn't know where Tuscany is, but now he knows where fucking big up Angel Ranger. Appreciate it, bro. Okay, you said too many swear words. He said, um, "Dog, do you remember the chip of the saying, bruv, What is this wank off about energy when they are having the same BS circle joke about it? Colorary to Bubba being a cautionary tale. Rink sequels live in sexual harassment video." <laughs> Pick up NJ Ranger. Rinks is a living sexual harassment video, isn't it? He is one of those videos that they play. You know, like when you go do HR training or when it's like your induction day at like a new job and they show you video clips of like what you're not meant to do.
<laughs> Brian's definitely the actor they use in those sketches, you know what I mean? Like, hey, hey, Sandra, that's a nice top. <laughs> nice melons you got there, you know? And they just tell you, like, what's not sexual, what's sexual harassment, <laughs> what you shouldn't do in the workplace. Brian's definitely the actor they use in those videos. Oh, big up NJ Ranger. With a beautiful house and all that. Now, I'm not Italian, don't speak Italian, but the, 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 you can get a vineyard. And I'm not joking. Is that your. Brendan didn't know where R R Tuscany is, but suddenly he knows all the house. Pra he knows the fucking real estate market in fucking Rome. All right. Press X to doubt. Move? No. No. There are a lot of places in the world you could live that would be really nice. Br Brendan got nervous, isn't it? Brendan got nervous. Brian's going to move to Tuscany. He had to, he had to go back and hire. You had to reach out to Malik and Chappelle. He was getting nervous there. Please help me to Tuscany. I need you, please. But no. But there are a lot of nice places. I feel like I haven't seen you for a hot second. It's been a while, buddy. I've been in the hot... See, they don't talk, innit? They don't communicate anymore. I think it's. I think we all know this to be true. But they definitely, definitely don't conversate as much as they used to. They're not, they're not friends as they used to anymore. That's fairly obvious, I think. Hospital. Uh, I... Uh... Uh, my my wife it was it was i woke up see she's tough and she won't admit that if she's in pain or whatever i swear to god i wake up oh my wife's a beast is your wife a beast now is that what you're gonna do is that what we're gonna start doing all my friends are beasts all my faces are fucking animals on stand in stand up all my face all my friends are killers and now your wife is also a beast maybe the wife deserves it to be fair because she literally carried a fucking human do you know what I mean for nine months maybe she actually deserves it that's the thing they've cheapened the beast thing right they've cheapened the killer thing because they throw out to anybody who's their friends who makes them laugh who maybe buys them rounds of drinks at a bar who pays for the steak dinner but the actual person that deserves a title of a beast is maybe the wife especially the ones that holds it down at home you know stays does the house does the fucking housewife shit while you get to play fucking touch butt with your friends in comedy clubs so maybe i take that back maybe the wife does actually does deserve to be called a beast at three in the morning on for barrel worst saturday <clears throat> and she's going ooh, 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 and i and she's got a timer and i go what's going so the the the, the wife gave birth on saturday but they canceled the tfat k live that was happening what last weekend so they canceled it they lied basically then she got she delivered the baby a week later and they said it was gonna oh they lied they lied guys could you believe that? Brendan and Brian lied about TFAT K Live number two. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. What's going on? What are you doing? She goes, my contractions are coming one on top of the other. I go, oh, it's go time. Well, you're you're going into labor. The baby came on Saturday? Wake me up. The baby came on Saturday? Yeah. 6 a.m. on Saturday. Uh, you know, Easter's the next day. So in a way, but I left it. I took him out on Easter. So in a way, he came into the world on Easter. Okay, he could be the Messiah. We oh, don't know. Oh, I didn't even think we don't about know. that. We don't know. Doesn't look like me. So he does not look like no. you. And, he's an and people he's think an ethnic child. He's a, when Brian sent me a picture of the baby, I went, well, well, he's ethnic. Well, your wife had sex with a black guy. Well, right? he, he the black, kid is probably, dark. I'd say black or Asian. You never know. He's dark. It's though. a multi. -ethnic. He's a dark complexion. Well, but see, and that, then your wife that, aren't. But that's true. But God may be like, this is the composite. This man. is the chosen one. He's going to be the Messiah. He's got to look like everybody. Yes. Right. Like, what is he? You're you're a little bit like that, like like racially ambiguous. Yes, but <clears> as a baby, I came out red, like you a dark red. red. He, he hates it, though, to be fair. Brendan definitely hates being racially ambiguous. That's why he tries to, like, dress like a white guy more often than not. That's probably why he's leaning into his whole, like, truck, pickup truck thing. I don't think he likes being racially ambiguous. I think maybe there was a time in the past where he probably liked it, but nowadays he wants to be white. He probably gets annoyed with his family at home or talking Spanish or speaking Spanish, sorry, eating all their fucking Mexi food, right, with his Mexi kids and his Mexi wife. He fucking hates it. Even though he's married into it, you know, he purposely married her, chose her, but for some reason he hates that side of him. So that's probably why he does this whole, like, you know, country boy LARP thing. Now he's wearing a what? A fisherman's vest. Cool, man cool Ed. yeah like, what were you like about indian well, how much you weigh? about 25 always. pounds when he came out uh it was about 32 30 pounds <laughs> of course of course i knew he would say that i knew it brian cannon said 25 and knew he'd go higher there's no way he'd go lower 25 pounds when, when you were born i was about 32 do you do, do any of you guys in the stream chat remember the weight that you were when you were born do you know that i don't know that off by hand who who, who remembers that who remembers what weight they were when they were born? 
<laughs> nah, it was actually 32. <laughs> I was a. <laughs> I love Brendan, man. I love it. He he had to lie there. He had to lie. Four feet tall? Yeah, four feet tall. But so the hospital is comfy, huh? I was texting Beak, you know, because with my baby girl having issues, you're, you're in that hospital. You're in that chair. Think how much money they make. Sinus. Can you spruce the place up a tad? A little bit? Just can for the comfort what of the parents? What hospital were you in? Cedars. Yeah, there you go. Old, oh, old I'm hospital. sorry. Well, uh, Cedars when the baby's delivered, but with the complications with the baby we're at Children's Hospital. Yeah. Doesn't matter where you're Doesn't at. Doesn't matter. It's not the four C's. No, it's not. Yo, I slept in a chair. What, what do they expect it to look like, though? What does it look like? What, is, what, what do you call it? Is it Cedars? Was it called Cedars Sinai Hospital, right? What does it actually look like? Why are they complaining? Is it actually derelict? Does it look fucked up? I don't know. I look, it's just like a standard hospital to me. No? Nothing too crazy there. Standard hospital shit, huh? What, what, what the fuck are they complaining about? What does it look like? What's wrong with this? Standard hospital shit. What do they want it to look like? They want it to look like the fucking Four Seasons. What's wrong with it? Standard hospital shit. And it's right next to where they live. Like, probably got free Wi-Fi, good parking. What do they want? Amazing hosp- Amazing nurses and doctors. What more do you want, really? What, what do they want? A podcast studio? What's that? Is it vote number one? Number one hospital in California, number one, two number in, in the nation. What's the, what's the number one hospital in America? Whoops. Hospital in America. I don't know how you, how, you even, how you even vote for that or American. Mayo Clinic. Oh, really? Where's the Mayo Clinic? In Rochester. Min, is that Minneapolis? Where's the Mayo Clinic? Oh wow, it actually looks really nice, doesn't it? Fucking hell, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that little grass section there. It actually looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Mayo Clinic is the best hospital in, in America, allegedly. Damn, son. Hello, Mayo Clinic. Shit. Okay, fair play. Fair fucking play. It's fine. Yeah. Happy to do it, but it's a chair. Now you're big. So I don't know how you dealt with that I, chair. You know, I, I uh, sleep on the ground. You have to. I brought a pillow and just slept on the ground. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> I thought of you. And then they would open the door and hit my head. And I'd pop up and go, I'm good. I'm good. I'm joined. I way, could not stop laughing. What's great? <laughs> go, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Who? What? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> what's great also is that. First time he called his wife by her name. He always says my girl. He actually said his wife by her name. I wonder why. Maybe because this is actually a sincere real story. Or he's not trying to hide the fact that he's got a partner. Interesting. He's never actually names her. He says, my girl, my girl, my girl. You're not getting sleep. See, now here's the thing. You will be in the hospital. You've given birth. You need some sleep. Well, that's adorable. The old nurses. The the old nurses, they'll come in. First of all, you're going to have your, what do you want to eat? Now we're going to bring the food in. Now let's talk to the blood bank registry scam. Yes. Uh, and and he'll come in, and another representative will come in, another representative. But on top of that, the nurse is always checking check on the vitals, baby every two hours. Check the baby. No matter what. Let's sleep. check mom's vitals. Let's check mom's uh, blood pressure. Let's take blood from mom. Let's take blood from baby. Every so two you're going to be boom, woken up every boom, two hours, boom. every if, hour. Yeah, sometimes more than that. Oh, boom, man. boom, boom. It's Hi, wild. I'm here. And you just... By the way, brilliant fucking conversation, right, for a podcast, isn't it? Very riveting chat. Riveting chat. 60-year-old man has another kid, you know crazy nice private hospital yeah very relatable keep waking up keep waking up and i'm in that fucking the nurse is so nice you can't get mad some you know there's been some that some of them are so they're all nice though shout out to the nurses of cedar sinai or any hospital they are the (laughs) cyanide the best people they're poison in america are natural caregivers it just is how they are oh really so a, a fucking hospital has like people that know what they're doing shock horror they're better people than all of us. I love them. So did your parents come to town or just wifey? My 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 dad is in Utah. He'll he'll settle for Zoom and be fine. Lazy, or FaceTime lazy, and be fine. Lazy. Yep. yep. He's 84. But come on, bro. Do you honestly expect your 84-year-old dad to come and visit you while you have another kid by another woman? Like he's seen an, he's seen two already. Leave him alone. He's paying for your entire life, allegedly. Do you know what I mean? He probably lends you money and shit. Like, leave him alone. Jonesy, leave him alone. 
85 years old i've done enough like leave me alone show me the fucking phone i see the little baby hello about google gaga keep it moving 84 you want me to fucking travel and see, what sit up as with you and like pat a baby's head or some shit i'll send you some money man so you can buy another pram or whatever do you know what i mean let me let me live four he ain't moving but that's awesome you had a kid let me see oh there he is anyway yeah moving on i would expect nothing more yeah from a man at 84 i'll be the same way so will you You, brian barely cared about the kid when it got born so let alone 85 uh disagree you will look at brendan being trying to be a beast of a dad like he would be everywhere like come on brendan being a beast of a dad like until the baby is a certain age when it's like, uh, I disagree, Bubba. Yeah. No. You'll be there for the, uh, yeah, yeah. for when he's a little blob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, my mom is on her way. Uh, her mom's here. So <laughs> Brian Callum's family are completely absent. You know what I mean? That's how you know you grew up rich. Definitely a latchkey kid. Definitely going, went to boarding school. Definitely moved around, you know, like <laughs> the only way they communicate is through like trips to Israel trips to fucking you know um calais or not calais trips to like the the, the, the fucking seychelles you know I mean, trips to monaco money every month right but there's no real connection or love there at all <laughs> he's just doesn't give a fuck it's yeah. barely just didn't come but well, did your sister we space stop it out though you'll pick up keith t he isn't saying my girl anymore because the new intern is there. Ah, uh, yeah, good point, good point, good point. And this new intern seems very, I, 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 I kind of like her. She seems very on the job. Like she's using the TFAK thing for the TFAK thing. Like she doesn't want to play. I mean, she's not, she's not overly being flirty. She's not doing nothing. She's just in it for the job get her clout up, get some exposure, hopefully parlay that into some other things. But she's very professional, kind of quite got professional with the job. I, I like how she's approaching it. Sister's in New York City. With Big her, up Keith T. Her husband. Okay. So they'll, everybody will come. Yeah, they'll get the there eventually. Is, the problem is it, it's a little too much with a lot of people. <laughs> Brian can't try to make excuses for his absent family. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Imagine your partner's giving birth and all their family are there, have friends from school, old work colleagues are popping in, but none of your family arrive. They're all just calling in via Zoom and shit. <laughs> but obviously, that's the thing. They, he can't complain because they're probably paying for everything, you know? That's the thing. You have to kind of like, you know, mind your P's and Q's when you're from that kind of world. So, yeah, my wife it, yeah, doesn't it, want a it lot. It is a lot. She wanted her mom here. Yeah. Because she can help. I understand that. Many people, yeah. Yeah, I get that. Because you have it's to understand. Well, yeah, she's 30 years old as well, by the way. Isn't she like 30? I don't know if that's true, but I remember seeing on the Friday Kids subreddit that Brian Callan's new wife is like 30 or 31 or something. So she's basically a baby. <laughs> <laughs> of course she wanted her mum. She... <laughs> she just had a second kid by a 60-year-old. She needs some support. Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah, and also... You know, family members tend to be, there's a lot. Linger around. There's a lot. People got to, well, no, no, I have you know, opinions too. And No, oh, well, yeah. Oh, what's yeah. the Who appropriate time period for like, everybody wants to come see the baby? Two and years. You think you, your coming friends can two wait years. two years Let old? me figure out coming yeah. two years and <laughs> see the kid. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Right. Definitely whatever, not, whatever. definitely not the first week. Okay. The first, first week, because mom's all messed up, and you're. I think the rule should be like, depending on the size of your family, it should be mom, dad, like yeah. your your mom and dad. So the grandma, grandpa, the baby should be able to see it right away. Yeah, okay. but not hang, linger around. Like they can go up there, oh cool, and then go do your thing, hit the road. Oh, yeah, because we don't her need mom you. Is so obsessed. But then when you babies. leave the hospital, you need you know mama, probably not yours, but yeah. her mom there at the house mm-hmm. to help. Yes, you know because Brian has my to mom's, work. My mom's eighty two. So she's older. Yeah, your parents are older. Yeah. But, but she, my friends? mom can't wait to see. Your mom is 82 years old. Jesus Christ. I ain't know they're wealthy, in it? Living comfortably, bro. 82 years old. And Brendan Bryan's still popping out. You could do, like, he, like, God damn, Brendan Bryan. <laughs> Fucking hell. 62. No, he's like 57. His parents are 82, like 84. God. 
see the baby. She always comes a lot. Yeah. I don't have a single friend I trust with my kid full time. But what if you don't have any friends? That's why. They will, no, I'm saying you have like baby. an infant. What like, if I can't Jen wanted to come kid? see no. your baby? Like an infant? It's fucking disaster. Even, even my own infant, my wife is like. Yeah, Brian be promoting his here. dates, yeah, and I'm, the kid's I'm fucking drowning. Come yeah. see the baby. Like, what if? Jen I say drowning. How do you say drowning? Drowning. What do you say? If it's like, yeah, Brian be promoting his here. dates, yeah, and I'm, the kid's I'm fucking drowning. Come yeah. see the baby. Drowning. Drowning. Infant. My wife is like, yeah, Brian be promoting his here. dates yeah, and I'm, the kid's I'm fucking drowning. Come yeah. see the baby. Like, what if Chin wanted to come see your baby? What, when, when is the <laughs> oh, look, they both oh my god, look at the mention of Chin seeing the baby. Look at the mention of Chin seeing the baby. Look how they both laughed. <laughs> the mention of Chin, you know, look at look at Chin. Look at him. He calls fucking Brian Callan his uncle, even though they're similar age. <laughs> Yeah, and the I'm, kid's I'm fucking I'm drowning. Come yeah. see the baby. Like, what if Chin wanted to come see your baby? What, when, when is the appropriate? Not just, not just the you don't need to touch the baby. Oh, you like, mean just stop come by? See me, come yeah. see me at the brand hip rock. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, God damn it. Give me a second. <laughs> it's, it, there's, there's like three people on this earth that, can, that I will leave my kids with. That's it. Okay. The rest, absolutely not. It's just too much of a risk. Are they all female? No. No, my... <laughs> Are they all female, bro? What baddies is he gonna leave his kid with? You can't do that, mate. No Whitney Cummings, no Annie Lederman, no Kalila. They're, they're all out. My father-in-law, Steve, my mother-in-law. That's it. I would just trust females. That's me personally. Oh yeah. yeah. Not even his own parents. Brendan wouldn't even trust his kid. That says a lot about their fucking relationship. Brendan wouldn't trust his own parents around his own kids. Just his, his in-laws. Damn. Oh yeah. That's it. No, nah, if you had a good grandpa, they're they're yes. they're great. Still. <laughs> no, you know if you have a good grandpa. Yeah, no, there's nothing better. No, right. Nothing better. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you, you gotta be you gotta be careful. You gotta, you gotta be, be super careful. Oh dude, you would have you would have laughed so I'm I've waited to tell this story to One more thing podcast. about I want to hear this. One more thing about as I was filling in the birth certificate, just one more thing to touch on. Uh there's a there's a non-binary category. So if you want to put down that you have a they- Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Shut up. Baby. <laughs> and I'm like, and then and then there's pansexual categories. I'm like, get the fuck you. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out of here with your gender ideology, with your gender visibility day on fucking Easter. Just to, and you know what the difference between the gender movement, the gender ideology movement and the gay movement? The gay movement was trying to say, we are just like you. We're going to assimilate into you just like this, okay? We're we just want the same rights, just and same then they thing. go about their business. The transgender are trolling the masses, yes. and they're like, we want to be, they don't, they don't, they're not, they don't synthesis, there's no synthesis with the, the, the everybody. They just want to be revolutionaries, and it's not, they're not even sincere, these people. They're just fucking, the person that did that, that scheduled tra Trans Visibility Day on Easter, knew exactly what he was doing. It's some staffer in fucking the Biden White House. But, but they, and they could have moved it, but and they go, we've always had it look at how much, Look at how much enthusiasm and vigor he's talking about this fucking nonsense, this minor thing on a fucking birth certificate. Just kind of fast forward. And he's just shouting over this shit more than his child's birth, more than the birth of his fucking baby, more than his wife bringing a life into into the world. Right? This amazing fucking event, this amazing fucking situation. He's talking with more energy and vigor and passion and anger and verve about this fucking nonsense box on the birth certificate. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, they've had for I, Obama started it. So it's been around for like six years. Obama started it. Blame the black guy, in it? Blame the black guy, of course. Oh, at least. six years. My yeah. God. That's a long time. But either way, move but it. the people that are like arguing, like they did, they did this like four or five years ago. I'm like, you had a problem with it then. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we see I wasn't you. cool with it Look, then. We see you. Yeah. You're impossible to miss. Mm -hmm. you're oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. A dude in, in a dress. Like, I can't. I, you're impossible to miss. <laughs> you're a dude in a dress. Brian's seen a few of them over these years. Look at that guilty look. You're doing the dress. Look at that guilty look. He looks over at Sanaz. <laughs> does, do you look over at Sanaz because he thinks Sanaz looks like a dude in a dress? Or do you look over at her because he was guilty? Because he's had some dudes in the dresses in his time. He was born in the Philippines, by the way. But remember that. Brian was born in the Philippines. You know, I won't expound on that. But what's that guilty look that is like... <laughs> you see how he's ready? You see how Brian's always ready? If that Sanaz girl says, hey, do you have a quickie around the corner? You'd definitely be ready to go.
miss. Yeah, I don't know. I'm done with all of it. I'm done with it. Yeah. Now, now you guys did it on Easter, and I know you said it falls on that day all the time. It's just a fuck you to. You could have waited. You could have waited. It's such bullshit. It's a big they, fuck you to Christianity. They know what they're doing. What are, they, to they what? know to Chris, to to Christianity. What do you say? You, you could have waited. It's such bullshit. It's a big they, fuck you to Christianity. They know what they're doing. Oh, Christ, what are, they they well, know exactly well, we'll what see, they're doing. We'll see during the voting. How many Christians? Oh, yeah. How many Catholics? Oh, oh, oh and, you, and you shit on their holiday. Million or something like that. More oh, yeah. How do you think that's going to go? This is a Christian. Seventy-two percent of Americans. I think identifies Christian. But don't you think That's his cabinet knows, like, man, there's a lot of religious people. We do this today. Like, even though today's the official day, let's wait till Monday. Why? To because post this. Biden also you, tweeted that that you are you are made we are you are made in God's image. It was another fuck you to all Christians. It's like, he, he's not even doing it. It's like you know, it's <laughs> like blaming Kermit the Frog if he said something racist. This guy yeah. calling the puppet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, great analogy. Great fucking analogy. Say it's well, not Kermit. You, you know, go fuck yourself. Go okay. fuck yourself. Badass, badass rebel, right wing, wannabe right wingers have nothing really good to say, nothing important to say, no real talking points, just parroting stuff they see on social media and just getting angry over the most nonsense things that don't make any sense, that don't really bother or really change anything in real society. It's fucking nonsense, really. I love it. Uh, you you got to draw the line, dude. Somewhere. You just had a, a, a newborn baby. You're bringing Sorry. a lot of negative energy yeah. into watch this my, conversation. Watch my newborn. Watch my son in 20 years. Just fucking pansexual. Dad, just pansexual. Just, just a sucking girl. cock. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what? I thought we were vibing. Hey, I, why'd you have to say that? Well, we my were, neck hurts. You just said that. My, I'm, I'm talking to Brendan. I go. I go. My neck. I pulled my neck sleeping on that thing. If I, I go. Maybe you, you, you know about it, sports and stuff. Maybe is there is there something like a chronic injury thing? He goes. Well, don't suck all the dick when you're younger. <laughs> Stop sucking cock when you're younger, right? No, there's nothing that funny. As, as Sanaz is definitely making sure she gets paid. She definitely wants that invoice to get fucking put through. There's nothing funny about this in the slightest. Girls just cackling in the background like it's, she's at a fucking Shane Gillis fucking show. Let's relax. Look how proud he is about Brian telling retelling his jokes. <laughs> yeah, I said that. <laughs> I said that. Yeah. I'm like, I, you I go, act, do you, you want have an actual injury? help? He goes, nah, I'm not a bitch. I'm like, I'll see you when you get here. Click. You I'm like, actual holy help? shit, dude. I'm looking for actual help. I love how they're trying to pretend like they're friends. The, these like weird segments of the show where they're like trying to make it seem like they're still really good best friends. It's like, no, you're not. Let's just relax with all this shit. Dude, you, lo you love this conversation. Okay. So I fly to I fly to Austin right oh. for my whiskey. And all. By the way, here we go. This is Brian. Brendan allegedly now going to be talking about He's allegedly sold his whiskey brand. So Tiger Thick Whiskey has allegedly been sold. Let's see, is this, it's Instagram still around? Tiger Thick Whiskey. Is this still Instagram? Is it is it still operational? Texas. Yeah, cool. There you go. Oh no, that's not even in, that's not even the that's his that's his own Instagram account, isn't it? Has he even has he still got the page? Wow. What are the comments saying on this one? trying to get a bottle in Toronto. When are we going to see in Canada? Get it in South. That's that right up. That right up stinks. How can I get this in Cali? When will it be available anywhere? I get it's your son's name and your, and it's what, and your bike and your big bike brand. But the CC looks more like six, six for me. Really? Oh yeah, it does. Doesn't it? It kind of does. That person's right. It kind of does look like tiger sick, like tiger devil's whiskeys or something. That's actually true. I didn't realize that. Before. That, that just look like two, that three sixes, isn't it? But yeah, let's. See. Has he still got the Instagram page for it? Actually, okay. No, I don't know. He doesn't. I don't know if there's a tiger. There should be a tiger for Instagram page, right? Oh, it doesn't exist anymore. Maybe it's gone. Oh yeah, see, yeah, tiger thick whiskey Instagram page got caduced, so it's absolutely gone. He deleted the page. Okay, cool. Let's see what he says about the incident. Allegedly, he sold Tigerific whiskey to somebody. Allegedly, allegedly. Do you? I don't know if I believe him because he's already touching his ear. He's looking up and down. I don't know if I believe this story. Le Fuck. You love this conversation. Okay. So I fly to I fly to Austin right oh. for my whiskey and all the business yes. out there. And so, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna say who's involved, but you know who's involved with oh, the yeah. whiskey buy and all that. Big boys. Big boys. So they're all Brandon about to be rich. Well. We got some work to do, but there's so there are. Oh, you see, so it, there is some truth to it. So maybe he is. So allegedly, I don't know who told me in the stream chat. Somebody told me something. Allegedly, there's some sort of drought. There's some sort of shortage 
maybe in whiskey maybe it's importing or something so basically what allegedly i've been told through the stream chat is that um if a whiskey brand isn't going well then usually what they'll do is that they'll get they'll take over a, a brand that isn't doing well basically and just rebrand it that's what they'll do i'm assuming they'll just they'll, that's what they'll end up doing so that's what they're doing with um his whiskey brand they're gonna just gonna rebrand it reskin it i guess put it in a different type of bottle and shit and just ship it out again so not to let the whiskey go to waste i think so they're gonna just buy whatever stock he has left which i think he's happy about because that stuff was probably bleeding him dry you probably have to pay a certain amount to keep it in storage maybe in the cargo containers and stuff you know what i mean it costs a lot of money to keep it around so um yeah i get it they're all at this table they're all at this table and lex is there and like there's like 12 people they're like top marketing guy all and people you'd recognize you know so they're all there and we you finally together we've been together you know since it's all been zooms and emails so finally we meet in austin and so we're there and you know everyone's there and lex there with me and i get a piece so bad oh lex is the guy that fired george isn't it lex is the guy that fired george r.i.p george and and it's right before the meeting starts and i'm like uh, where's your bathroom he's like literally right there so if the table's here this is the bathroom that's so this much. is the bathroom right and so i'm like all right whatever so i go, and uh, they're like we'll start as soon as you come back i'm like i'm just gonna take a quick piss so you know, everyone's like talking like, no, what do you do do you piss in the sink not loud so I go in the bathroom and dude, I'm peeing and I just I gotta fart hard, right? And I'm like, fuck it. Now the 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 bathroom walls, when it, I was like, that was so loud. And it, the bathroom walls, I don't know, marble? Like it's all marble. And I went, God damn. And then my head I went, it's probably soundproof because it's like marble walls. Dude, I walk out. I walk out. Horrible story. Why is he laughing so much? Is it really that funny? Or is it because he pays his salary? Like, is that a fake laugh? Like, what is this? 40, 40 plus year old man, by the way. <laughs> this, is, this is how like, you kick off the moon. I walk out and Lex is like, <laughs> and I can see like nobody's talking. <laughs> and I go, all right. And I just like, I didn't think about it. I just went on. As soon as the meeting ends, we go outside. Lex goes, hey, come here. I go, well, he goes, why'd you fart like that? <laughs> I go, I go, you heard that? He goes, everybody heard it. He goes, why did they mention it? They be like, hey. I knew something was up because Lex's face. Lex goes, you didn't see the assistant pretend she was typing because it was so awkward. <laughs> she was like this. <laughs> Dude, I Brian, Brendan killing a whole room of marketeers by farting in the next room as he's about to start a meeting. Comedy, right? There's only 250 of them, right? 1,000 killer comedians left in the world. This is what you're missing out on on stage. Fart con fart comedy. So I was in the stu I was in the meeting for the thing, and then I went. It's like what? What kind of story is this? What kind of event is this meeting? Like I don't even believe this even happened. Let like I don't even believe that happened. Let alone the meeting. You know, you're adding all this stuff. Like what? It's meant to make you look cool. Okay, I guess. You better just telling us about the deal. Really, that's probably a cooler story than this made up fast that you're some sort of like funny guy like huh i was on dude a i'm talking fucking burr. oh bro take a little break brennan's take a little no, break. let's not let's not we don't want to look at the ads we don't hook, care about that and i didn't know that well we hooked at an upstairs area i was on dot com slash fighter when i was when i was <laughs> i had an upstairs area i was on a I was, this girl and i hooked up I didn't know her that well. We hooked up. It was oh, all really? hot and bothered. Brian hooked yeah, up with a girl. Who knew? <laughs> Look how he keeps looking at Shanaz. What's happening here? Why does he keep looking at... Every time he mentions girls, why do he always look at her and do this little cute smile? I didn't know her that well. We hooked up. It was all hot and bothered. Look at him. Brian Callan is fucking ready to go, in it. Every time he does a little joke, a little like... <laughs> he checks over to Shanaz. Yo. Yo, you little Persian princess. Well, go on. What's that little Persian pee 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 pull pull pa pum pa saying, huh? What's that little Persian punani saying? Huh? Huh? Actually, what is uh, Persian for vagina? What is, what is that? <laughs> is that how you say it? Kus. Kus. <laughs> hey, Sinas. What's that kus saying, huh? 
What's that little cuss saying? Huh? What's a little cuss saying? Hmm. What's a little cuss saying? <laughs> he keeps looking at her. Look at him. Look at that. He's got the cuss on the mind. Look at that. Look at that nose. Look at those lips. <laughs> And I had to shit in the morning. And I go downstairs to the downstairs bathroom. And, but like in the, there's the guest bathroom over here. And I just, just, I let it go. But I, it was. Is it really that funny? Why are they laughing like this? It's like a dragon came out of my shitter. Like, just, oh, dude. <laughs> that, like, just, I like. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I don't, I don't know. I think I'm at a certain level now where, or a certain age, I just I don't think shit jokes make me laugh like this anymore. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not maybe I'm not mature. Maybe I'm too mature. Maybe I'm not silly enough. But shit jokes, I don't know, bro. Like, okay, I guess. Even you, you're like, oh Jesus hey, God, Christ! Dang, my, the poor bowl, yeah, like yeah. like it's fucking horrible. And my asshole's going uh, uh, after it's done. I open the door and she's right there on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> she's like. Well, I gotta go. I go. You do. You do. And you'll never speak to me. Again. And she did. Yeah, she no, that's ran a, out. That's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. It's a deal. That's not, sexy. I, kiss. <laughs> kiss goodbye. It's <laughs> just destroy the toilet. Hey, clean your whistle, shithead. Uh, go, go to the fuck. Brian's playing to one audience, isn't it? And it's fucking Sanaz. He's playing to fuck one. He's playing for one fucking audience. He's playing for one fucking audience, bro. Fucking dude, I got my fart destroyed. Yo, big up aside. I appreciate you, brother. Brian trying to eat some couscous. <laughs> exactly. 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 Brian definitely wants some couscous. Wasn't there like a Persian public holiday recently? Big up um Silux. I appreciate oh my god, Silux. Eight dollars and ninety nine cents <laughs> Logitech USB camera Amazon. I've got a good look. I've got a good camera here, bro. Honestly, it's just my computer is not good. It's not strong enough to fucking handle it. I've got a really. I've got one of the best Logitech cameras here. I've got like a HD ten eighty p one. Don't once I get. Don't worry. I, I'll show you what I mean when I get it sorted out. But I've actually got a good. It's not my com cameras. My other stuff is good. Just the computer that's a bit, a bit shaky. But big up Silux. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. But yeah, wasn't there like a Persian public holiday recently? I think there was, wasn't there? But appreciate both of you guys. Let's continue. Enjoy the whole meeting, oh, dude. I was that's when like told me I was so embarrassed. So embarrassing. Just just of course and it's the, right there. I could have told you. Oh, and then Lex goes, dude, why do you think I helped you? We were there for like eight hours. He goes, Why do you think you see me go to the bathroom for eight hours? Oh my god. Dude, and I was like, What is that? I said, Did if you I, I said, there, Did you look at the bathroom? If goes, I had been there, oh. I would have I, that would have made it better because I was trying to talk serious and, and no one well, was We got to stop everything for a second. Oh, oh, you we... Yo, look at the fake laughing. What the fuck is that? Listen to, look at the fake laughing. Is he even, it's not even, what is this? Are, are they trying to create like a, they're trying to create like a fake viral moment. You look at the bathroom. If goes, I had been there, oh, I would have. I That would have made it better. Because I was trying to talk serious and, and no one well, was We gotta stop everything for a second. Oh, oh, Can we acknowledge? The elephant. What is the fuck is that? That is a really amazing fake laugh, isn't it? God damn, go. Ah, right, okay, Kyla Keats. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. Kyla Keats fucking razzing me about the PO box. I'll get a PO box. I'll get a PO box. I'll get a PO box. When I when I get one I'll announce it. I'll get a PO box. Um I'll get one. I'll get I'm sure you can get those you can get those things online I'm pretty sure. So I will get one. I'll get a PO box. I'll get myself a PO box. Don't worry. I'll get myself a PO Don't don't you guys send me any shit through the mail. Don't you guys send me any shit through the mail, okay? I only want drug drug par paraphernalia, drug paraphernalia and booze that's all i want okay <laughs> don't send me any shit don't send me any fucking shit don't send me your granny's knickers all right none of that just drug paraphernalia and fucking booze in the room is there did, is, did, were you strangling a goose oh dude i on? just powered through it you gotta power through it. and i could tell something was off because like why does that make me laugh so hard oh dude i knew you would laugh so hard at that 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, who, who's Lex? Lex is that guy. I don't know. I've not. I'm not on LinkedIn. Let's see. Lex. F- thick boy. What does he do there? Who the fuck is Lex? Is that his name? Lex Griffiths? No, that can't be him. I don't know. Somebody called Lex. I don't know who the fuck Lex is. Happy Hipper. What's, what's his deal here? Lex Mahon. Is that is that the person? Maybe this is. Maybe that's a Lex there. Who's who's this? Oh, this is someone from Happy Hipper. Lex McManor, the whole Fig Boy team, especially Brendan, I was so excited about the partnership with Happy Hippo. Who the fuck is Lex Mahon? Is that is that is, is that him? Is that the Fig Boy guy? Maybe this is him. Maybe that's him. Yeah, that's it. Tiger Fig. That's it. Lex Mahon. Mah- Mahon. That's the guy. That's probably him. The CEO of Titan. Okay, this is probably him. Whoever this person is. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Proud veteran marine, husband to an amazing wife, father. Is he followed by Brendan on here? Is that him? I think that might be him, yeah. I think this is the guy. This is probably the Lex we're talking about. This dude here. Lex Mahaman. Mahone. Okay, I used to, okay, I used to, oh, that's the guy that was on TFAC. That's the guy that was on TFAC. Yo, big up, Austin Casey, I appreciate it, brother. Oz, you should make a podcast wish list. I'm sure people would buy you stuff for the podcast. Yeah. All streamers do it. Cool, cool, cool. I'll do that. I'll, actually, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I've actually got an Amazon wish list, actually. I'll actually, um, I'll post that on my thing, then I'll put that on my, um, I'll put that in my description of the video, then, or something, and then you guys can check it out. But yeah, I've got, to be fair, it's, it's mostly full of books and, you know, gaming laptops and stuff. There's nothing else crazy on there, but yeah, I'll put the stuff on there. I'll put the stuff on there. Appreciate you, um, Austin Casey. Appreciate everybody on there for pushing me and harassing me to fucking get the PO box and shit, but I'll get all that stuff done as well. So I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of you because you all want to see my big, shiny, black nig nog face so i appreciate all of you I appreciate you so much but yeah this is lex um big up austin casey big up austin casey but yeah there we go this is this is the lex guy if, in case you're wondering this is lex he's got bare hands and brendan actually isn't it this is lex tough guy huh he fights you can be up all the trolls tfk cyber i'll fuck you up unique you're dead to me look at him beast Beast. You liked her laughing so fucking The hardest hard. I ever laughed was when we had that meeting with Quest. Hands down. That's the hardest I've ever laughed. Yeah. Before. And that guy, Tom Bilyeu, he has a he's he has a podcast now. Yeah. The guy owns it. He had he had an amazing podcast with Jordan Peterson. Um and I was like, wait, I know that guy from somewhere. And then that was from That's wherever. the Pittsburgh Steeler helmet guy? No, his the guy who worked for him. He was the oh, guy. Yeah, I remember him. He was the guy who was like, What's your philosophy? He came. <laughs> Look at that dork. Look at that. Tom Bellew. Look at that fucking dweeb. Imagine receiving advice from someone who looks like that. These self accurate these guys are just get famous for interviewing really high achievers. I've always hated them, to be fair. I've always hated people who just get famous for just interviewing people who do cool stuff. It's like, bro, what have you done? What have you created? What have you invented? What business do you have? mastermind groups and fucking join my discord for a hundred dollars private deals mlm shit like fuck off man scam artists all fucking scam artists all of them scam artists hey man like he, yeah he was great he sold quest he's got a lot of money yeah he he was absolutely yeah he was great he's cool yeah he's the one that brought us in a quest and he's like we're just waiting for my partner yeah and that didn't work out for us <laughs> his partner walks in. So me like so there with a big strong. This is when we first started finding the kid. We're trying to land our first sponsorship. We're at Quest, which is up the street in Playa Vista. So we go there. We're meeting them. They sit us down. And this guy Tony's like, "We're just waiting for my partner, and we'd like to hear the pitch." We're like, cool. So me and Lex are talking. He walks in. He and walks, he he's a big, he's a bigger than life guy. Very muscular, very handsome guy. And you look at him immediately, and you know he's wearing. It's a hat. It's not even a wig. It's a hat. It's such a bad wig. It's, it's like a and it's God bless the guy. But 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 Brendan decides I'm going to compliment him. And he goes, guy's got a set of hair on him, which doesn't make any grammatical sense. That doesn't make grammatical sense either. Guy's got a set of What is going on today? Why are they all laughing like this? It's because Brendan got the deal for the Tiger Fig. Why is he laughing and like, like, what is all this shit? 
what's all this fake laughing and it's like jolly stuff they're going on is it because it's the end of the month you just got paid why is everyone pretending to like laugh and have fun like what's going on here everyone's fake laughing maybe Brennan's money come through for Tiger Fig or something the sale interesting isn't it hair on him <laughs> and I go and I, I go it's a wig it's a wig it's a wig it's a wig <laughs> you hit my leg going it's a wig it's a wig it's a wig we're sitting just like that it's a wig it's a wig it's a wig and he goes, and he goes, and Brendan goes, oh, <laughs> my bad. And then, and then, and then, and then the meeting starts. Now I can't. We can't now I'm done. We can't take I'm him finished. Serious. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm crying. You Remember? Right. I was no, crying. You were both and I tried to eat a chip. I go, this is good. <laughs> And then the, the guy goes, I'm sorry, what are you guys laughing at? And we didn't want to hurt his feelings. I go, he's being Bri stupid. Brian goes, he's, he's, he was making fun of the, the doll. He had, they had like a big like cut out doll. Yeah. He's like, he's making fun of that doll. And the guy's like, oh yeah. So anyways, we can't stop laughing. His toupee, Dude, you know on Mario, those black things that you jump on? And he, he, the he sat shiny right here, helmet. He sat right next to us right here. So he's right there with this. You know, Juicy. Bring, up, like bring up Ray Kurzweil on Joe Rogan. I want to show you something. Joe Ray Kurzweil on Joe Rogan. Now watch this. This is the weird. So Ray Kurzweil's no, got. No, 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 no! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! This is too much. I can't. I can't do this. Shut up! Shut up! That's what he is. Okay. And all of a sudden, you just show up with a wig. Like all of a sudden, that. <laughs> <laughs> but what are hey, you doing? Hey, did you think nobody would notice on the I mean, biggest show he's in one the of world? Those famous inventors. He's one of the most famous people in the world, literally. <laughs> and I'm gonna show hey, out of all the wigs. <laughs> I'm going to switch what? it up. And is it long? Is it, it looks like a ponytail in the it back. Is, it is. It looks like... What's worse, this guy's wig or Brian Callen's failed lid surgery? Because I think these guys are like, you know, throwing stones in a glass house, if you're completely honest. Awful a idea. Take a look at... Take a look. Awful idea. Show more of the angles. I think so it's... this guy's preaching youth and like living yeah, forever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started taking all kinds of different supplements. No, unless I want to look like you, I'm not listening. And he wanted it. Well, there he's... That's, that's a wig. That's a wig. <laughs> that's a wig. <laughs> Wigs are fucking tough, man. Who doesn't he have a wife to say, honey, you can't. <laughs> That's what he looks like. Like, be a nerd. That's fine. You're super brilliant. You also can't go zero to 100. But also, if you're in the spotlight, you, you got to do what Steve Martin did. As soon as he started losing, he went, cool, got a wig. Oh, he did? Before he's, Steve he, Martin did? Oh, yeah. He's had a wig for 50 years. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, big up Keith T. If you want to see who bought the whiskey, I bet they will use the same liquor license number as Papa. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on that one, motherfucker. Yeah, I want to see who fucking bought. Because I want to see what that rebrand does. Because according to all the reviews that we all watched, I'm sure some of you watched them on the Final Kids sub on YouTube. Everybody said it tasted pretty shit. I think the only person that kind of liked the taste, I think was one of my favorite channels, actually, Vic Whiskey Vault. I think Whiskey Vault were the only people who I remember complimenting the taste of it. Um, not people didn't actually like the taste. It was kind of a bit too sharp on the tongue. Maybe a kind of like you know Jameson type of shit. So I'm curious to see what they can do with that. Maybe because it's been in the caskets on the bottle for so long. Maybe they can, I don't know. Do do fucking do. Does whiskey age like that? I don't know if it. I don't. I don't know nothing about booze. Does whiskey age in a bottle? If you just leave it in a bottle for ages, does it like improve the taste? Does it make it more bitter? I don't really know. So. Because those bottles have been sitting for ages. He's still on fucking, he's still on batch one, isn't it? Some of the bottles still have batch one written on them. So I'm curious to see what they do. How do they fucking change up and shit? So it should be interesting to see. Do they kind of re whisk them or something? Like, because cause remember, I don't know if you guys remember, that was a thing. I think it's called canting. Is it called decanting or something? With red wine. If you buy a shitty red wine and you use one of those um, frothers that you use to fucking whisk your coffee or your milk in your coffee, allegedly back in the day, that was a little hack to make like shit wine taste like more decent. You'd fucking get your frother, your whisker, whatever it is, the electric one, and you put it in your glass of red wine in like shitty red $5 red wine and it kind of improved the taste if you put it in there for like 30 seconds and shit. I wonder if you can do the same thing with whiskey. Yeah, he's sure? yeah, he's like George Costanza, I, but before he started, well, he no, talks about in his book. So I was on a plane with George Costanza. Born standing up, he he talks about. Look how look how look at how animated they are when the girls in. Maybe it was a good thing to get Sinaz in. Look at how animated they are when the girls in the room. Like they're really fucking trying to like they all. They, it's like the hot girl in school. Like everyone's trying to like impress her, like fighting each other, like you know pushing each other, taking the piss out of everyone's shirt. Like really animated, like. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was, yeah, 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 yeah. 
It's like, chill out, bro. On his book, he started to lose his hair. She's got enough couscous for everyone to have, but relax. So in like his early 30s, I think maybe late 20s, and he was like, I don't want, in Hollywood, this is a bad look. Yeah. So he put that on so you can't tell now. Notice his hair has never changed. So I was with Drew. The entire was, time he's Drew, been famous. I get on a plane look with George Costanza. I'm sitting on the uh, across the aisle from him, and I'm like, y you fuck. Oh, okay, big up Keith T. Um, that whiskey is so bad you couldn't even find it at Total Wow, really? I know about Total Wine because of DSP, because he drinks loads of fucking gin, and he always goes to Total Wine. Total Wine's like one of the big, you know, mega store type places where you can buy alcohol, isn't it? Big up Joel from MIA. Fucking hell. Big up Keith T. Um, whiskey won't age in glass, only wood. Okay, cool. In a wood barrels. If his whiskey had just been sitting and aging, then it's probably pretty valuable. Okay, cool. I don't, I don't know. I wonder what happens. Do you just get your, if you get a deal like that, would they put it, would they just leave the rest of it in, in barrels or would they just bottle it up? I guess they're going to bottle it up. I'd assume, or maybe half and half. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe it's half and half. Maybe you have some bottled up in a in a cargo crate somewhere or maybe in like some sort of like you know um climate controlled fucking freezer and then the rest of it you have in barrels maybe that's how it works fucking that's a wig like it's like how do you you were bald and now you have this crazy he's also the hair. most famous guy for being bald like that right. Mary... jason alexander was seen with a wig you're telling me george yes. costanza yes yes now he's that's what he has he has a full head of hair it's like what are you doing dude what are you doing? Be bald. <laughs> Go on, so nice, man. She's got these guys like dancing and competing for her fucking attention. Big up, Sanaz. Big up, Shinaz. How do you say her name? Is it Sanaz? Shinaz? Sanaz? What's her name? Sanaz? Sanaz, the fire and the kid. Oh, there you go. I'm on Instagram already. Sanaz Saladate. Salate. How's her name? San Sanaza. Sorry. Sanaz, Sanaz, Said, Said so, Sanad Said so, said so. Okay, Sanad said so. A sucker for Disneyland. <laughs> Is she wearing thick boy? Is that thick boy stuff? Is that thick boy? No, I don't know. Sanaz, huh? Sinaz, huh? Waste on Tyler, huh? Guan Sanaz. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay, big up Sanas. You're never going to be good looking. You're just bald. But also, fine. if you're George Costanza, remember Jeremy Piven had such bad hair? He played George Costanza in Seinfeld. They yeah. had the same haircut. And then Piven figured it out. Yeah. Get a hair transplant, spend the money. It's fine, but. Like that shit. Adam. By the way, that was a really. I might have to go back and watch that again. That was a really bad episode. Do you guys remember when fucking Jeremy Pippin was on the Fire and the Kid, when he got cancelled and he tried to like become a. I don't know if he's still doing it. Do you remember when he was doing stand up comedy? Jeremy Jeremy Pippin got cancelled. I forgot what he got. I think he he's one of the first cancelled people as well, wasn't he? When cancelling first was like big, he he was one of the people that got taken down when people found out that he was really close to his fucking character in fucking Entourage. And then he started doing stand up and it was horrible. Do you remember that? 22 went to Turkey for the hair transplant. Same he thing did? you're doing. Yeah. yeah I'm not doing Cowboys that. looks great. I saw it up close too. Cowboy That's looks good. fantastic. Yeah. And think about it, he's in a race helmet all the goddamn you just told time. Me my hair looks thicker today. You're, this is why I believe in Bri, that supplement. Your hair does look thicker. Yeah. Right now. I'm not. Oh, fucking hell, bro. No, it doesn't. He's look. He doesn't believe shit at all. No, it doesn't. You look. You look. You're balding because you're an old man. You're sixty. You're nearly sixty years old, bro. Let it go. Your dick works, but your head. Your head as far as a guy, you have to pick your battles. If he's able to bust nuts and have babies, that's a blessing. You can't have everything. You got. You got. You got fucking. You got fucking um eyelids that look like Snoopy the dog. You don't have any hair, and you look. You legitimately look like you've been spent too much time in a microwave or something. That's okay, but at least your dick works. That's that's a blessing. You know what I mean? You can't have everything. Let it go. I'm kidding. I'm taking nothing for air. No, it does look a little. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Come no, on, Brent. Dude, seriously. Remember when I shaved my head and you started laughing so hard? Fuck, like, dude, that was a so disaster. Rough. Then I saw a picture of me that day and tough. I was like, ah, oh, it's a tough one. It's because it, when it's thin on the top and then the, when the light hits I mean, it, I'm you bald. can just see I'm it. Bald. Yeah, but it does look a little thicker. What have you been doing? I just have it longer. I know. I'm not doing a damn thing. I believe in supplements, so I will say I'm yeah, taking like uh, like.
like I just take like fish oil and creatine and yeah, I don't know if that helps multivitamin yeah. and I don't know and and that's it, right? Oh really? Oh really? Brilliant. Good to know. Right? I don't know. Um, maybe maybe it, de uh, it definitely looks magic. It definitely mind. looks better. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck is this conversation? No, maybe a magic mind. Maybe the mushrooms in there. I think mushrooms are like kind of an elixir. <laughs> Trying to sell the fucking to sponsor. Cool. I think they're good for you for everything. I'm sure there's some peptides you could take. Yeah, they say that. <clears throat> peptides are supposed to be really good. Once again, haven't taken anything yet. You just you just not gonna do it, huh? I just don't I don't wanna mess with my energy levels. Oh man, <clears throat> weights make me laugh harder than anything. God, that makes me laugh. Who is telling you to do this? My mother with a straight <laughs> well, face. Well, I told you to get a wig. Years ago. My mother with a straight face would say, just wear a wig. <laughs> what did you say to me, mother? <laughs> what did you say to me? Your, your problem is you can't do it now because we'd all know and just get lit up. But it, as soon as you start I, losing your hair, you got to do I something about it before it gets really hair bad. Hair transplant. Never wear a wig. How about this? Wigs are for no one. Yes. Maybe women who are going through. Wigs are that. old school. Super old school. Wigs are kind of like that. Barbara they're, they're tattoo. They're for no one. Yeah, there's some peptides. What I'm is sure this you could conversation, think. man? What is this con Yo, this podcast is already grinding to a fucking screeching halt, and it's only 20 minutes in. What is this? They're running out of things to talk about. Like... <laughs> Oh, this is fucking horrible. What's going on? Wigs? Okay, cool, man. I guess. Oh, we got the... Remember you and I were talking about Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, and I told you I won't give you my pick till we get the rules, mm -hmm. and the rules we think came out. So it's 16-ounce gloves. There's no judging. If it goes to uh, all, I think, eight or ten rounds, mm -hmm. whatever they're doing... Then it's ruled a no contest. The only way you can win is via KO. But they have 16 ounce gloves on. So they are going for the KO. <clears throat> well. What do you think of that? No or yay? I would bet a good amount of money it goes to the it goes the full. I love Brendan's conspiracies. He never believes anything in it. He's always conspiratorial when it comes to these sort of fights because he's not involved. He loves it in it. He loves it. They're gonna just like, you know, agree to just box each other and spar basically. Uh, it would be basically like a like a you know like an overblown exhibition game match, and they'll both go out. It's like, come on, bro, it's fighting. There's always the and there's always the there's always the possibility that somebody's just gonna go off script. You know what I mean? Come on, full round. Because you, and Jake you wins think, via decision. So you think that that's Jake via decision? You think that's being talked about privately? Uh, no, I'm not saying that. I, not, I think oh, yeah, I wouldn't do Jake. Big up Austin Casey talking about Elton John. Elton John. I read his autobiography. I've actually got it here somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's definitely one of my shelves. I don't know. It's too, I've got too many books here. But I recommend you check out Elton John's autobiography. Legitimately one of the best autobiographies I've ever read. Fucking fantastic. He's brutally, brutally honest about his upbringing or about his come up, about all the mistakes he's made, people he's let down, um, you know, addiction, all sorts of manner of things. It's really fucking good. And also he details a bit about the Young Fug experience, like how him and Young Fug became friends because he lives in Atlanta and you ended up being neighbors with Young Fug for a while. Like, it's fucking incredible. I really recommend you check it out. Elton John's autobiography is fucking phenomenal. Like, I read, I, I think I finished it in like two days. I couldn't put it down. It was so fucking good. Really, 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 really good. Like that. I think it's a real fight. I just, they're doing everything they can. So Mike Tyson's not embarrassed. That makes yeah, sense. I don't think that Jake. Brendan doesn't like Mike Tyson. What do you mean Mike Tyson's not embarrassed? Why, not, why about Jake Paul? Brendan doesn't hate Mike Tyson. Wins much with that, you know, uh, and I, I, it depends. Yeah. But with that rule, now you hear that rule setting, what do you think? Damn, that's Mark Coleman? I just, last time I saw him was a picture in the ER. Yeah, he came out. Was that He's doing well now, yeah. Yeah, so we, we got the rule setting, so it's a little different. I mean, nothing crazy, but. Yeah. This podcast is awful, man. Nothing surprising. Dude, how about Conor McGregor? I'm, I'm no one to talk, but come on. This is horrendous. Gregor's movie. Most watched like movie ever. What? Some about fifty million. Seriously? Look at those stats. That's some. That's some Conor McGregor nut hugger stats in it. What? He's got the most viewed. Come on. What kind of statistics are those? Amazon doesn't publish the statistics like any streaming company. They don't publish it. It's not front facing. The most streamed movie ever. What on Amazon? You mean? Like okay, cool. Great record, I guess. <laughs> Do you see it up there, Jen? Have you guys watched Roadhouse? Anyone in the stream chat watched watch Roadhouse? I haven't watched it yet. It looks too bad. I love Connor, but I can't. I don't know if I can put myself through it. 
It looks too, too, too awful. You see a big so 50 it's a hit. million. Yeah, major yeah. hit. I hear he's really good in it. He was fun in it, yeah, for Biggest sure. streaming debut ever on Amazon Prime with 50 million wow, worldwide awesome. viewers in the first two weeks. I guess. It's awesome. Why'd they put a money sign 50 million? That doesn't mean they made $50 million. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know how much they made. I'm just saying it's weird. It's 50 million views. Fifty million. Okay, so what's the actual statistic? Fifty million dollars. The Roadhouse is the biggest streaming debut. Why is it fifty million dollars? There's fifty million viewers. This fucking whoever this page is, they don't know what they're doing, innit? Well, maybe it's good clickbait. Maybe it's a good way to get people's attention. I, have you have you guys seen the press the press stuff around it? You see Connor looking like he's on coke or he's fucked up the whole entire time. I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like this rock star edge that Connor's having towards the end of his, like, you know, career in the limelight. He's really going out, you know, like, you know, <laughs> he's going out on his own terms, all twitchy and looking really paro and shit, sweating all over the place, fighting old men in pubs. I love it. I fucking love it. Views. Doesn't mean views. Dollars. Yeah, not money. So that, that yeah, that's And all those people are paying a dollar to watch it. Mm. But Amazon's a lot more than that. But you can watch a variety of shows. 50 million worldwide viewers first two weeks. Good for Connor, man. Fuck That's yeah. great. And oh, Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal's in the top three for me. He's, He's just awesome. Fantastic. He's just awesome. Yeah, man. I'm surprised he didn't say he met Jake Gyllenhaal. I was waiting for it. I was surprised he didn't say he's met Jake Gyllenhaal. Me and Jake Gyllenhaal are boys. We hung out. I met him in a gym. I said I could lift more than him. I'm honestly surprised he has not said anything more. i honestly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't pay me to watch red he roadhead roadhead you're calling it roadhead another softcore gay <laughs> like pinky blinds <laughs> him and connor like yin and yang together man they're great their chemistry's great I gotta, i'm gonna watch it now oh by the way did, did i tell you about meeting jake gyllenhaal i met jake gyllenhaal right so I used to go to this club in London called uh, The Alibi. It was a club where I used to like promote and do parties at and DJ at for a few years. This really amazing like uh, dive bar in London that was fucking the place to be at one time. And I don't remember the movie. Big up Wingus McDingus. Oh, Wingus McDingus, long time. Who farts smell worse? Slow Joe Shab. Chin Robert. Also, before I forget, bean, bean cheese, cheese, bean cheese, cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese. Big up Wingus McDingus. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you for joining. Um... Whose farts smell the worst? Slow Joe Shaw, Chin, Burt. <sighs> it definitely has to be Burt. 100% it's going to have to be Burt. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way it can't be Burt. Burt has to have this horrible farts. The way he eats, the way he, the lack of bathing, the lack of hygiene. Has to be Burt. Has to be Burt. Has to be. Um... Big up Wingus McDingus. So what I said to you, um, what did I say? I went to um, yeah. So I was in the the nightclub called Alibi, and I bumped into um Jake Gyllenhaal because he was filming a scene in a movie where he's in a club, and I don't remember what movie it was. I I tried to watch a few Jake Gyllenhaal's movies to try and see what movie it was, but I couldn't remember. So he was filming a scene. But he was trying to make it look natural, like he was in a club, and he kind of walked around. And he was dapping people up, and he dapped me up. He gave me a little spud. I was like, oh shit, Jake Gyllenhaal. But I think I was too, I don't think I made a cut because I was like smiling at him and looking at him, do you know what I mean? And looking at the camera like a fucking idiot. But I could have been in the movie if I played it right and I played it a bit smooth and I just spun it in properly. But I literally saw him in a club. It was pretty funny. Pretty fucking funny. Um, people are saying Chin. You guys are saying Chin would have the worst farts than Burt. Are you guys for real? Are you guys for real? You're saying Chin would have worse farts than Burt Kreischer. No way. No way. You see what Burt looks like. You see what he's, what he looks like up close with his top off and shit. I get the vlogs, I understand, but no, it has to be Burt. Burt would definitely have the worst ones. You didn't watch it yet, bro? No. It's actually like a, a fun. It's entertaining. It's kind of like. A, it is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like. It's like the Fast cheesy, and Furious. But it's fun. You know what I'm into. It's like the Fast and Furious. Is like, I'm not going there because I'm expecting great acting and realistic graphics and all that shit special effects like you're just there to get entertained and waste yeah. two hours of your life it's, it's fun you, you know, could probably you know be doing I, something better you know who i'm uh what i'm obsessed with chin trans 
Ah, yes. And uh, Physical 100. Yeah, that's Physical. a huge show. Second show. It's, uh, it's all Korean, second, too, right? Dude, second, second uh, season. Some of those Koreans are jacked beyond jacked. Of course, Brian spends his time watching that. Of course, of course, that's what he spends his time. Jacked enough to fucking ripped women lifting weights and shit, of course. I mean, studs. Doing yeah. 40 pull-ups. Easy 200-pounders in there. 205ers. Yeah. Big boys. It's just a competition show? Yeah, but it's like really crazy. Physical competition show. Really Stun crazy, Gun, though. Kim. Remember? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, Stun, Stun yeah. Gun's there. And Akiyama's there. Like, yeah. Akiyama's the or, first He was in the yeah. first one, yeah, yeah. This is this is uh, they got said they got an Olympic gold medal wrestler in there. How's he doing? Ah, uh, he's crushing <laughs> I'd assume it. And he he's well. smaller than everybody. <laughs> you yeah. know what? Big up Coiler. Coiler makes a very good point. If you beat fish on a rock and cook it <laughs> with hot dog and menudo, your guess is sick. <laughs> oh my god, Coiler, that's hilarious. That is so true. I keep forgetting actually. What Chin, what we've seen Chin consume, he might actually be he might actually be a creeper because if you have to pick from Bert Chin or Bert, Bert Chin or Brendan, who has the worst farts, Chin might be a sleeper because we've seen the shit that he eats. Like, the gas must be. Whew. God bless the girls that he takes back. You know the lack. You know the ones that are alive anyway. God bless the girls that he takes back home, because imagine what that fucking after sex fart must be like. When he's in bed, under the duvets, like, oh, God Almighty, God bless them, God bless them. Yeah. And you, you want like you, you see him, and you, he's literally against these giant, jack dudes, CrossFit competitors, all, and he just finds a way to win. He's just incredible, fucking incredible. But he's a gold medalist. He's a wrestling gold medalist, and it's well, just a cool whole story. different level. But right. so much smaller, and it beats him in physical, in the in the brute strength, speed, endurance, everything. I feel like now we're we're seeing the side effects of the the rider strike because Netflix hasn't dropped something hot in a second. Oh yeah, dude. and they need it. Like they they've done. Did they do the free body problem? It just dropped the other day. Pretty good. I heard that Testament show is pretty good as well. What are you talking about, bro? You don't watch stuff. What does Brendan actually watch? He does a fucking attention span of a goldfish. Competition shows they've done like Love is Blind is big. This competition they show is out, big. They, they're getting away from But the, there's uh, nothing like... too much of a risk. There's no Ozark. There's no Stranger Things right now. Yeah, like too, there's, those shows aren't there. Two of the off, most important why. shows. He's, two of the best shows in the last few years. They, they didn't repeat that again. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. They're easier, right? They, 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 <clears> I guess they the big thing they have coming up is uh, Squid Game 2. But I think they're shooting it now, or yeah. they did shoot it, but that'd be the next but see, they didn't, didn't that old guy in Squid Game get done for, like, sexual assault or something? The really old one. Hilarious, man. I don't he, even shoot. He's barely alive, and he's out here allegedly diddling and shit. <laughs> that's that's basically uh, that's basically um, Brian Callen's spirit child, isn't it, right? Or that's basically evil Brian Callen, in a way, right? Shoot it! What they do is well. They, what Netflix does, right? They, they do comp Yeah, they do competition yeah. shows. Right now, they do competition shows and then reality shows. There's more than that. There's more than to Netflix and just competition. But anyway, Brian, Brendan's fucking Netflix fucking main feed must be awful. Yeah, and then documentaries. That's kind of like their bread and butter money yeah. makers right now, right? Yeah. But there's no like show that everybody's talking about right now. Yeah, there is. Korean, Korea is amazing. The gentleman, they have the gentleman on fucking them. amazing. We've South been Korea's trying to like a... convince Brendan to watch these Korean movies. He just he they're, doesn't want to watch some of the best movies ever. Yeah, what's he doesn't want to watch them. I don't know because they got subtitles. By the way, he can't concentrate. Subtitles, he's out. Brendan barely barely could get into Game of Thrones when it was on when it was sick. Then he got into it right at the end when it was a shit seasons. He just he's one of those type of people. You can't do subtitles. He's just you know too much of a read act. Right. right now in Korea, culturally, is nothing short of unbelievable. They they are they are such an incredible country, and they did it almost like a they stayed conservative. They're conservative people. Like there's there's real like you're not getting away with all the other the bullshit, but. <laughs> conservative christian fucking catholics right? oh, so conservative christian koreans now all of a sudden honestly man this larp this like christian conservative larp that they're on is so fucking hilarious man. <laughs> no they don't but play they're conservative game. and they're disciplined hard-working motherfuckers they're, they're just like opposite of you 
and smart. They're super no, smart. No, no doubt. Quick question. Mm. You and Chid fucking each other? Because <laughs> he talked about your hair. And the, I played long with yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a team player. Shanae's got her hands on her head laughing. Yo, she wants to get that invoice paid, isn't it? Shanae's is making sure the invoice is getting paid on time. She's got a holiday booked. She probably wants to buy a new car. Maybe wants to get a new dog. Maybe she wants to get another weave done. Maybe some new self tan. Shanaz is making sure she gets paid, isn't it? She's cackling. She's having a whale of a time. She's like at the funniest show on earth. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, come on, girl, relax. They're gonna pay you. Don't worry. They're gonna pay you, girl. They're gonna pay you. Chill, chill, chill. I play a lot. Here looks exactly the same. It still looks like <laughs> no. shit, right? Korea, but it looks thicker. Not the best. It does. What's going on here? No, listen. Who's sucking who off? Listen, dude. <laughs> this is very strange. This is that's you're a giving a Korea a lot of love, and you said it's his a, hair looks good, and I'm not buying either. It's a personal <laughs> question. I'm gonna need you to start putting some respect on Korea's name, right now. And I don't like that you have a built-in condescending prejudice. America first, Doug. <laughs> take a little break here. Let's take a break. Oh fuck off, man. Our coach came out and said that was super not intentional. That's we just have a routine. Fuck that off. That's, I, oh no, that that's what the national Ellis, anthem, weapons? National anthem in Iowa. It's not weapons? available in all states and situations. Progressive. That's why I was happy uh, LSU got their ass whooped last night because they decided not to come out for the national anthem. Yeah, big up Wingus Dingus, appreciate it, brother. I can't stand it when Grapes pretends to be some wise old sage. It's Grapes. almost as annoying as when he pretends to be a comedian. Being cheese, etc. Also, Snaz is a an absolute rotter. She looks like a character you create on an old <laughs> on an old WWE game with a PlayStation. Nah, Snaz is cute, man. She's cute. Come on, I think some of you guys are being you're being out of order. I think some of you guys will tear Snaz down. If Snaz was available and you guys were single, I think some of you would tear her down. Come on, she's a cutie. But let's not lie. Let's not lie. Some of you will tear Snaz down. Some of you will be all over her. Do you know what I mean? You'd be all over that. I know some of you guys in the stream chat will be all over that. Don't lie. Don't fucking lie, you guys in the stream chat. Don't lie. Because some of you guys were, you liked fucking cat. You're simping over cat and shit. Some of you guys, you know, let's not, let's not lie. You'd be all over it. Let's not fucking lie. Let's not lie. Come on. Even you, Wingus McDingus, don't lie. Look at her. She's a cutie. She's not, she, she knows with her breast buttered. She gets business done, you know? She turns up on time. Oh, R.I.P. George. <laughs> R.I.P. George. Oh, God. Big up, Wingus McDingus. And Iowa they went, did? And Iowa went, cool, we're going to stay here for the National LSU Anthem. Okay, but not wait, 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 wait. Yep. Their coach came out and said that was super not intentional. That's we just have a routine. Fuck that off. That's, I, oh no, that that's after they got all this blowback and got their ass whipped. And they're yeah. like, that was intentional. Have they ever missed one before? And you're gonna miss it in the f to get to the final four, the biggest game of your season. Who's buying that? They got so much backlash, and then our our girl from Iowa lit them up. Oh, okay. So it's this. Uh, it's just like white American proud thing that they're going on, right? All right, okay, cool. So now what what's her name? The girl that looks like Rick Owens? What's her name? The Rick Owens looking girl, the basketball team, the opposite opposing one. She's a daughter of a famous basketball player, isn't it? So now I guess because she's white and the other Angela Reese is I don't, I don't know. Fucking these fucking right wing conservative talking points are so boring, man. Like come on, man. At least come with a bit of an edge. You know what I mean? We get it. Forty points. Caitlin Clark. And forty That's points. it, Caitlin Clark. That's Damn. Right. She's gangster. Yeah. Don't you guys think she looks a bit? Is it how you spell her name? Is it Caitlin? There we go. Don't you think Caitlin Clark look, looks a little bit like Rick Owens? Or my buggy? Don't you guys think so? Don't you think she looks a bit like Rick Owens? Or, or, or what do you think? Or do you think this is a this is a reach? Doesn't she look a little bit like Rick Owens? Or is that too? Or is that? Or is that out of order? Is that not? Is is that not Rick? Is that not? Kate, is that not Rick Owens? <laughs> I saw it, but there was like, raw. They look a little bit alike, innit? A little bit, little bit, little bit. You know, little bit, little bit, little bit. 
Maybe it's still just a white with a black hair. Maybe there's not much there. No, he's not similar. She's she's way cuter than Rick. Don't get me wrong. Even though Rick's a god, she's way cuter than him. And she's obviously a killer basketball player. So I guess it's different. It was a good game. Wow. I don't watch it. You didn't watch it? <laughs> Mm-mm. Actually, women's basketball. I was watching. I wouldn't say they got their ass kicked. It, no, it was, it was, good, it was close. So Brian, Brian has all these opinions about the game, and did, he didn't watch it. He has all these opinions about the fucking basketball game, but he didn't fucking watch it. All these big opinions, all these talking points, all these hot takes, but he didn't actually watch it. Classic. Close game, but Angel Reese. Played Caitlin a went. Game. Caitlin went off. Yeah, Angel Reese played well. What did she have? Twenty rebounds ridiculous yeah mm. but then she got a little injured still came back and played like it was close until you watch the last a lot of sports minutes. you legit watch i know sports. look look at brendan getting annoyed he's not gonna give her props look at brendan getting jealous he's getting jealous she actually knows a lot about sports to be fair so that's actually she's actually quite close doesn't she have a sports podcast i think she has like a football podcast right but she's actually clocked in look how jealous Bre look at look at brendan's face Look him twisting up his mouth. He did not like Callan giving her props about the sport knowledge because he thinks he knows more, but she knows way more. She's really plugged in. Look at look at it. <laughs> He's so jealous. He's so jealous. Look at him. He's so jealous. He's not the main guy anymore. He's so jealous. Look at him. It's a lot. How do are, you are you into baseball? Because baseball is popping right now. That's like the least one I know the most about. Dude, how about uh, what Monday was April? You see that proof? He just tried to like he big time. You, you know baseball? He, he tried to. He knew she didn't know baseball, and he didn't left it. Okay, exactly, exactly, bitch, exactly. He kind of big time there a little bit. Well, fools, my girl comes home. She's like, "Oh my god, did you hear what happened?" And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, "April fools me so ridiculous." She goes, "I saw online Otani's banned for five years." Hold on, what did he say? I saw again. Did he say I saw. April fools me so ridiculous. She goes, I saw online Otani. I saw one more time. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, April fools me so ridiculous. She goes, I saw online Otani. I saw, I saw. He's banned for five years. <laughs> I went, oh my God, they banned Otani. She goes, yeah, I went, MLB tweeted that. She goes, I don't think MLB did, but somebody did. I go, oh my God, do you think it's April 1st, maybe? <laughs> Right? <laughs> Figured the fuck out? And she went, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, you think they're gonna ban Otani? No, he could be million. fucking... They can catch him. He could be they catch sinking him games for fucking... Killing babies. They catch him throwing babies off a cliff, and they'd be <laughs> oh, like, boy. listen, it wasn't him. Come on, it's comedy, man. Let's get a bit aggressive, innit? He could be fucking shooting aid out of the sky that's meant to be landing in Gaza. Let's actually go... Let's actually... Let's actually get some funnies going. What's this? You could be murdering babies. That's fucking boring. Let's go for the fucking jugular. Come on, bro. It was a guy it was a, with it was a translator that looks like him. Exactly. Yeah. They would they do anything. <clears throat> when you're worth that much money. Oh, dude, how about uh Tiger and Bossy went with uh Do you think do you think Brendan only got Tiger into fucking baseball because of that Japanese guy's contract? Is that possible? Is there a correlation between um how, how do you pronounce his name? Um, I forgot his fucking name. And getting his kid into baseball. Do you think he saw that kid getting that contract? I was like, oh yeah, this is where my kid needs to be playing so he can become rich and shit. <laughs> do you think so? That's fucking, if that is true. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's like another level of a helicopter parent. Uh, Just their, chasing the bag. Your grandfather and uh, my brother-in-law to Dodgers opening day. They're, you know, they're like in the second row. Otani foul ball goes right to them, and you know my my brother in law played college baseball. Like he can fucking catch. Like yeah, he has yeah, skills, well, yeah. and he sees it, and he doesn't have a glove, and he goes to grab it, and because Tiger's right here, and you know they're like, oh my god, and he goes to grab it, and then some, you know, some dude with a glove's like, give it to me. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then everyone's like, give it to the kids. Cause you know, Tiger and Boss are like, oh here. And the guy just looked at him and walked off. No, you gotta give it. Press exit out. To the kids. Of course. Dude. That didn't happen. Of course, dude. Douchebag. No Tani ball though, I get it. Yeah, if it's a home run. It wasn't, it was a foul yeah. ball. What was that, that? That was like the Barry Bonds ball that, uh... He, the guy put an asterisk on it, I think. Yes. Oh, yeah, true. Big up Screw32. 
wasn't there like a white guy i don't know again don't get me don't scream at me but wasn't there another white guy oh my god in the stream chat oh 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 tiny tigers <laughs> <laughs> why did i immediately get that reference honestly oh 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 <laughs> anyway wasn't there like a big up screw 32 wasn't there another white guy before otani that got the deal i think he had like a beard a bit of a ponytail he got a big contract so obviously that's i think it's a big thing in in, in fucking baseball right the hundred million the three digit million fucking um um contracts and shit I forgot his name. I think he was the first one that got like a crazy contract above, above like 100, 100 million or something stupid. I forgot which one number it was. Some, I I remember. Well, the guy at Echo, which I worked with, but the guy at Echo bought it and then he sold it to somebody who was just going to like put Hold an on, asterisk, what, what, which what, what, I worked with. What's, what's that? He, the guy put an asterisk on it, I think. What happened? I get it. Yeah, if it's a home run. It wasn't. It was a foul yeah. ball. What was that? that? That was like the Barry Bonds ball. But, uh, he, the guy put an asterisk on it, I think. Yeah, some... Well, the guy at Echo, which I worked with, but the guy at Echo... Of course you worked with the guy. Echo bought it, and then he sold it to somebody who was just going to, like, put an asterisk, or they were going to, like, destroy it or something. So stupid. Let's just, let's just check it out. Um, largest MLB contracts. Does that, does that make sense? Let's see. I, it's a kid that's got, like, a beard. White one. I remember having a massive contract. What's that? 1979, one million dollars. Imagine what imagine what one million dollars will get you nowadays. Nothing probably. That's actually a really nice top, isn't it? Astro, that's actually a really nice top. Um we don't get the pictures of anybody, right? Uh is it Mike Trout? Maybe it's Mike Trout I'm thinking of. Is it Mike Trout? Maybe that's who I was thinking about. Maybe it's Mike Trout. That's that sounds familiar. Who's Mike Trout? No, it's not him. I don't I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> uh Mookie Betts, Aaron Judge. Fucking hell, bro. Fucking hell. Tw that's a that's a hell of a deal though, isn't it? Twelve years at one club. That's a lot of time. Manny Man Manny Machado, three hundred and fifty million, two thousand twenty three. Francisco Lindor. Fernando Tatis. Any black people here? Oh, maybe him. Maybe uh, he, Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Maybe he's black. <laughs> maybe Giancarlo Santo. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Manny Machado, Trey Turner. Bloody hell, mate! The deals in baseball have been big for a while, isn't it? Fucking hell! Alex Rodriguez, two hundred fifty million in two thousand eight. God damn. What are the groupies like in baseball? Are they good in it? Of course they're good in it because Thingy played baseball, didn't he? The groupies must be fucking great in baseball. For doing steroids? The guy who pitched on that ball is on the juice, bud. Of course. It's so stupid. Of course. Weird, weird hill to die on. Weird hill to die on. Did you see the UFC announcement? No. Saudi Arabia? I think we're doing a fight campaign for it too, buddy. We were going to do a fight campaign. No, no. We're not, so that was for May. Yeah. So we can't do May, but in June, June 22nd, it's a fight night on ABC. It's Hamzat versus Whitaker. I'm all about it. In June, they took. Oh, I, I, I think they, I thought they were gonna go to Saudi Arabia. They're gonna do. A, they're gonna do. A, oh yeah, what happened to the fight companions? Yeah, when's the last time he did a fight companion? When's the last time Brendan did a fucking fight companion? Where is it? Um, let's go on this one. Let's go on new tab. When's the last time they did a fucking? What's it called again? Is it? Calabasas Fight Companion, right? Is that its own channel or is that on Thick Boy? Calabasas Fight Companion. When's the last one they did? That's been a long time since they did the Fight Companion. Three months ago. She. Three months ago. So the budget ran out for the Fight Companions, isn't it? No budget for the Fight Companions anymore. He's not doing. He's not doing a. What do you call it? Short Show Live anymore. Last Fight Companion was three months ago wild i'm all about it i'll do that Yo, yeah, big up richie richie appreciate you walk one yeah um so <clears throat> i i, I we're, but we're gonna find out if hamza's the real that's deal. what i'm saying because we don't know yet that hamza's we don't the know yet deal. 
I, I was there for the uh, when Whitaker fought uh, pa uh, Paulo Costa. Um, Brendan Hay, that I, mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, so so I would usually say that Kamzat. It's not that Whitaker's afraid of Kamzat striking. No, no, um, no. And 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 Kamzat's known as that wrestle. What he did to Kamaru Usman, just mm -hmm. taking him down over and over. He's got all the wrestling. Does that work against someone like Good Whitaker, who's actually known for being a really good wrestler? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that Kamzat out wrestles Whitaker, or at least I don't think Kamzat. I think he wrestles. can. I think he can. Definitely I don't think can. he can. I don't think he can submit Whitaker. So that's a big thing, you know. Great fight announcement, though, and it's on ABC. What do you, what do you think? We don't know, really, do we? Uh, for odds, Whitaker as a dog, I like because the, the Hamzat's such an unknown. If you're trying to make money, you obviously you want to take the dog. So I like Whitaker as a dog, especially coming off that Polo Polo Costa win. Yeah, Hamzat, he's never fought a true middleweight, like a real high caliber mi middleweight. It's also five rounds, mm. you know. So we'll see. I think Hamzat ragdolls Whitaker in the early rounds, unfortunately. I think Whitaker's takedown defense and grappling and shit probably isn't of the level of Hamzat. If he can get past the first couple of rounds, Whitaker's got a chance of winning. But I think if Hamzat gets his hands on him, I think it's going to be sayonara. Even though I don't, I don't think they're, they're probably similar sizes, isn't it, right? Frame-wise. They're probably about similar s s s frame, body-wise, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, I'm, I have a feeling Hamza's going to ragdoll him. Also, Whitaker's been in a lot of wars. He's been in a lot of wars. He's been in a lot of wars. That's so right, Hamza might be like, uh, I don't know if he can go through another war. I'm going to take him that, down when I can. He wobbled like a motherfucker by Paulo Costa. No, no. And came back and won. No, I'm, I'm saying the yeah, same no, thing. I I, I'm saying that Paulo Costa and Whitaker, were, it was a war. Like, he, that head kick was wild. So I think Hamza could be like, let's figure it out. Let's see. At his age, he's damn near 34, 33. So you might be like, yeah, I don't think you can continue to take these beatings. I'm down to stand and trade, that's, and I think you're going to fall first. That's where it is. How old is uh, Whitaker? I think 34, 33. That, this is where and I'm starting to go with all Hamzat's that. Hamzat's 30. Okay. <clears throat> oh, here's the other fights on the card, by the way. Yeah. Go up to uh, Jesus Christ, uh, the what age. entertaining fucking... The, the, the dead air is fucking incredible. Age of uh, Whitaker? I think he's 34. 33? 33. 33. But, yeah, so he just turned 33 okay. in December. That's actually so he'll be 33 and Hamza to be 30. Not so. I don't think the age matters. It's more so the wear and tear, in it? And the abuse, and not the abuse, the damage they've taken over time. Wirk has taken way more damage. He's had, obviously, loads of injuries, too, over his career. Um, he's just, he has way more mileage in him, you know? And, obviously, he's kind of chinny anyway. Um, I think, you know... If he survives those first two rounds, he can cause Hamza a problem. What was that fight that Hamza had where he was gassed a lot? Which I remember. What is it a recent one? He was really he, he didn't look really good. Who was he fighting? Was it fucking Kamara Usman? Do you guys remember who it was? When he was really gassed. He didn't look that great. Um if you can if you can stuff his takedowns. You know, he's not the best on his feet anyway. So if you can stuff the takedowns and the rushing and shit and you stop him from grounding pounding, you can probably do pretty well on him. So let's see what Whitaker does. But if Hamza gets a hold of him and starts dominating him, it's going to be Sayonara. Oh, uh, not, not such a thing. I do think... It is a thing. 33 and with the thing how long he's been doing he's it. He's been doing it. Lot, and and think about the miles. wars he's been in. A so a 33-year-old fighter that's had that long of a career is different than a 33 year old who's 20, playing basketball or something yeah. oh really yeah, right. cool. but his look, his birthday's may 1st so he'll be 30 by the time this fight comes mm -hmm. which you know there's nothing you don't have miles on him that's a different 30 than whitaker's correct thing. but you know oh was it gilbert burns it wasn't kamara usman that he fought and he was really he didn't look that great he was kind of gassed out was it gilbert burns and that was late notice right or something gilbert was really was crying he was always upset when he loses anyway but just as far as making money you'd put money now on Whitaker before the thoughts sway to make some money I was I was really taken aback by the how overwhelming he was for Usman wrestling wise like overwhelming mm -hmm. and part of that might have been that Usman just his knees are shot maybe yeah and he's smaller time. smaller yeah. yeah but yeah and Usman's older you know but no he did the damn thing but then he struggled against Gilbert Burns. 
Correct. Couldn't, but again, Gilbert, it's at 170. Gilbert's low center of gravity. It's tough to take those guys down. Yeah. So, But yeah, Whitaker, uh, Shamayev is a fantastic fight. Fantastic yeah, fight. it really is. Oh, take my money, okay. even though it's free on ABC. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's that is that. What fight is that? That's three. This pod is honestly, they are, they cannot wait to go home in it. <laughs> this is fucking dragging. One. Three, nah, man, it's a fight night. Let's fast forward this shit. Come I, on, man. Let's 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 not fight talk. Let's I'll, get to the topics. Yeah. Shout out. Power, I mean, when the mm-hmm. leg kicks. If you're okay, it's cool. cool. Let's fast forward Both, this shit. I'm I think gonna have it. One of the biggest events of all time. It's just to show more of the casual. Yeah, big up, Richie. Appreciate it, brother. What's good? Donating to the Cat and Beer and Chop Bean Fund. Sidebar, we gave up on the ball and she flats unless you're producing a video with major production value <laughs> fight scene in all. Yeah. There will be a fight scene. There will be a fight scene. I guarantee you there will be a fight scene, sir. There will be a fight scene. Big up, Richie. Appreciate it, brother. There will be a fight scene. It'll be me slipping on the floor somewhere, fighting some Asian dude somewhere in the street, like that epic fight that I kept mentioning. I actually, I actually need to get someone to animate that for me. Actually, I might have to get that clipped up and animated, and see if I can pop that up somewhere. Cause yeah, that was a pretty funny one. But big up Richie, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate ya, appreciate ya, my friend. Visuals, how good Bo Nickel is, and then after this, it's. Release the hounds. Really, he's getting top five. He is top ten. No more UFC chat. I don't care about their opinions. Yeah, let's continue. Worry about Alex Pierre. All hill. D- uh, Dustin Poirier. This is talking about the UFC. You know, distance. You gotta- Come on, bro. The crew necks are my. F- yeah. No more shirts. No more. That's no more. Fighter step. No more. No more. No more. With this one. Cool. Yeah. So big Florida guy over there, Brian. Yeah, do you know where talking this? about Gators? Yeah. Look at this guy. Do you know where this is? To be fair, to be fair, to be fair to you, to be fair to Sanaz, let's give Sanaz a bit of credit. I don't watch fighting a kid. I only do it when I'm with you guys on stream. But she's pretty on point of her job in it. She come prepares with topics. She knows what her talking points are, like. It's never done like I never feel like she's doing it on the fly. She probably spent some time checking over stuff, bookmarking things, sending us sending her stuff links and shit. Herself links. Yeah, I mean she's on it. Like she's on it. You can tell she's like a hustler in that regards. I think they probably, you know, they probably like that shit. She's based. She's what's that thing called? She's a self starter in that regard, right? Um, using her own initiative doesn't need a little thing. Kind of like she's basically the opposite of George. George probably needed a fucking manual. Jamie, he needed a lot of conversations and uh you know a fucking what's that called? He needed a handover, but she just does her thing, you know what I mean? She just keeps it going. So big up, big up Sanaz. Hopefully nothing crazy happens and she doesn't get fucking stuffed in the fucking cupboard somewhere and tribal size to shove their hand down her throat, hopefully, because you know how these guys are. Probably it's, next door to you. It's literally across the street from the ho- where I bought a house. It looks nice. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Where I bought a house, where you live, you mean? <laughs> where I bought a house, you try to be coy there. That's a dinosaur. That's right. He looks and, weird. And, Why is he so tall? He's got a he's he's got a house in fucking where's it from Florida? He's making money in it. God damn, Brian. Did oh. I say it's across the street from where I bought a house? <laughs> That's not true because I'm not sure where this one is. You lied a little bit, huh? I lied because I thought it was a different video. But Florida all looks the same, right? <laughs> right? Everything looks it exactly does the same. Look all the same. That's a golf course. Valencia golf and it's weird how tall he is. Well, that's a, I think that's a yeah, tail piece that's on That's a him. large. Yeah, gator. big ass tail. Huge gator. Look at that thing. If you are a dog, you're in. Or if you have kids, I can't play yep. by the. You know, even a cow or a what horse. What the fuck is this podcast, man? You have to watch really? it. All of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. All of it. It's like, showing, it's like showing your parents' videos of like animals and shit, isn't it? Like, what the fuck is this? Even my parents would have way more entertaining things to say. Way more funny things to say about this. This boomer talk, man. It's like, where's the jokes? Where's the funnies? Imagine this, the, the the difference between this and fucking... And like Matt and Shane's secret podcast is just night and day in it. Like, it really is. It's fucking wild how unfunny and lack of trying to make it funny and fun they try to make this show. It's just two guys just going through the motions, clocking in, clocking out. Like, just not wanting to be there at all. 
not enjoying each other's company. Big up, MK. Oz might have been in Cut Extra in Spider-Man, Far Away Home. That was shot in London. <laughs> no. I know you guys are taking the piss, but no, I wasn't in there. Big up, MK. <laughs> <laughs> you guys man but big, big up mk big up mk big up mk i appreciate you appreciate you appreciate you. even though you're taking the piss i appreciate you ambush a cow. cow yep when i was there they were killing uh there was this big gator that was pulling cows in grab them by the nose pull them in and drown them. Yeah, we don't believe you. we yeah. don't believe you we don't believe you you're lying. cows know they're like oh yeah 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 like Okay. Well, we don't know how big is it. Where, can you? Where is Valencia Golf and Country Club? I think it's probably right near Sarasota. Valencia. I knew it. Guys. Can you scroll in, Jim? Where I am on the west, there are gators, but there are no gators anywhere else. So it's yeah. kind of like near me. It was the huge. And, and where are you at, Brian? Uh, <laughs> right about there. No, you're. <laughs> they don't want to, no one's gonna come visit you. You fucking. OAP comedian. No one cares where you live. No one's gonna come visit you. You got no fans that care about you that much. Like relax. Uh you're not. Yeah. It's not even close no, to No, I'm there. actually hold on. Where's but, Sarasota? Oh, it's Sarasota, because I think it's right on top of my house. I mean I could do this house. on my phone in three I think it's seconds. Literally right Let's right go on, from geez. Sarasota. Yeah, right? it's right on top of my house. Right on top of my house. Can, can Chin spell that? A gator was in your backyard. Right on top of my house, you guys. Can Chin spell that? Wow. Yeesh. Okay, look at this. Watch this. Watch this. It's right there. It's one minute. It's literally 30 seconds. Right there. Ready? It's still loading. Yeah, Florida it's all looks the same. The suspense is so it's kind of near Marco's Island's nice. Anybody who says there's a... Yeah, it is nice. Uh, anybody who says that there's a gator and it's close to my house in Florida is an idiot because they're, it's everywhere. <laughs> Dirty fucking... <laughs> what the hell? Jen. It's 38 hours. Hold on. No, that's from California. The gator's 38, 38 hours, hours away. <laughs> if you drive. Honestly, chin, man. Chin. Chin is just useless, isn't it? Outside of what he can do in terms of setting up the pod, anything else, he's fucking... He's 40-something years old. God almighty, bro. Chin is fucking useless. Fucking useless. If you drive, it's 38 hours. That's, Dude, that's too pretty close, for close though. <laughs> But it's too close for comfort is what I'm saying. You got to keep your head on a swivel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. I just, this whole thing has brought the podcast. To <laughs> there, 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 there it is. Two hours and 29 oh, minutes. Oh, fuck. That's so close. <laughs> dude, dude. That's so I'll fucking tell you what, close. 130 miles, too close for my comfort. Man, there's a huge gator two hours away from me. And there are also two, there are huge gators right there. Man. <laughs> Oh, who cares? I'm bored. I bored myself. So just close, now. I dude. apologize to you. Listeners. But I knew it was a lie. You know, that's why I wanted to go on this deep dive. Fuck, I should, I'd rather talk about my neck hurting. Oh, God. What else you got, Chin? There we go. Beyonce came out with her country album, boys. Have you guys listened to it? Absolutely not. Okay. Well. Exactly. It's a surprise. Brendan, the fucking wannabe truck, pickup truck guy, LARPing as a fucking Texan isn't listening to one of the biggest country albums to come out of the year again you know debatable but i wonder why <laughs> is it because the color of her skin <laughs> she's no morgan wallen is she right <laughs> she's no miley cyrus i wonder why he's not listening to her i wonder why well it's apparently doing pretty well well, I gave it a listen and didn't she, love it. She well, this I is a little it. bit weird because Beyonce right here rabid. What did he say? How do you say weird? Weird. Does he pronounce weird with an A? I gave it a listen and didn't she, love it. She well, this I is a little it. bit weird because weird. No way did he say weird. Pretty well. well I gave it a listen and didn't she, love it. She well, this I is a it. little bit weird because Beyonce. Weird. Weird. This is a little bit weird. Not weird. Weird. I'd say right her rabid fan base. She could do anything. Yeah. She, she could have okay. done insert classical music. She could have done anything. Oh, big up MK. I appreciate that. If you do find a movie, let me know. If you do find a movie, let me know. I, I appreciate how boring it is. I get it. But if you do find a movie, let me know. It's a scene where he's in a club and he's also he's wearing like a kind of an anorak, like a like a hooded jacket. It's almost like into the club and he spuds people. There's a scene in one of his movies, and I, I, he literally spudded me in it. But I'm pretty sure I'm not in it. I'm pretty sure I got cut. Pretty sure I got cut from it, but I was definitely in it. 
I definitely saw him filming it in the thing. I was there. Her fan base is going to listen to it. Yeah, the biggest debut by a black female artist ever. Yeah, she, I mean, it's sixth highest it's, female debut of all time. I mean, it's Beyonce. I mean, her husband's going to prison any day now, but it's Beyonce. I was going to say. That's Diddy. That's not fucking Jay Z. Hey, he's, he's obviously <laughs> nah. He's been laying low. Not a peep. Did you hear that woman who said that? Who was that woman who came on? She I love how they're like willing to gossip about Diddy and, you know, his stuff. When Callan literally got accused of rape by a pretty credible person who used to be his ex-girlfriend. And the funny thing about Callan's rape allegations, you remember, like, I don't know if you guys remember, right? The original Brian Callan, was it? Brian Callan rape allegation, right? Was it Los Angeles? Was it Los Angeles time? Los Angeles times. You remember the original one? Do you know the one that was the most concerning, right? There we go. Uh, look how many times I've clicked that. Right? It's already in fucking purple. The Brank, yeah, oh yeah. Big up Amy Kufman. Wherever Amy Kufman is, she fucking, she ran so many comedians out of LA. I think Joey Diaz left LA because of Amy Kufman. Do you remember there was a rumor that she was meant to write this massive article about a takedown of the comedy store, but it never came out. I think, cause I, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think some people got cold feet. Some women were meant to come forward from the comedy store or other things, but they didn't do it. But she was meant to write this really big, or someone at the Los Angeles Times was meant to read a really big kind of takedown article on the whole scene. And I think that's what led to Joey Diaz moving to New Jersey. I swear to God, I think that's part of it. <laughs> I think Joey Diaz left Los Angeles because this woman was taking down everybody, right? But forget the um, forget the allegation of rape. You know the one that was really concerning with Brian Keller never kind of offered an explanation for? Because that's the thing. If, if this is me, and I've said it before on this stream, I've said it before on other pods that I do and shit, right? If anybody accuses me of something to do with like, you know, grape or like a sexual assault and shit, like definitely don't believe it, right? It's definitely not in my character in the slightest. If it's something to do with me fucking unaliving somebody, most likely that could happen. I think in a fight, in the heat of anger, you could do something crazy like, you know, turn somebody's lights off forever, get them on a, you know, make them have a GoFundMe, airbrush t-shirts, people throwing doves in the air when they die. That could happen for sure. I could definitely see myself, you know, unaliving somebody with my bare hands, you know what I mean? Watching the life kind of evaporate from their eyes and shit, you know what I mean? Watching their last breaths and stuff as they fucking cry and all that shit. That could, that could definitely be me. But when it comes to all the grape and stuff, I can't do that. That's just not in my character. But if I ever did get accused of something like that, I would fight until the very end to clear my name. Like, profusely i would never stop not clearing my like i'd fucking have receipts i do like justin bieber when justin bieber got accused by some fans of doing some fuck shit um he had all these like receipts like literal texts dms everything on his phone to prove that these girls are chatting shit but you have to offer proof you can't just like like you know do what brain can does and start doing that high-pitched voice thing that he does inflection you gotta just like you know stand in your shit anyway Forget the grape. The most damning allegation in this article when you got taken down wasn't the grape. It was the American Apparel thing. Let me see if I can find it. There we go. It's the girl from American Apparel. Um. So. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's American Apparel. Yeah. So here's the one. This is the one that he sh he should answer to, because the the grape one is an ex girlfriend. Maybe they were into some. Maybe they were into some weird stuff. Whatever you can, you can somehow explain it away. But the this is the one that he should explain, right? Allegedly, right? L allegedly, L listen to this account. As Callan stars rose, other women said his brazen behavior continued. In twenty two thousand and nine, Callan walked into an American apparel store in Pittsburgh. Rachel Green, an employee there, had no idea who he was, but her colleagues recognized him pulled up IMDb to show her his credentials. The actor, meanwhile, had ventured to the second floor of the store, an area that required employee supervision. So Green trailed him upstairs and helped him gather clothes to try on. He was friendly, she said, though he did emerge from the fitting room, wearing only his boxer brief numerous times. So Brent, Brian Cannon's in the American Apparel store, trying on some skinny jeans, right? And some fucking hoodies with white strings. And he's coming out of the fucking change room with these fucking tighty whities on, 
flick, flicking around his fucking 60 year old ball sacks in front of this fucking young lady the following day Callum returned to the store and requested Green's help so he went back there a second time right a little bit stalkerish this time he was wearing a speedo <laughs> This is what I mean. Forget the grape allegation. This he needs to offer an explanation for. This is even worse than the grape stuff. It was one of those tight, gross little things, she said. He ran out of the fitting room to grab something, so I went in to get the clothes he'd already tried on. Then he comes in, pushes me against the wall, closes the curtains and starts kissing my neck. And he asks me if I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> Yo, this guy is sick. You see? This is the sickness. This is where you're like, that sounds like Brian, unfortunately, allegedly. This sounds like something Brian could do. All the conversations we've heard. Remember the Whitney Cummings story about how Whitney Cummings asking for a lift home after the comedy club or something. She jumps in the car and then he just whip, whips his dick out. <laughs> no permission, no arcs, no requests. He just pulls his piece out. Shocked. Green... Sh she pushed Callan off her, ran downstairs, telling her colleagues that what just happened. I remember not really taking it seriously, which is something I have felt guilty about, frankly, for a couple of years, said Lydia, the co-worker who asked that her last name not be used. Lydia is one of the two co-workers who told the Times that Green immediately told them something untoward occurred with Callan that day. So there's witnesses that worked with her that day that can corroborate this story. <laughs> as i'd seen him on tv over the years i'd be like oh that was really not okay i tried to laugh it off callan denied forcing himself on any woman <laughs> that's the story that he needs to answer for that's the story you know oh i fucking love it i fucking <laughs> I fucking love it. I fucking love it. We up KP. KP said, AZ, are you sure it was a movie? He did a film in Broadway in London. Maybe it was a TV series. Maybe it was a movie then. Maybe maybe that's why I haven't found it. Maybe it was a TV series. Maybe you're right. Maybe it was a TV. But he definitely was in there. He was like, he was wearing like a, an, a jacket with a hood. And he was filming a scene in there. And it was like a club scene. And he was like walking around, spudding people and shit. And he, I was one of the people that got spudded. So maybe it was a TV series. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe it wasn't a movie. Maybe it's a TV series. But I don't think I don't think they're gonna film broad, Broadway play scenes in a club, would they? I don't think that's how it works. Broadway is on like a, it's in a the theater, isn't it? So I don't think it's a Broadway play. I don't think so. I don't think so. But yeah, big up everyone for checking for me. I appreciate you guys. And you can sue me if you want, but I'm saying this. Uh, Jay Z was fucking uh, what Rihanna when she was 14. That's what <gasps> she said. That's what she said. I'm not saying. How dare they talk about this stuff? Brian Callan, you've got grape allegations against you. How old is your wife at the moment, by the way? Can we ask that? How old is your wife? I know she's obviously an adult, but that age gap is pretty wild. Wow, bro. The cheek that they have to talk about this sort of shit. You work with Chris D'Elia, bro. How many kids? Anyway. And that's true. And she did, but, but it was like, and then uh, the, the, just all the stuff to coming out with the, the rap thing with these young. I bet all those artists. people in that field are just like, Yee. well, because they back then. No way, bro. You, you employ Chris D'Elia because he doesn't have any fucking what um, criminal charges against him. You think he's not guilty or something? Or that some of the stories aren't maybe true. Fucking hell, bro. These guys have the neck and oh. And he was 30, he was... KP, AZ, you sure you went on cat? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> KP, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. You never know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I can't... I neither can confirm or deny, my friend. I neither can confirm nor deny. Just there. She was young, you know. Nobody's watching what's going on. I'll tell you what's interesting, though. They've been showing P. Diddy in Florida, like, smoking, dancing. Oh, he's living like, it he's up. he's chilling. Yeah, because what the, there's another thought about the like we were going about all this sex trafficking could just be prostitution. They were talking about that. So a lot of times, a lot of times they come at you with a bunch of charges, and then it's like, well, wait a minute, you know. So I don't know, but sure. Yeah, well, here's the other thing to think about: when the FBI or the when law the enforcement shows up, 
when the feds show the feds. up with masks, guns, and battering rams. They're not doing it on a hunch. They, 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 they do it for, some shit. there's a cause. They know some stuff. They know some stuff. There's some shit going on. Yeah, he's some and shit. there is definitely, there's definitely been some shit going on with uh, whatever's happening. I think it could I love be- how they're buying into the rumors and the conspiracy, but what is him? He said he didn't do it. I would never do this thing. This is lies. But with, 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 with fucking Diddy, you're buying into it immediately. I wonder why. Look at how they changed the fucking rules. Look how they moved the fucking goalposts. Disgusting human beings. Also, what was the thing they where could he threatened be about ri- blowing up somebody's car and then the car blew well, up? Well, no, he did blow it up. But I, Kid Cudi talked about that. Yeah. But then there's also the suspicion. Again, this is all rumors. There's suspicion that they're doing it to get rid of all the evidence, right? Like they go in to destroy sure. all of it like they do with Epstein. You know? Oh, yeah. And you look at Diddy's ties, you know, with... With what? What's his ties? Is he Jewish? You know, hmm. Biden, Obama. Tough one, that tough one. The Biden, Obama. Excuse me? What has Biden, Obama got to do? What? <sighs> is, Bri- is Brendan fucking QAnon? P. Diddy is like Biden, Obama. What? <laughs> is Brendan full QAnon? Biden and Obama. What's that got to do with Diddy's other accusations? Yeah, feds are involved, though. Those guys come in. But, yeah. Interesting. We'll see. I'm sure we'll get news in two years. Yeah. It's going to take a hot second. It'll take a hot second. But it's all weird. Yeah. People are laying low, though. So you're saying Jay-Z's been laying low? Uh, yeah, it seems like he's... Yeah, 50 Cent him. posted, like, a, mis- uh, a milk carton. Like a Jay Z and a milk carton, like he's cents. missing because he's, he's not saying relentless. He's yeah. And he has a documentary coming out, and he's well, been talking about, about this forever. About the mother of his child, she was named. She was one of the sex workers. Yeah. Oh. So he, he and he was like, "Damn, husband. girl, I didn't know you were part of this." Oh. But Fifty just blasts it out too. She's fine. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Brendan, Brian, don't say the word "fine" again. You're sixty years old, bro. Don't ever say the word "fine" again, please. In a million years, please. Honestly, sixty year old man talking about women being fine. <laughs> Oh. But Fifty just blasts it out too. She's fine. She's gorgeous. <laughs> why do you lick his lip when you look at Sinners? Why do you look, why do you say it when you stare at her? Look at him. Why do you say that when you stare at her? You're part of this. Oh. But Fifty just blasts it out, out too. She's fine. <laughs> Brian was a fuck. Brian was a fuck Sinners, man. You also get that fucking 60 year old fucking pecker inside that fucking Persian fucking, uh, what you call it? Flatbread, isn't it? <laughs> he wants to slide that fucking 60 year old shish kebab in her fucking <laughs> Persian naan. He wants that. Brian is thirsty. You relax. Look, why do you keep staring at her? He always keeps that like, looking over her. Or maybe his chin. I don't know. Someone he wants to give somebody some action. He wants to, he wants to bust more ropes and he wants another kid. He's looking <laughs> he's looking to increase his fucking flock. Oh, Brian, bro. She's gorgeous, yeah. She's a f- f- fine. And by the way, it's all you I'm not taking You can't be ugly and be at a dick. I'm not party. taking a woman's child away because she's a sex worker. I'm not. No. I'm not. I'm not. Oh really? How noble. So sex work is a little different. I mean, I mean, it's not like she's on the street. A lot for being. It's not like she's on the street right. sucking Johns yeah. off. We don't she's, know. She's with P Diddy. Yeah. He's financially helping her out. Yeah. She's probably I and mean, she's around not for her conversations. Now is that you, trafficking? You don't, you don't take a woman's child away for that. I'm sorry. No, that's silly. That's crazy. No, she's a bad mom. She's doing whatever she's got to do. Whatever. Well, she probably get a. Real I'm not job. judging her. I'm not judging. No, she get a real job though, right? So Donald Trump uh, apparently snapped a little video of a car he saw while driving and posted it. That's and, uh, hilarious. Here it is. Wait, this is Trump and it's always hilarious. He's so funny. This is, this is, this is Trump? <laughs> yes, he posted this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's so funny about this? What does the video looks to look like? What's it doing? I don't know. Why, why, is, why is it so funny? So savage! Oh my god! I mean, honestly, you have to be a bit of a psycho. Who drives with that many flags on their car? 
that's fucking excessive, isn't it? What the fuck? Why? Anyway, I don't know. Patriotism is a, is a, is interesting, isn't it? But it's, it's a good thing, I guess. Trump Red, white, and blue, or Trump. thin blue line. This is like. How are you gonna pay for it? Cash. Walked off. That's sad. He's a wild right? boy. Wild boy. Okay. We Any love- more comments, guys? Any more comments? Big up, NJ Ranger. Dog, am I watching them doing freak off apologia? Is <laughs> basically yeah, freak off apology. That's fucking incredible. Freak off apologia is fucking hilarious, man. Freak off for everybody. Do you know what I mean freak off for everybody? It will be interesting, actually. What happens to Diddy if he does actually? get found innocent or no charges crazy get brought against him or he settles out of court i wonder what happened actually with people perception wise will they just like pretend like oh he you know he went to a court of law he didn't get found guilty would it be all that nonsense or will people still look at him like a bit of a sex pest i wonder love to see our presidents get a little petty though right well he cracks me up one thing about trump say what you will he makes me laugh there you go mm-hmm. oh look he's confident now they Look at this. Look at look at. I like how they're not coming out and say like, they're such pussies. Even nowadays, I feel like now, in the current political climate, cultural climate, if you say you're a Trump supporter or you want to vote for him in the next election, no one's gonna really care that much. It's not as like, you know, as it's not as like tense as it was, um, you know, the first time around. It's it's completely different, you know, scenario, different, com- completely different, you know, um, world that we're living at the moment. Um, in most places, especially in the UK, we're going through a recession, so people are more open to different political opinions. So the fact that they don't have the courage to even say that they're fans of Trump and they just say little things and kind of slide it in there, it's just proof of how much pussies they are. They can't even stand on their shit. Like, just say it. Just say you like Trump. Just say you want to vote for him. You're not, you're not, you're not a registered de- Republican, but you think he's got some interest in policies, whatever. Like, whatever you want to vote for him for, just say it. Like, what's the problem? They're just scared, bro. Look look how nervous Brendan is looking at the screen. Mm-hmm. Just say it. Like, it's not a big deal. Say it. Look at Brian. <laughs> it's such pussies. Oh, this yeah. one looks. Um, yeah, let's do that one. So these conjoined twins um, came out and said they were technically been married for two years. Um, the husband is like a decorated veteran and a lot of people have opinions on this i have one question to both of you is this considered polygamy i think it's awesome i, I don't know you know it's weird so you know you know it's weird when i saw it, i'm like god i wonder if they suck them off together well that's all anybody's <laughs> thinking that's i'm sorry but as soon as i saw a picture i'm like do they just suck them off together well, like a porno? I mean, it's gross. You're awful. You're a terrible person. Yeah, I know. That is what I was thinking. Right? I think they cleared it up, didn't they, online? It's pretty weird. I think they cleared it up. I'm not sure if the post is real. I think they cleared it up on their Twitter. Someone shared a screenshot about, like, when one of them is having sex, the other one reads a book or something, like, it's, or puts on their headphones. Like, that was really interesting. I think, that like, allegedly they don't really share this. I don't know. It's weird. But I like it more so because of just the idea that they could find love, you know? And it, it looks legit for the most part. I don't know. The guy doesn't look like he's a freak who's into that, that kind of shit. You know what I mean? It's just, that's just a good thing that they don't have to like live alone until the end of their lives. You know what I mean? They're going to have somebody with them and shit. But I guess the only issue is I'm thinking, what happens when the other girl finds somebody? You know? That's the only issue. You know, what happens when the other one finds someone? I wonder what happens there. <laughs> As soon as I saw him, like, weird, I wonder how that works out. Well, and one, Does one get jealous? It's 100% what I was thinking about, and I think everybody is. Yeah, what's it's the very, dynamic when they're sucking them off? It's That's very, what I was worried. One's on the... Hey, I'm not going to get into this, but it's so unorthodox. Dude, we're in this, we're in this mousetrap together. What do you mean, don't get into this? It's a comedy podcast. You should get into it. Make some jokes, bro. You haven't been making jokes for the entirety of the show. This is what you should be doing. I'm not going to get into this. No, make, make get on top of it. We got to figure this out. How well, are they giving BJs? Yeah, they both look great. God bless both of them. Do you think... Fuck okay. you. I'm not... You. What? Oh, yeah, and your hair looks great. What the fuck, dude? It looks better, dude. Why can't I be nice about this? Hold on, I've, I've, said he's look... a big, handsome hunk of a man. <laughs> big hands. He has, like, multiple medals that he won, too. Yeah, yeah, he's really cool. But yeah, I thought America on. first, you fuck. No, I am. I, he's, Holy he's shit, you are he's, just... You he's know what, not dude? the prom. You are such a progressive motherfucker. 
Do you do you support our military? Here's the issue. Do you support our military. Here's the issue. Especially a little R and R. Here's, like here's that. the issue is what I won't tolerate is when you go, oh man, they look fantastic. He's a hands. <laughs> Listen. <they're... laughs> now But that's the thing though. Why is he taking the piss out of the guy who's a, a veteran? Something that he was never, right? Because what he's a bit fouler than him. That he's not as anti what because he didn't, you know, pluck his eyebrows. Because he didn't copy Fear Vaughn's haircut. Because he doesn't change his persona based on his interests every fucking, you know, 18 months like a fucking teenager. Oh, I'm sorry. Because he doesn't wear fucking cool snazzy trainers like you. He's not a good looking dude. All oh, right. Okay, cool. Like, honestly, what a, what a piece of shit. The it's one better I, just not say anything her than sister, bullshit me her and the sister audience. on the left, I That's would your say, problem. is legit fairly pretty. Brian. Can I see more pictures? Hey, you know there there's an episode of um, American Horror Story. How do you say that episode? How do you say episode? Or episode. pictures? How do you say that what? Hey, you know there there's an episode. Of no way does he pronounce episode episode. Did I hear that correctly? And can I see more pictures? Hey, you know there there's an episode. Of episode. Did you say episode like an app. There's an episode of um, American. I see more pictures. Hey, you know there there's an episode uh Wow, bro. This nigga can't pronounce episode. Episode. Big up fingers by fingers. Chin should host this show. Also, how can Brendan now pronounce hair properly? Exactly. Redacted. Exactly, 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 exactly. Episode. <laughs> of um, American Horror Story, the circus season. Hey, 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 but I don't want to make fun of these women. Cause it's hard. We're not going to, life. but I'm also not going to say they look like fucking Rihanna because we got to, you don't just bullshit everybody no. all the time. No, but right. A, not here's all the first time. picture that pops up. Look at that. I just, though. yeah, no, she looks great in the middle. Uh, hey. like honestly, like hey, yeah. Chen, yeah. go to American horror story Aww. twins. No, 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 don't do it. No, no, no I'm telling no, this but, is a good thing. This is the same thing that it's exact same thing happened. Okay. One of the guys was dating, but Obviously, it's uh, you know CGI, yeah. but it, you see him. Yep, same thing. They shared a man. Yeah, I like that actress. That's She's phenomenal. Yes. She dates like a ninety-year-old lady. She's married to a ninety-year-old lady. But look at that. That's that's what the guy signed up for. Yeah. I've seen this in the movies. Yeah. Um, can it's I a see rough more life. Pictures of them. It's a hard life. Um, how about this one? Yeah. That's insane. That's gonna be a reality TV show, right? That's gonna be reality. That's definitely gonna be on Bravo. E, I'm assuming, right? Definitely gonna be a reality TV show around it. I'm assuming it's gonna do fucking numbers for sure. Bravo, E, one of those channels. What's the other one that does something? They're they're definitely gonna be on it. But yeah, exactly. Young on vibes. He is hateful. He's just spewing it. Like, look his face. Like, just like do you know what I mean, because they don't drive a Lambo. You know what I mean? They don't have Gucci or something. They don't look like fucking. Latinas, like that's why he fucking honestly, man, he's the worst. Nice guy though, by the way. Nice guy, beast of a guy, the nicest guy, never mean. We love it. I have so many questions, dude. I saw this, dude. That I has got to be. So no, he's, he's uh, he's, God bless him. God bless him. And freaks. And, yeah, it's just interesting. But here, here, look at the way you have to live your life. Freaks meaning sexually, not like them as. Yeah. Freaks, but you know what's crazy. <laughs> Is I saw a meme that said you think you're having a bad day. It was uh, two guys that are could you know joined like this, and they said one of them's gay and they share the same asshole. <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> Brendan. Shnaz, that's not that funny, bro. Come on, girl, you're gonna get paid. Chill out. <laughs> that's incredible. He said you think you're having a bad day. That is incredible. one of these twins are gay and they share the same Dude, asshole. She has, but she has. So they, just, they share it, a and, and it shows him and one guy's like this, and his it, they, they, got, they got the other face just making out this dude. Oh, is that that is that it a was real? real? Yeah, that's incredible because <laughs> that that's fucking amazing because that that is she does have they share a, the same, yeah, but also good thing. good for them for uh, you know, finding love and they have a uh, child together. I don't know. How has TLC not given them a show by now? This this is a TLC written all over it. So interesting. I mean, it's gonna happen without a doubt. That is amazing. That's that is, wild, man. That is amazing. Oh, there you go. TLC stars. Damn. Yeah. This has TLC written all over it. That is so unbelievable.
That dude yeah. just now you're, you're just dealing with two different personalities, man. Uh, you must Lots to juggle. <laughs> Lots to juggle. Oh my gosh. You're dealing with two sisters. With two sisters. That's amazing. I'm sure they fight and they can't go anywhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Why is he being such a pussy? He, does, he wants to say a really cunty thing. He wants to be really mean, but he's obviously scared of the blowback. So he's basically being snarky and being even worse. Just say the cunty thing you want to say. Just get it out of your system. Get out of your system. Interesting. <laughs> so interesting the dynamics are fascinating at least they figured it out yeah. though they're happy as long as they're happy and he's nice to them you know so that's cackling like she's fucking heard the, the most funniest thing ever is like come on girl come on two vaginas in there. no they have one no yeah, yeah but if there is just separate a tiny bit here at the hip i mean they're just conjoined. not the way it works no and then some twins go through with the surgery it's dangerous because it's like yeah, safer for one and they don't no have the, the liver and all that no and then the spine if you you know it's one spine but then it's brackets insane. off like a fucking wishbone yeah it's tough man. the whole dynamic is crazy god bless them mm. what else you got jen i'll just jump to my current current events the there's a <laughs> chin, chin chin look how long chin gets in these current events <laughs> look how long chin gets <laughs> They give Chin four minutes. <laughs> it's a Chinese Kobe Bryant lookalike, doppelgang doppelganger. <clears throat> he amassed almost uh, five hundred thousand. That's Kobe, though, right? Almost. That's Kobe. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the doppelganger. No, no, no. Holy I'll show you the shit! <clears throat> That's the doppelganger. He's Chinese. Okay, well. <laughs> um. <laughs> He has all <laughs> I know what you're doing. It's Jim. not like it's not hey, a, I know what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, I don't a, like it. What do you mean? I don't either. You know damn well that he goes, almost he's I that's a Chinese either. man in blackface pretend to be Kobe Bryant. He's actually a darker and I won't stand for it. He's a darker Chinese dude. And of course, yeah, he probably did put a little makeup a on. A little? No, he's in blackface, Chip. <laughs> either way, so in the, there is a similarity. There's a oh, dude, his eyes. No, especially. they both have Does Chin not realize that he's got blackface, that he's got makeup on or something? Or is he, is, is Chin being real? No way. Do you think Chin's actually being for real? Do you think he didn't realize that she, he's got makeup on? No way. No way did this fucking redact not realize. Did he not realize for real? Let's go back a little bit. Of course, yeah, he probably did put a little makeup a on. A little? No, he's in blackface, Chin. Either way, so in the there is a similarity. There's a oh, dude. His eyes. No, especially. they both have noses. You don't see the similarity. Yeah, Brent. I see it. That's Take away the black face and no. Oh my god, are you see, the eyes? I, to me, it's the eyes. I guess and the they have eyebrows. similar cheeks. Yeah, similar face structure. Same skills on the court too. <laughs> no, but he's getting a lot of attention. Is he a basketball player? I don't think he's. Where did Chin get this news from? Where did Chin get find this shit? Like. <laughs> Where did he find this shit? <laughs> Where did he find this shit? That's why they give him four minutes. Where did he find this fucking shit? Honestly, Chin is like Chin makes Brendan look like fucking Einstein. Like, like, wow, he's fucking dumb. Look, <laughs> Chin thought that was real. He's literally just a Kobe Bryant lookalike you know like in China. You know that the is. fact that this is funny, or not funny, it is funny, is because he's Chinese. Yeah. And he looks similar to Kobe Bryant. We're so much more similar than we are different, you guys. Exactly. Let's just all get along. All right. So this was, <laughs> this was on 60 Minutes, and people are giving this, uh, <laughs> this, this thing a, a really hard time because they apparently they're supposed to disguise this woman's, this FBI agent's <laughs> face. <laughs> so you'll see here all these different little memes, but... I'll play the clip for you. I'm not sure I can Please play do. it for the audience, but here you go. Continue in a moment. <laughs> this is no way he's ever going to identify this one. One of them is Carrie. <laughs> We're disguising her and not using her last name because she's <laughs> an FBI agent working in counterintelligence. I got she, <laughs> in 2021, she was in Florida when she was hit by a crippling force. And bam, that's inside my room. <laughs> they just pretty much put a wig on her. And put makeup. <laughs> it's like it's so bad. Isn't this like a a bit like? 
This is like showing your boomer parents clips. Like, what the fuck? Why are they laughing at? I'm like, I'm so confused. What's going on? Why are they like, did everyone get paid today or something? Like, is it payday at Fig Boy? Why is everyone like, or are they all on fucking shrooms or something? Everyone's fucking in a great mood, isn't it? Maybe it's fucking Brian, Brendan selling his whiskey. Jesus Christ. It's I mean, yeah. it's a no, it's like, so many it's that nobody's ever going to be able to yeah. identify this. You want all your friends to know you're an FBI agent. Yeah. It's so hilarious. Yeah, there's so many different. <laughs> oh, it's not your real hair, but that is you mm -hmm. with facial recognition. <laughs> so, you know, they in China now they have 700, 700 million CCTVs and they have full gate recognition. So they can tell how you walk. They have your bias. So when the, you, the way you walk, they can break down. So there's no height. It said this will fool the sort of people who don't realize Clark Kent is Superman because he put, puts on sunglasses. <laughs> or just glasses. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah, they always blur their face and then make their voice different. She was like, nah, I'm good on that. Uh, so this is awesome. This is from Ray Rod. Ray Rod's like a super huge... You know his like his he does like a bunch of like MMA, MMA edits that are insane. I, I just got privy to him. He's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And you posted this, so yeah. I'll just play it for you. <laughs> okay, they found it on Reddit, by the way. The Reddit look, 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 look. Honestly, why do they enjoy? How long? Is, how old is this clip? And he's still fucking playing it. Honestly, like, fucking hell. And he used uh, me and Browse's song on this too, which is so funny. Yeah, he's taking the piss out of you, bro. He's not. He's not laughing with you. He's laughing at you. By the way, in case you don't know. Oh, this is so crazy. <laughs> there you go. Brian, Brendan can't really laugh too hard because he knows it's taking the piss out of him. So he's kind of like got that weird smile. And obviously Chin just loves the exposure. He thinks it's good promotion for his shitty fucking music. Such a good yeah, edit. Such a good oh edit. He does God. so many amazing edits. That's yeah. so good. I thought of you. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Ray Rod's the man. I just got privy to him. He's so good. He's so good. so talented. Uh, uh, can I play you one clip? Um, yeah. I don't know if we can play this on air, but okay. Love this. I'll just play this clip. From his Instagram, you should be able to. Forty seconds of that round, Brian. I think Anthony Joshua threw one punch, and that was at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> you see how Brian's Brendan's not laughing. He knows if they do that to his, he's gonna be fucking phenomenal. Brendan's not laughing. He's not laughing because he knows he's got many, many knockout clips that could be done and that will look equally as good as that one. He's That's why he's not laughing. So good, man. So good. But he has a ton that are just amazing. Yeah, yeah he's so good. I think that's it, boys. <laughs> we did it, B. We did it again, buddy. You're a father of four, and we're still doing father. it. Anyway, fuck that shit. Um, that's enough, man. I can't. I can't do that anymore. No more. No more. Fuck that shit. I can't do that. It's fucking awful. Um, but yeah, we got through it. Um, we got for fucking through it. We got fucking through it. Big up everybody in the stream chat for hanging in there as well. Appreciate all of you. I'm actually gonna put the camera on back on for last minute before I leave. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, blessing never a chore absolutely fantastic stream appreciate everybody for hanging in there um, good LOLs I've had good ha ha he's thank you for everybody that tuned in that came in that laugh that he he that ha ha that bish bash boshi ba 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 it's fucking been amazing um, yeah bro appreciate all of you make sure you smash the like button if you haven't already smash the fucking like button don't be stingy smash the like button um, another Taz show is probably going to come later on tomorrow um the test shows already available already now if you want to watch that it's available on my fucking channel check that out as well on the live tab check the testing watch that whatever it may be um and that's it really isn't it that's it i don't have anything more to ask really thank you for tuning in i appreciate every single one of you take care of each other take care of yourselves um and yeah man thank you appreciate thank you for tuning in Never a chore, always a fucking pleasure. Okay? Even though I'm fucking buffering and shit and slagging, I'm gonna give you a fucking heart fucking, you know, sign there. Big up everybody tuning in, appreciate it. Oh, big up Uche.
Big up Uche. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. No worries, my love. I'll be back. I'll be back again later. If you feel me, back again later. So big up Uche. Nice to see ya, my dear. Big up um, Ruben Rivera, Don Dotto, Space Kai. Thank you for chilling. Hipster, handyman. Thank you for hanging out. Andrew Taint. Big up yourself. Koila, Scrooge 32. NJ Ranger, of course. Big up you, my guy. Hope you're well. Big up Severa Design. Joel from MIA. Um, Young God Vibes, my G. Hope you are well. Hope you are Gucci. Um, Cloud K20, I see ya. Brian, I see ya. Who else I see here? So many names to mention. So many names. Keith T. What's good, Keith T? Hope you're well, brother. Everybody take care of yourselves. Don't be shy. Take care. Appreciate all of you again. And make sure you smash the like button on your way out. That'd be greatly appreciated. Peace. Peace, peace, peace.